as usual. Um, okay. Oh, man, this is too loud. Wait, hang on. Hold on. Okay, hang on. I can do this. So late. Okay, let me open up the Apple key. How do I do this? Why are we using Battlefy? Okay. Okay. Go live. Okay, I should be live now. I don't know if anyone knows. No tournaments yet. Join tournament? Go to tournament. Go to match. Oh. Hello. Okay, the round one is up. Let me open up my screen now. Okay. Channel. You're going to hear my voice. No, you're not. Okay, cool. I have it open. Hello, everybody. Um, hello. <clears throat> hello, hello. Okay, sorry. I'm still getting set up. It is early in the morning for me. Um, been a while since the stream. Lorsi, how's it going, bro? Oh, man, that is way too bright for me at this time of day. 9 a.m. or very reasonable time to be awake. Um, let me post in the sub server. Pop. Um, uh, je suis les oeufs. Um, how's it going, everybody? I pick up VGC because of you. That's dope. Um, okay, so let me do a quick explanation because I'm going to be distracted probably very soon. Um, this is the first tournament of Regulation D. Um, oh, I wanted, uh, Regulation D is the world format. So that means that a bunch of new Pokemon are legal, um, including like the Hisuian Mons, like Ursaluna and Hisuian Zorark, and then like a bunch of, basically almost all of the legendary Pokemon uh, as well. So the most notable of those are Tornadus, um, each uh he ran or Urshif, was a big one uh Cresselia. um i'm gonna be using a rental team here and the reason for that is i'll show you the team now uh you can use it for yourself i figured like i didn't have a ton of team to a ton of time to build a team and i figured if i used a rental team then um you all could like uh if you were interested in starting regulation d you would not only have a team that i thought was like good but also you could like watch somebody play with it so um yeah since like yeah like uh this team is like proven to work so it's not one of my like one of my uh more out there like creations or you know proven to work in early format but i, I played some games that on showdown last night not not very much not very many but um enough to say okay like i think this this is decent enough and this is like one of the more um this is just like a very solid offensive team um which i think is nice early format because let you be the one um in control of the game a lot of the time it's just it's a solid team and this way um yeah like if any of you want to play regulation d i'll post the um pokey paste of the team somewhere and then um you can also use the rental code as well so that was kind of my thought process now the round one is actually up right now but my opponent isn't here um i could look at the team if i wanted scar for Jifu, medical Kuldango, rocky i'm on a Moongus, pixie plate Fluttermane, um, Surging Strike, Surshifu, AV Landorus, Booster Energy, Roaring Moon. Okay. Let's see. I hope they show up, but if not, it would, like, I feel like if you're going to miss a round, it's going to be round one. My girlfriend just got a Switch and the game. How do I make VGC less overwhelming to her? Um, I would good, like, basically the reason VGC is so overwhelming at first is because, um, oh, my opponent says I can't play right now. Sorry, you can take the win. Um, Magirna, no. So no mythical Pokemon, no restricted Pokemon. Restricted Pokemon are typically like, uh, title legendaries. I'm just gonna report this. Okay, so so that's good. We have time to just chat, chat. Um. Oh, I forgot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I always forget about this. Um, hang on. I, I can fix this. Hang on. I forgot about this.
Test, 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 test. Okay. Hmm, is it the same one? Okay, I think I think it's back now. Okay, it's back for sure. Yeah, it's back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm sorry, hang on. Let me put the thing back up. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, basically, okay, here's what happened for anyone curious. <laughs> basically, um... <gasps> Excuse me. Um, basically, I forgot that the computer only works. Like, I can only stream if I have the computer on land mode, which isn't the craziest thing. Um... But then I couldn't find the, the, the LAN cable. Um, is the music scratching? I'll let me know and I'll try and fix it. Um, I couldn't find the LAN cable. And then I found the LAN cable and it was still plugged in. But it was all kind of like tangled up uh, on the router itself. So I was like monkeying around trying to get the thing out. And I accidentally tapped. the must have like hit the power switch on the actual uh, surge protector. Which then... Um, yeah, led to the surge protector turning off, which is where the router is plugged into. So then I had to figure out why the router disappeared uh, and why my Wi-Fi was suddenly down. Music is cursed. Okay, let's start resetting this. Yeah. And then I had to wait for it to turn back on. Hey, Wolf, I play Smoke on doubles primarily, but I prefer it. I was wondering why you enjoy VGC, seeing how I don't know many other players, other super VGC. Well, you're... If you're a smoke on doubles player, then I'm going to go ahead and make an assumption that the majority of the people who you're talking to are also smoke on doubles players. Um, and, and yeah, no, I, th I mean, VGC is by far the more popular format. Also, being official is a pretty big deal for a lot of people, myself included, right? Um, but yeah, I think that like ring six pick four is um, like... I haven't played enough to smoke on doubles to say too much about it, but like for me, bring six pick four is like... Um, it's a fun, like, basically, you're trying to build combinations of four rather than just one good team of six. So it's a little bit more complicated in that sense. Um, also, yeah, I mean, like, there's no tournaments for, there's no official tournaments for Smogon doubles. Um, yeah, so. Why Mystic Water Urshifu? Urshifu, for anyone who doesn't know, is, like, pro maybe not the best Pokemon in the format, but it is unbelievably broken. And it also might be the best pokemon in the format to be completely honest with you um it's very 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 strong because basically urshifu was like very good if not great last season when we had dynamax where you could block its ability which hits through protect with max guard um and also everything in more hp so the critical hits were less impactful now um now like what like it's it's so broken all of its moves crit um, it has priority on both forms. It has great stats. It's fast. It's strong. Its base attack is like 130. Um, and it always hits through protect. So you have a Pokemon who you can't protect in front of who always crits, which means you can't slow it down with intimidate or reflect. Um, yeah. It's incredibly, incredibly broken. Seriously. How long is the stream going to go? Uh, probably around eight, eight or nine hours. And we might have a video in the middle of it, though it depends on edits being done and the thumbnail being done. Thoughts on Ursaluna? Uh, I think it's very strong. I mean, a Pokemon with that's not that good has to be good, I think. Is 
this day's tournament singles or doubles i play ex almost exclusively vgc which is double battles uh official format have you ever like seen anybody talking about competitive pokemon they're probably talking about vgc uh it is open team sheet i can show you the Terra sucks. I personally really like Terra, but you know, that's just, that's just me. Um, here's my team for anyone curious for new viewers. Uh, this is, I did not build this. Uh, I am just renting it, but it's a solid team. I played some games with it last night. When's the first match begin? So my opponent forfeited the first match. They said they weren't able to play. So, um, yeah, so I have we have to wait a little bit. I wish there was a good video about the uses of protecting battles. I can kind of understand it in doubles, but singles, I just don't understand the use. You don't, as far as I'm aware, you don't really run in singles. Which terror would you do on Ursa Luna? I think it depends on your set. Normal is a pretty popular one because it makes your burnt facade just incredibly, incredibly powerful. Thoughts on Glass could be good. Thoughts on Nisui and Gudra. I think it's strong. I think you need to respect it if you're trying to win a tournament, but I don't personally like the Iron Defense set because of the Shelter set. Um, yeah, because it's uh, really slow. Palafin greater than Urshifu, do you agree? No, Urshifu is way stronger than Palafin. That doesn't mean that Palafin is useless or, or can't be used, but Urshifu is by far stronger. But yeah, if anyone joined the channel, by the way, make sure you join the sub discord. It's a really great community of people, um, and it's where I post all of my tournament teams as well. The Wolf Guts, Flame Orb, Facade, Terra, Normal, or Saluna, and Trick Room is good. That's correct. Yes. I heard your NAIC team got leaked before the tournament. Is that going to be covered in the video you make? Yeah, that'll be a... Yeah, yeah, that will be covered in the tournament, in the video. Why not wrap on Dragonite? I wanted to move... I think I might prefer Aerialis over Iron Head, but I didn't build this team. What do you think the best terror types are? I think I have a video about this, which I think is like good for general. I mean, it, it depends, right? Right now, water just got a huge increase because of Urshifu. Um, Wolfie, do you use Facebook? Not really. I have a Facebook when I was younger, but I very I don't post anything on it. And don't friend me on Facebook. I won't accept. Why detect and Urshifu protect is more PP? Uh, because of the move Imprison. If a Pokemon has both Imprison and Protect, then you won't be able to use Protect, but you'll still be able to use Detect. And also, you rarely need to detect more than eight times. Actually, at Nationals, my Dendoza was intentionally not PP up on Protect, only a 10. Um, because in case of... Like, we never wanted to Protect more than 10 times, but if we got Encored into it, there were some scenarios where it might have been possible. Terra Blast is the normal move in Fluttermane? No. Substitute Protect Thousand Gleam Shadow Ball. Alright, buddy. Your team can beat Ursaluna under Trick Room and Psychic Terrain? I don't know. Um, I think the Trick Room is probably pretty hard for this team because it's pretty fast and offensive, but um, we have Sash, Chen Pao, Sub Fluttermane, Iron Hands, so, and Dragonite, so, and we have Taunt Tornadus as well. What's the reasoning for Terra Ghost and Tornadus? Fake out. Because Tornadus doesn't have protect. Um, it is susceptible to fake out and extreme speed and stuff. So mostly fake out though. Because you don't want your opponent to like fake out attack, like fake out, you know, just KO your Tornadus before a move. So with Terra Ghost, you force them to like really think about it. Whereas if you don't have um Terra Ghost, then yeah, like you won't it, like you're like there's no reason for them to even think about not faking you out a lot of the time. Can I DM you my team on Twitter? Uh you can i won't look at it to be honest i get sent many teams per day um and to be honest i've never been sent a team that's good <laughs> just to be blunt about it i'm sorry uh good by my standards i'm sure they're good like there's i've never been sent a team that i would ever consider using on twitter um i don't think exclamation point discord to join the discord no parish song i didn't build this team but also parish song i don't know how good parish trap is with Urshifu hitting through protect why poison chen pao that's ghost uh, it makes it immune to fake out in extreme speed. Is there any difference between protect and detect? I just answered that. Is there any Arcanine thoughts? It's very strong in terms of damage output, but it's kind of hard to use because it's defensive typing isn't very good. What are the EVs on Fluttermane? I don't know. 
<clears throat> Where do we join the Discord? Exclamation point Discord. Do you think Terra Dragon Outrage Dragonite is good? I don't because basically if you're hitting something with Outrage, it's probably dying anyway because Choice Bandit is so strong. But you like, so like, yeah, like with Extreme Speed, you need the damage boost. Is Alolan looked good this session or had any play? I haven't played much of this format, so I can't speak to um, other, like, uh, like how, how it is in general. Um, but it shouldn't be that, like, I, I, I really like Alolan Muck, but I don't think it'll be that strong because I think the power level is a bit too high. I think Mental Herb Tornadus is a good. Illumina is greater than Iron Hands. Mm, I don't think I'd go that far, but it, they do different things. What are the typical payout for VGC event winners? Winning a regional 3,000, winning an international 5,000, winning a uh, world is 10,000. You get more for winning the TCG. Thoughts on Sneasler? I don't know much about it. Tips running Gothadel? It's hard right now because of Urshifu. Do you wear wigs? No, I do not. What do you think will be the top performing performance when it comes to VGC this year? I made a video on this on Bonus Wolf. You should check it out if you haven't already. Is this your team for the tournament? It is. How do I see the um let me just quickly pull up where's the battle fly? How do I see oh for uh over here brackets? I see. Still a fair few matches incomplete. No, Tarasalizing does not undo the choice item lock like Dynamax did. Yeah, winning worlds in TCG gets you $25,000. Winning worlds in VGC gets you $10,000. At last I checked, at least. You also, I think, get like, a, I think you get like a, does anyone know? I'm pretty sure you get like exclusive, like more exclusive cards. Like, I think you get like a case of all the current set, like stamped of the worlds winner. But I'm not sure about that. How do you play against a weirdo team? I understand what a lot of Pokemon and teams want to do, so I just treat them like normal teams basically but you know you try to determine what they want to do and then try and prevent them from doing that thoughts on shirtless shady penguin what <laughs> what do you think about swagger into unburdened mirror of sneezler um it's a lot of setups sneezler is really frail and swagger is inaccurate if swagger still has 90 accuracy i think you could do more with it but at 85 it's like Mwah. Uh, we got some members, by the way. Uh, Paro, oh, Paro TS and Zoe, thank you so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll start with competitive Pokemon. Uh, check out VGCguide.com. Why no protecting Tornadus? You want the other moves more most of the time. Why is Tornadus running Brain Dance to boost Surging Strikes Urshivu? Because it can't be blocked with Protect. So if you're ever faster, you can Terra Water, Rain Dance, Surging Strikes, and just probably KO something. Like the damage is, the damage is stupid. Like the damage is, is just stupid, stupid. Winning Unite gives you 1 million? I'm going to pretend that's not true. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm going to pretend for my own sanity that's not true. Can you hit through D-Tech? Yes, it can be blocked. It can also hit through Quick Guard, so you can't uh, Quick Guard Aqua Jet. You can't see Flutter's moveset. There you go. Dazzling Gleam Shadow Ball Substitute Protect. Do you think they should bring back Superhero Larantis? It was never very good, to be honest. Why Water Terror on Flutter? Because otherwise you lose to Urshifu. What's the difference between VGC and TCG? They're different games. Uh, TCG is the trading card game. VGC is the video game championship. Would you rather see Pokemon Legends Curem or a Black White 2 sequel slash remake? Probably a sequel and then um, like Black White 3 would be cool. Um, but yeah, I, I like the Legends RCC games a lot. Physical Bandit Alecky? I haven't used Alecky. Like I've, I've only played games with this team, so I can't speak to other Pokemon. In terms of like actual experience. How much do you expect to see Landorus now that it's nerfed? How was it nerfed? Didn't they just give it a new move? Did the Pokemon company ever walk back their stance against the Korean players? No, they left it as it was. Why not Covert Torn? I didn't build this team. This is a rental. You can rent it for yourself if you want. What, your Discord? Exclamation point Discord.
Dragon Bolt or Salamence? Dragon Bolt just won a huge tournament, so I'd say if you want to use one, I'd start with Dragon Bolt. Do you prefer the open team sheet? Yeah. Yeah, open team sheet is so much better. <laughs> like, way, 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 way better. Can you play while waiting? The thing is, um... The thing is, I don't know when the next round will start, so I'd rather just talk to chat. Because I can't play and talk to chat. And, yeah. I don't have a trick room team right now. This is the only team. I haven't built anything yet. I've only been using this. Oh, losing knockoff isn't a big deal in VGC, in all honesty. Because you probably want Earthquake, Superpower, Rock Slide, and then Protect. Uh, or U-Turn. Did I say U-Turn? Earthquake, Rock Move. Fighting Move. U turn and then yeah, knockoff is probably the fifth move. I mean, you can. It was good. At, like it's definitely like a good move, but it doesn't. It's not like a huge nerf for Landorus. What time does the tournament start? It started thirty minutes ago, but um, I got around one by basically. I think Eevee Light Bisharp could work. I would just use King Gambit, personally. When play, um, I won around one. Maybe there's a way to do... Hang on. Hang on, I can do this. I don't know if this is going to work. There you go. What do you think about the Thunders and Nambers combo? I think it's threatening, but I don't... It's a lot of... um, It's a lot of setup. You know what I mean? Is Goldango still good? Almost certainly. That's a strong Pokemon. White Terror Ghost and Tornadus, uh, dodge fake out mostly, also lets you block extreme speed. Thoughts on Hisui Braviary? Uh, I think it's a terrible Pokemon. I think it's very bad. I would not, I'm not even going to consider using it ever. Well, not ever, but not in this format. What tournament is this? It's hosted by Victory Road. Um, uh and it's it's a, a regulation d tournament which is the format for world so it's my first time playing um the, the world format most hated pokemon in the vgc this year personally is coltango i hate that guy more generally i don't know i don't know what other people feel isn't clotsire countered urshifu so clotsire walls urshifu but it doesn't stop it from killing its partners um and it doesn't get rid of urshifu quickly either so i mean like if you had something if you have like clotsire gastron or something i hear like clotsire i don't know like bramble ghast but then you're using bad mons is urshifu single strike still viable yeah for sure i mean it's got all the same things that make it broken as urshifu water it's just weak to fairy or it's like i guess it's, uh, i guess it wasn't fairy Hey Wolf, can't stay and watch, but good luck today. Uh, and as always, thank you for the content. Hey, thanks very much. Really appreciate that. Seven months. Thanks a ton, Shadi. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. By the way, if y'all like, if you spam, I will put you in timeout. It's not like I can read. <laughs> it's okay to ask more than once, but if you just start spamming, like, yeah, please don't do that. It's annoying. How do you gauge when it's too much setup versus what setup is worth it? So I like to say that on mo my teams, I don't like to have more than two Pokemon whose primary role is to not do damage. Um, and then I think it's also important to have burst damage on a team. Why do you think tournament payouts are so low compared to other games? Well, I don't think that Pokemon tournaments make a lot of money. In fact, I'm certain that they lose a lot of money on them. So I think that's part of the answer, um, personally. Um, Um, and also I think that like Pokemon cares a lot about brand image. So if you ever watch any promotional content for like that Pokemon themselves produces around tournaments, you're going to see a lot of small children, um, which is their brand, right? Their Pokemon is for kids. Um, but in reality, you know, the, the actual vast, vast, vast majority of competitors will be, you know, in the oldest age division. Um, like I think at nationals we had like I want to say there were like 20 juniors, which is like a 10 and up, 20 10 and unders and like almost 800 15 and ups. Um, but Pokemon cares a lot about their brand image, 
um, which is why they feature the you know the small children prominently in their in their advertising and part of that is i was always under the impression that that pokemon didn't want it to be like you can make a living playing video games because that's not their brand image like pokemon's brand image is not um yeah we're like a super competitive game like you know etc it's like it's like competition is good it's not it's not against the brand image but it's like they don't want it to become the forefront right um and so i think keeping the prize money low in part reinforces that but i mean this, this is conjecture to be honest um i don't really know like this is my theory um and also the thing you have to keep in mind is that the pokemon so pokemon is the highest earning media franchise in the entire world and so it's easy to think of them as one entity but i mean there are multiple subsidiary subsidiary uh companies below them like i feel mostly with the pokemon company international which is different than the pokemon company which is different than the pokemon company japan oh this is your team thank you so much yeah hey thank i really like it it's a, it's a really solid team um yeah thanks for making the rental appreciate it um yeah cool 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 anyway the company's huge it's it's enormous and so because of that it's very bureaucratic like extremely bureaucratic and things are very slow uh it's good and bad it means that like they can't do things quickly uh, pretty much ever um but it also means that like the company is pretty risk averse um and so they're not likely to just like make one bad decision and tank the whole thing which i'm personally grateful for because i don't really want yeah if pokemon goes down i'm probably going down with it um whoa 50 dollar dono that's look good sir and appreciate all the hard work and content you, you've made all the over the years thank you so much uh amisen i really appreciate that thank you so much really generous thank you so much really appreciate that the kind words and the donation um yeah anyway that's your answer that's that's why there's not more prize money i think company big and bureaucratic also it's not in line with their brand image how are you feeling about worlds um i am still kind of recovering from nationals i haven't really uh <clears throat> i haven't really thought about it too much Thoughts on Raven not being able to attend Japan Nationals. It's dumb. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, I, I yeah. I mean, I will. I, I wasn't gonna believe Ray was back until I actually saw him at the event playing with a serious team. But yeah, I mean, I'm not with Ray. I always kind of hold my breath until because you know Ray says Ray says every year he's like, this is the year I'm coming back or this is the year I'm getting back into making content and like it's just it's almost like a bit at this point. Like he never does it right. Like. <laughs> He might come back for like a, a month or two, but he never actually comes back. So even though this year it was like the most convenient, I don't know. It was like, it's almost like fate in this case. Cause this year I think he might've been serious for real. Cause it was like, it was in Japan and he lives in Japan, but um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I feel like fate intervened what with the way the tournament was messed up. Uh, and yeah, then him, him, I guess it was his fault for the next tournament, but also like, I can't blame him. Like, I don't know. Like I, yeah, I don't know. Um, it wasn't made clear in advance that he wasn't allowed to reset his game like that the actual qualification was tied to the game itself because it's not how it works in, in the us so um yeah so i mean I, I definitely feel feel bad for him it, it sucks but yeah um i didn't personally have my hopes up just because this happens every year so in one form or another favorite team right now this is the only team i've used so i guess this one when Whimsicott returns, do you think it will be the better Tailwind Setter over Tornadus? It depends what else comes back with Whimsicott, but I mean, the Whimsicott and Tornadus are the two best Tailwind Setters. It just depends on what you're looking for. Are we going to get your Nationals video? Yeah. Um, Doug's working on something else right now, and I haven't started it yet, but uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, the, number, the Nationals video is my next priority. Are you going to become number one with Leafeon anytime soon? I already did that, so no. <gasps> Thousand Kalar Maltris in Regulation D? I think it's, um... I think it could be good. Um, like, it's one of those mods that we've never seen without Dynamax. So, yeah. Is Nihilip good? Yeah. Why not use Hurricane Pelipper instead? Instead of what? Hurricane Pelipper doesn't slot onto anything on this team. Is Cherry Mini good in Gen 7 doubles? Uh, probably not. Why well, haven't played this regulation much? I was working for Nationals, which was Regulation C. Zapdos is a good Pokemon. When is the tournament going to start? Uh, probably another 15 20 minutes. 
If I had to guess. Why are your Facebook filled with Gen 8 old videos, not Gen 9? That's somebody pretending to be me. I don't I don't post any Pokemon content on my Facebook. Do you think VGC should start banning Pokemon that are too powerful like Smogon does? No, I actually don't think that. I think Azumarill any good in Reg D? I feel like you should be using Urshifu. Is there a plan for IRL Nuzlocke Part 2? No, the first one did pretty badly, so... That, well, the original plan was to shoot two in Japan because that's where Kanto and Johto... Well, actually, all of the first four gens are based. What do you with grass types? I have Tornadus and Chen Pao and Terra Grass, Iron Hands, and Dragonite. And even Fluttermane's not bad with sub because you, like, I mean, Fluttermane's not great until, like, Amoongus or Rillaboom, but you can always sub in front of Amoongus. Does Azumarill Iron has a better counter to either Urshifu? I guess it's Azumarill, but they both have issues. You really have to hand train your Pokemon each time. Uh, I do for tournaments, for rentals, like for online tournaments, though, for content. Like, I use rental teams where I ask people to help. Is Swords into Iron Hand still good? I don't know, but probably. Whoa, chat's moving fast. I don't know if it'll be 20 minutes. It could be less. I was just guessing. I feel like better to under... Undersell. When will tournament start? Hopefully soon. I won round one um, by default. I can show you how many matches are still incomplete. There's like, mm, there's still like 20 matches. Wait, okay, I can see. There's still 30 matches that are not finished yet. So that's what we're waiting on. Is Umbreon good competitively? Probably not. I mean, like, Fluttermane and Urshifu are the two most popular Pokemon right now. So, um,. Yeah, being weak to both of them is not good. What do you think Reg E will be? I have no idea, and I don't care either. Like, I really I really don't care. I'm focusing on worlds. That's all that matters to me right now. What could work for Sylveon? Again, like, you have to consider that when you're talking about Pokemon, like, the alternatives are important. So, like, because we have Fluttermane, all other fairy types are kind of, not irrelevant, but they're going to have to do a lot in order to justify using them over Fluttermane. Like, that's how I feel about uh, Enamorous. Um... Hey Wolf, just wanted to wish you good luck in today's tournament and thank you for all the good content over the years. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Both the dono and the kind words. was an assuming Zoroark on the actual format. I think it is more likely to be good than regular Zoroark because its typing is better. Did you get a day two invite? No, I did not. I finished, I think, 11th and I need to be top eight. I've heard Urshu was broken and was previously banned. Why? It was never banned in VGC, um, but it's broken, yes. How much do you think? Okay, people are talking about a zoom roll. To get, let me give you some scale. Okay, let's say Terra Water. Let's, I'll calculate this for y'all. Okay. Let's say Urshavu. Okay, Urshavu. Versus Adam and Urshavu with Mystic Water against a zoom roll. Okay. Terra Water. So, okay, if they have Terra Water uh, Urshavu without rain, then it uh it two hit KOs Azumarill. So you Azumarill is not an Urshifu counter because if you switch it in, it takes a surging strike, so it will die to the next one. And if rain is up, uh it can do as much as 92%. So yeah, so like even though Azumarill's typing works, that's how strong Urshifu is. But like in the tournament was so nice to meet you at NAIC. Do you think Cleavor and Hisui Hazard will be good on or hazards on their moves don't justify using them enough? I think Cleaver could be good. I'm a lot less whelmed. By Hisui and Samurott. Um, but I think Cleaver could be good, yeah. So I will not be answering any more questions about Azumarill because it gets two shot by Terra Water or Shifu. So it can't switch in. It also, if they Terra Water, you can't, like, it loses the 1v1 even at full HP. Because if they do over half, your player off doesn't KO and then they kill you again. And you can't even win with attack drop. When should you go for a defensive terror type? It depends on the Pokemon. Like, um, I tend to prefer defensive terror types, but the best ones are where like being a defensive type is also an offensive one. So like on Urshifu, it's mostly weak to like the most relevant weakness is fairy and flying actually. Um, 
so being water kind of clears both of those for you are snow teams good in this meta i, I don't know anything about the current meta guys but it, probably not can you try something centered on a crocodile probably not what do you think about Hussein Gudra? Strong Pokemon. You have to respect it if you want to win a world, but I wouldn't want to use it. I don't think Torkoal counters Urshifu. I mean, I'll look at my team. Torkoal doesn't counter my Urshifu. I just use Rain Dance. How'd you calculate that? Damage calculator. Welcome to the tournament. Really enjoy the content. It really is some of the best on the platform. What's your plan for Gudra, Rocky Helmet, Shell Armor behind screens, by the way? Uh, taunt it with Tornadus. And, and then, yeah, like hit it with super effective moves. But mostly taunt it and then kind of ignore it. Like taunt plus iron hand should work. What does not get two shot by Terra Water or Shiva? But now you're seeing the problem. Now you're seeing the problem. That's not even in rain, by the way. Why Mystic Water on Urshifu? Surging Strikes is broken and does a ton of damage and anything you can do to multiply that damage is like valuable because the opponent can't protect, right? And they can only tear out one Pokemon. So yeah, being able to like have Surging Strikes plus Rain Dance plus Terra Water plus Mystic Water means you suddenly can increase your damage by like absurd uh, amounts. I guess I'm not good enough for my hero to battle, but I don't accept battles from randos. I'm sorry. I don't even accept battles from people. Like, unless I know you when we work together, I don't accept, like, the battles take time, okay? Everyone's always like, I'm going to be the next, like, I'll be seeing you in the finals of the world championship. Wolf, battle me now. And it's like, no. Like, the, the, the amount of people who say this to me are more than people than can make it to the finals. What's a good counter to Urshifu? That is the question that everyone's asking themselves. We're, we actually have a video on Bramblegast coming out probably next weekend. Can you say hi to my cat? He loves watching your vid. Hey, uh, right those cat. Why are you not using the Dark Urshifu? I did not build this team. And also the water one is better. I wouldn't, if I, if I could change it, I wouldn't. I want the, I want to use the water one. How does Simu deal with Goldango? Or Urshifu kills it. Ten Pow. Iron Hands. Dragonair probably hits it pretty hard too. I think Flutter will be outclassed by Caloric Shadow Rider and Unrestricted. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. You can run Booster Speed and then beat Caloric though. So like maybe not. All right. Let's see how many matches are left. Hi Wolf. Your streams really helped me. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank you for the kind words and the dono. Is there a bracket we can check? There's a... Okay, there's only nine matches left. You thought some Diancy? I've never thought about Diancy in my life. I actually do... Oh, yeah, actually, okay. Well, Scarlet is actually somebody I do owe an exhibi exhibition match to. T7, thanks for the dono. I uh, appreciate that. I think it's a dono. It doesn't show up in my donation counter, though. I have no idea, but yeah, thanks. Will Gastron be good? I think it could be. I'm a, I'm a Gastron believer. Might he be Trick Room? I don't know. Stay and watch. Find out. We're all going to find out together. Wolf, battle me now. I'll see you in the finals. Is Reggie Lucky counter Urshifu? Not if Tailwind is up. Then it just dies. If really been a grassy glide, would Dark Urshifu be more prevalent? That is a good question. I don't know the answer to that. How do you play around Hisui and Gujar with this team? I don't know. I'll, find, I'll figure it out if I have to play one, okay? I don't know. I don't know how to play this team, okay? I played like five games with it. I'm like in the game 1000s on Showdown, okay? I don't know how to play it. I'll figure it out. That's why I'm using it. I'm, I'm using this team so we can figure it out together because this is a good rental team that uh, like you all can use. So if you want to play your regulation D, then you can watch me figure it out. So then you can use it too. That's the idea. I'm not an expert. I don't even know how to use Dragonite. Okay. Punching gloves better than Mystic Water. I'll give you a little secret. You know what happens if you give Urshifu punching gloves? Wait, what does happen? 
I don't know. Does it? I know protective pads means that it turns off the ability, but I, I don't know anything about punching gloves. Does it remove the effect? I gotta look it up. Item deck. Punching glove. Yeah, punching glove uh, means that you can no longer hit through protect. So don't do that because you'll lose one of the main benefits of Urshifu. Have you thought of what you're gonna wear at Worlds? No. Did you bring you a uh, Thundee Strongmon? You think Water Terror is good on Leafeon? Probably. I think I have a video where I probably talk about Leafeon's best terror type. Or fire. I'm so on the Aleki train, but uh, it doesn't seem to be doing very well yet. Who's your real life Pokemon rival? Ray Rizzo. How do you get into VGC format? Pokemon in general is your experience. Check out VGCguide.com. Oh my god. I made a stagery. I don't know what that means. Good luck, Wolf. Thanks for all the great content. Thanks so much, Andrew. Really appreciate it. Would you rather protect banned or make every Pokemon have protect? Definitely the latter. The game would not be fun with protect banned. You want to play how do I overwhelm my opponent as fast as possible? We can ban protect. Hot take Urshavu is mid. Uh, I'm all for hot takes, but they have to be believable. Urshavu is not. Urshavu might be the best Pokemon in the entire format. Can you scarf or ban your Urshifu? You can do what you want. I don't know. I, I didn't build this team. I'm not, I don't know. Will we be playing any matches today? Yeah, soon, actually. There are only... How many matches remaining? There are only... Seven matches remaining in the round. When they finish, the next round will go up. Between Megas, Z-Moves, Gigantamaxes, and Terras, what's your favorite? I would say Terras, Dynamax, Megas, Z-Moves. I hate Z-Moves. They sucked. Do you have a favorite car? I don't know anything about cars. I have a little Kia. It's not cool. It's I need to clean it. It's very dirty. Um, it, it's scratched a bunch on the outside. Um, what else? I almost got roll down windows. It doesn't have cruise control, but I love it. It's never broken down on me. And that is the number one thing I care about. If the car doesn't break down, it's my favorite car ever. I love my little Kia, even though it hurts my back to sit in it sometimes. I named it Francisco. I can tell you the license plate. I have it memorized. Because I, it's easier for me to memorize the license plate than to recognize the car. Isn't that stupid? That's not a joke. I'm really bad visually, but I can remember, like, uh, I can memorize things if it doesn't deal with how it works. Looks. Galarian birds are, uh, uh, see, uh, Glaring Birds are legal. What's your favorite Pokemon to use in VGC? I really like right now, recency bias, uh, Scream Tail or Gothitel. Does it have Bluetooth? I don't know. Hey, Wolf, can you give me dating advice? Uh, I can give advice. I don't know how good it'll be. Do you watch the football? No. Are you dark singer car? <laughs> I love Francisco. He rocks. <laughs> My back is not doing better, but I went to the back doctor and they said I'm missing a bone, but that's not why they said I'm missing a bone in my back, but that's not why I'm having back pain. <laughs> anyway, I have to go to physical therapy. <laughs> Okay, four matches left. I'm hungry. I should eat a banana. <laughs> One time I accidentally posted my address on the internet and Scarlett was like, hey. I was like, what? She was like, uh, you might not want to do that. And I was like, whoops. And then I moved. That's a true story too. Best teammate for Tyranitar? Excadrill, baby. Let's go Excadrill. Wolf, how tall are you? Uh, I think six foot one. You think a Paris Trap team can do it Worlds? Um, it's going to be really hard because now we have Prankster Taunt, huge problem, and Urshavu, also huge problem. 
but maybe I'll, i mean listen I, i'm a believer i'm a believer but i maybe it might not be smart to be a believer right now might be better to wait yeah i'm missing a bone on my lower back don't you question mark me i'm just telling you what the doctor told me imagine how tall i'd be if i had an extra bone Probably like seven feet tall. You know how tall my brother is? Six foot six. For you Europeans, that's about one billion meters. Wait, don't Europeans also use feet for height? You can ask Marcus. Oh no, that's starting very soon. Oh, I should do that. Maybe I should get an ergonomic back pad. Okay, how many matches are left? Come on, baby. Show me the matches. Three left. Megas or Dynamax? I like Dynamax more. Opinion on Ohio? People love to meme on Ohio. I don't have any issue with Ohio. I like visiting Columbus. I probably wouldn't want to live there personally, but I don't have any issue with Ohio. EVs on Urshifu? I would put some on, yeah. Oh, jet too fast, jet too fast, jet too fast. No, 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 no. I have 30 second delay on. Did I tell you this? I have 30 second delay on. So whenever you guys say anything, I have to guess. Never. I think this is about me asking about feet. Okay. The Brits use the feet? Oh yeah, it's definitely about feet centimeters. Six foot six is 198 centimeters. Yeah, my brother's very tall. I am, of my family of four, I'm the second shortest behind my five foot ten mom. And I'm six foot one. How does that make sense? And and my like childhood, like uh, like my neighborhood, like from childhood, where like there was a bunch of like it was all guys for some reason, like all it was all it was everyone had like my neighbors were three boys, my brothers like good friends across the road were like two boys. It's all guys. I'm again like the second shortest out of a group of like probably ten. 10 guys i'm the second shortest and i'm six foot one i guess above average by a good bit but just everyone around me is tall oh rev of room somebody put rev room in the chat i don't know what they said about it but yeah that's a good mod i got it i forgot that existed i'm gonna use that i mean that's just left two so it should be starting any second you think paradox mods are game freak's answer to give us megas without giving us megas no i think no, I think I think no. Thoughts on quick claw? Bad. When do you play a match? Uh within the next five minutes, most likely. Thoughts on Amogus? I like Amogus. Are you sure Chen Pao was not gonna kill Tornadus? Are you also doing live on Twitch? No. I just stream on YouTube. By the way, just letting y'all know now, I'm going to private the VOD for this after the stream ends, so you won't be able to watch it immediately. But when the video goes live, we'll post it on the VOD channel. Um, I recommend like subscribing to that now. It's Wolfie VODs. Um, and that way, when it goes live, you'll see it. It's not like we spam uploads there or anything. It only We only upload pretty infrequently. So I'd go subscribe if you're interested in watching this later. But yeah, the stream will go... Uh, we will private the stream after it finishes. One match left, so it should be ready soon. Thoughts on Speak Now TV? What is Speak Now TV? Is that the Taylor's version? Oh, Taylor's version. Oh, I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm excited to. Um, Long Live is one of my favorite, one of my favorite songs. Does the C in Wolfie VGC stand for cool? No. 
Can you explain rental mechanic? Okay, somebody else build team, post online, you use team. If put code. Put code here, 7BMC1M, you use team. You can't make changes though, obviously, because it's a rental. Vault channel never went down. Um, We just stopped posting there. We have some videos we could post there. Maybe we should do that. Did you get to reserve the Pokemon Cafe in Japan? I didn't know I needed a reservation. Any learning, any key learnings from any I see? Yeah, I actually wrote a couple page document with reflections. Probably, there's only like three, three pages. Um, yeah. Best generation, I like five. You paid attention to the competitive singles meta? No. But Galarian Weezing neutralized commander ability. Hard to say, I hope so. I miss Weezing so bad. Boss channel is only there for me to do more work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Wid. <laughs> So true. Why inner focus Dragonite? It stops both fake out and intimidate, which is very important. Thoughts on Worlds 23 being the first only tourney of its respective metagame. Also drive an old Kia too. I hope this helps in your next repair. I actually haven't even needed any repairs, knock on wood. Um I'm not thrilled about it, but listen, I like I would I like when Worlds is the culmination of a format. However, I take what I what I'm given. You know what I mean? That's part of my mentality. So even though I would prefer a different format, I'm not going to complain about this one because that complaining doesn't do anything. Jeffrey, thanks for joining the channel. Make sure you join the sub Discord. Um, get access to all my competitive teams as well as a great uh, community. This is a rental. I didn't build it. When are you going to play? Very soon. There's one match left. You have to pay to enter a Victory Road tournament? For this one, you did, actually. It was $10. And Victory Road, if you're watching this, I do not understand why we are using Battlefly. So for those of you who don't know, there is a really good tournament platform that just, like, rocks. Like, it's it's dope. It's called Limitless. And for whatever reason, Victory Road makes us play on Battlefly, which, like, it's not good okay it's not good the data is not clean you can't like view things easily like every other vgc tournament is held on limitless victory road refuses they only play on battlefy and it sucks like battlefy is so much worse as a, just as a as a player it sucks so much i just want to play on the good we, we have a good platform i don't know why they won't switch maybe they have some kind of deal i don't know why i'm sure there's a reason i don't know why but i think it's stupid how to learn Pokemon VGC, go to vgcguide.com. We, my friends and I spent like a year and a half, two years, one year. I don't remember. I wrote like 50,000 words on how to get better at Pokemon. These teams you are using, you just caught everyone? No, rental team. You can use it yourself. I didn't build this team. I also can't make changes to it. Sinbad, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for the join. Is that what I say? Which is better, Urshibu, Water, or Dark? It's too early. How do I suck so much? Seems the Discord command is busted. Any mod helpers? Adam, thanks for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. Uh, the VGC guide is timeless. It's not, it's not, we use examples from Sword and Shield, but other than that. Uh oh, um, yeah, no, the, all the information there is still correct. Well, these, the examples are outdated, but you don't like the examples you can still understand, right? Is there a reason Tornadus is considered better than Thunderous? Tornadus can set up Tailwind, which is a better form of speed control. Oh, all the matches are done. Round two is about to start. It's a better form of speed control. Secret Rare Hoss. Thank you for joining the channel. Appreciate it. What changes would we give for it? Uh, I would give it a lot more stats. When does the match start? Any second now. Any second now. Is the tourney open sheet? It is. You have the IVs for the team. I assume they're perfect. Or close to it. How many people in the tournament? I think around 300. Attire's Wolf answer questions. I'm actually chilling. Emerson, thank you so much for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Must use rental team? No. Can use rental team? Yes. Can you build a team on stream one day? I've done it before. Uh, people don't really like to watch it for the most part. Why is there this little heart in my bottom corner? What is this? Why is it flashing? Might as well call Q&A. Next round is up. 
How about that, huh? Okay, I'm playing Ralph. Oh, Ralph, dude, I'm playing a world champ. Oh no, and he has Gothitelle and uh, Ursaluna. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. Oh man, okay, I'm playing Paul Ruiz. 2018 world champion and a, a, a very scary team here. Gothitelle, Urshifu. This is so, Paul, how, would you, how are you going to do this to me? Paul, 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 Paul. After all we've been through, you come to me on the day of my wedding. Paul, 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 Paul. What are we gonna do with you? Best way to cook turkey? I'm vegetarian and I'm not very good at cooking, okay? This doesn't look like a good matchup, and I also don't know what I'm doing. So in other words, I'm big chilling. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me put in. All right, here we go. First match versus the 2018 Pokemon World Champion, Paul Ruiz, uh, who also has a Trick Room team, which I'm not super thrilled about playing. What's the code? There we go. Cool. Oh, we got some gifties. Hang on. Let me see here. I'm not going to be able to read chat for a little bit. Emerson, thank you. Gabby, thank you so much for gifting uh, subs. Really appreciate that. Ralph. I think it's this. No. Sorry, shrimp. You're done. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna look at chat for a little bit here because I wanna look at his team sheet. So he's got Amoongus Urshif. Oh, it's Swords Dance Urshifu with Flame Orb, Terra Ghost. That's a good choice. So my Dragonite's not gonna be that effective here because he can just tear it a ghost. Um, Specs Fluttermane, Gothitelle, Amoongus. Huh. Hmm. Helping hand fake out. So I, I have to make sure I'm respecting this. Um, I wish I knew how to play. Um, <laughs> so the big threats to me are the Amoongus and the Gothitelle. The other Pokemon aren't so much uh, threatening. Um, Gothitelle Citrus Bear is Terra Normal. I could do like Torn Urshifu, which is like I could probably stop the Trick Room with that. I think I want to lead with Fluttermane here, to be honest. Um, so if I want to do that, then I need to make sure I'm covering for his own Fluttermane as a lead. Um, I want to bring this guy in the back for sure. Like, I'm not bringing Tornadus here. feels like a mistake. I'm going to do these four, I think. This is a little bit risky, I think, but it also might be okay. So I expect him to leave Fluttermane Gothitelle and make the turn one of Helping Hand plus Dazzling Gleam. Oh, I could be wrong. It could be a Moongus Fluttermane as well, right? Which would be kind of problematic. Urshifu Gothitelle. Oh, it's Scarf Urshifu. Shoot. Okay. Interesting. All right. With U-turn, close combat, surging strikes, and ice there. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Okay, let me think about this. Terra type is water. Oh, he could just helping hand. 
basically my thought process here is that i don't think he wants two surging strikes into my flutter main um because the terra water is really obvious he can take out chen pao but like to be honest i can't really do anything about that uh oh this is bad regardless either he's taking a kill for sure or he's surviving okay he's taking a kill for sure. it's probably chen pao right yeah okay i'm okay with that honestly he crit me i'm gonna get some damage down here and i think if gothitelle is doing this then it's most likely not um it's probably going for trick room here which is okay because i get to go into iron hands with that also is gothitelle can't protect so i gotta think about this one carefully okay i actually did a lot more than i expected I did a ton of damage Psychic. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That's not very good for me, actually. He just packed. Um. Because I don't think Fake Out plus Shadow Ball is going to get the KO here, to be completely honest with you. So what should I do? Okay, let's think about this. His back Pokemon could be anything as far as I'm aware. He could switch as well. But I don't think Fake Up with Shadow Ball is going to get the KO. I mean, Shadow Ball is a free kill here. Well, quote unquote free. If I take out Gothitelle, then I can switch into Urshu to take the next attack. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Shadow Ball and Fake Out, I think. This is tricky. I was kind of expecting him to go over Trick Room. Okay, switch is out. This could be Ursaluna, in which case I should have done something else. Moongus. Okay, I'm okay with that. Honestly. Because it's Rocky Helmet Amoongus, right? Which means I know three of the four Pokemon. So my options here are I basically either go into Urshifu. I think I have to go into Urshifu here. And Terra Wild Charge. I think this will KO, though I don't have any experience in the format, so who knows? Okay, they're staying in with the Urshifu. Basically, my my thought process here is the last Pokemon is probably oh that was nice. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay. The last Pokemon is most likely Ursaluna. And with that, um Okay, yeah. Basically, Iron Hands is really strong here because it, uh, Amoongus, it doesn't take that, like, it's not really, it's not that threatened by, and, okay, nice. Yeah, it's not that threatened by Amoongus, and it hits, uh, it can KO Gothidol from where it's at, and because of the Assault Vest, it doesn't take that much damage, and it also hits Ursula for huge damage. Um, okay, nice, he survives. He's almost certainly going to go into the, uh, Gothitelle here, so the question is, what do I want to do next turn? I kill it versus two. So it's three versus three. I have no item left on my Flutter main because I've already burned the whatever it's called. There's the flame orb, so I gotta watch out for that. Oh, with the recoil, is there a chance that I go down? Is that possible? Gothitelle comes in. So what do I want to do here? Um. I think I just want to double this thing to be completely honest with you. Worst case scenario is he switches. What's the last move? Is it Headlong Rush? Okay. So like basically here with, with Iron Hands, I'm gonna wild charge. I can't risk the Amoongus switch in. Okay. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So that was a really good play from from Paul. Um, because they're basically like I wanted to double the the my thought process was basically like, um, I was almost really bad. Uh, my thought process is basically I want to double the Ursaluna because he can fake out one of the Pokemon, but he can't fake out both. But if he switches to Amoongus, which is what happened, then he can get Trick Room up, and then I'm probably gonna lose. But here, because I split my targets, like basically this play was susceptible to something like fake out into the uh, Urshifu and like 
facade into the iron hands in which case he would have amoongus next to assuming facade kills the iron hands he would have amoongus next to um iron hands and that would be very bad for me but um yeah thanks to this play we're in decent shape so i'm gonna go for close combat and drain punch here um he can rage powder but he can only rage powder one of the targets and this way he can't go for something like protect plus four um and because once urshifu or, Sal or saluna's hp gets low enough i can just hit it with dazzling gleam and then i'll likely win from there and he can't fall in puff here either because he can't protect like basically i've because i've urshifu i've kind of pinned him um which is yeah lucky for me oh yeah i really was kind of planning for him to go for trip drum but he didn't he didn't go for it i think the way that he'll adapt is he'll definitely bring fluttermane next game and perhaps landorus as well i need to make sure oh he doesn't he doesn't rage powder okay survives just barely no rage powder is good though let's see here i'm gonna go for oh, we get to find out the speed order here i am faster which is great okay that's gonna be game yeah i got do three against one and no recovery on amoongus uh this game is over yeah thanks to his ability i was able to basically oh he probably still thought that the only way he could win was with uh, an aggressive prediction does <laughs> my issue was like uh, yeah I, I think paul and puff will do a lot of damage <laughs> i think paul and puff might ko from here nice one more of those should do it um for those of you who don't know surging strikes would um will activate rocky helmet three times which is why part of the reason i've been clicking close combat though honestly it's just stronger okay that's game one but i, I actually don't like the matchup that much so i think that i need to be careful um because I think that he's going to adapt with his Flutter main, and I don't love that. Like, I expect Gothitelle Flutter main lead in all honesty, although I got a cover for the Urshifu as well, because it was pretty strong for a time. Hmm. I'm gonna try something different here um I definitely want to bring iron hands the problem is the problem is the amogus because like what I want to do is like tornadus to be honest I'm gonna try it what about Chen Pao here like I actually really like Fluttermane but I also like I'm gonna do Chen Pao because this way, if Trick Room isn't up, and if I can get the Terra out of something else. Yeah. I'm most likely going to need to save my Terra for my um, Iron Hands here, though. So I got to be careful with that. Basically, I think that if Trick Room goes up here, this is worse for me. But I don't expect something like Amoongus. Um, I don't really expect something like Amoongus in the lead here. Ah, there's a if he does like a Moongus Goth, this would be bad, but I don't think a Moongus Goth is he's not gonna do a Moongus Goth because I led Fluttermane last time. He doesn't want to fight into that. I could also have led Iron Hands here because I have Volt Switch, but because I'm worried about Fluttermane, I didn't want to do that. Or should we Goth again? Okay, cool. So, um, I'm gonna go for Bleak when Storm. and surging strikes i expect him to go for helping hand terra water surging strike so i don't think that kills i'll do this i want i want to burn that terra as soon as possible because once terra is burnt then chen pao becomes a lot stronger okay this is probably a mogus which is okay because I, as long as bleak one storm hits it is a mogus okay i almost close combat there but i think it was still the right play to do this Okay, he just goes for surging strikes. Where's the camera? Hello? Hello? Where's the ca <laughs> Where's the camera? 
I really need Bleak Windstorm to hit here. Like, I actually need it. I need to hit both, in fact. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. Where's the camera? Okay, hit both. And the camera's back. Let's go. Okay, that's a pretty good turn, actually. He didn't bring Flutter main. Uh, I'm gonna take a. Where is the. You guys are seeing this, right? Okay. Goodbye, my beloved HP. What happened? I'm not gonna KO this unfortunate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Can I please see the Pokemon, please? Hello? Goth is back in, okay. Okay. Is this am I being am I being dumb? Is it supposed to look like this? Because I don't think so. I am the dumbest person. I forgot about Prankster. I'm so dumb. I forgot about I forgot how I was like, oh yeah, I'm priority. Boo, 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 boo. I'm so dumb. Shoot. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's still a big lead. Um. Oh man, I don't think the trick him up. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh I could have gone for damage there. That was not my best move. Ah, okay, Ursula is back. Okay. I'm so dumb. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to go for taunt. Okay, I, I actually see a way to guarantee win this. So what I want to do is I want to go for taunt and Aqua Jet. Yes, I have a guaranteed wind engine here. Yeah, this is my best move. Yeah, okay, that should be it. So basically you might be like, oh wolf, taunt, why taunt? Why taunt? But the thing is, because my back Pokemon are... Oh, he hasn't... Ta oh, I'm I don't have a guaranteed win. Oh. I live. I don't live. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't have a guaranteed win. Wait, hang on. Think, like, think. He hasn't Terrid yet. It's okay, I still am in a really good spot. Because I taunted. Because taunt was still helpful. So what I can do is I can go into this dude and this dude because he's taunted, okay? So here's the thing. Ready? Because I got taunt down and a little bit of damage down, it's fine. I, I, it wasn't the win I saw, but it's going to be fine. I still win this. Because the Ursuline is taunted and the Gothadel does not have a way of damaging my Chen Pao, who is Sash. So it takes two Ursuline hits to KO Chen Pao. So what I can do is I can Sucker Punch here, Terra Grass, and Fake Out. This is a really clever play because... Ursa Luna is taunted. It can't protect, right? So it has to attack when we need Sucker Punch. Has to hit. And here, what's awesome is that with Fake Out, I force them to Terra. If they don't Terra, then I hit Fake Out. I hit Sucker Punch. I do probably to a KO. And if they do Terra to dodge the Fake Out, they take super effective damage from the Sucker Punch. And they need to hit me twice to win this game. Because otherwise, um, if they don't hit me twice, then... Uh, Gothadel loses a one versus... Even if they KO Iron Hands, Gothadel will lose a one versus one against my um, Chen Pao because I haven't terrored it. It's Focus Ash, and it takes two hits to KO. They're... Oh, they didn't Terra. Makes sense. Bop. I did a lot. Okay, Sucker Munch comes out. Even though they aren't attacking this turn, um, yeah. Taunt is a, is a much better move than I think people realize. Like here, like for example, Taunt, most people think about it like, oh, um, you know, stops Gothitelle, et cetera, et cetera. But being able to stop Protect is really, really, really valuable. Um, just, I'm not missing anything, right? Sucker Punch kills and then Wild Charge here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, being able to stop Protect is just so, so valuable. And also, like, it combos really well with Sucker Punch. I'm really glad I had, um... If I had Fluttermane over Chen Pao, or, yeah, over Chen Pao in the back, this might have been a lot harder, but... Um, yeah, because I had Chen Pao. It became a bit easier. 
Like with Flutterman, I think I would have actually probably lost, but yeah, with Flutterman, I actually definitely would have lost. So I think I did, even though I'm not super practiced with this team, I did a good job of bringing the right Pokemon. Okay, Sucker Punch and Wild Charge. No way out. I did make a mistake for sure. That turn where I, um, yeah, the turn where I uh, <laughs> made the bad play with Haunt Aqua Jet, that was bad. But I mean, it didn't really matter. Yeah, because yeah, because of the way they were playing, it didn't really matter. Um, though I should have gone for Bleak when Storm Surging Strikes and gotten more damage down. That was the better move for sure. Okay, cool. Good game to, uh, to Paul. Oh, let me tell him good game. All right. Yeah, Paul's a super good player. I have a lot of respect for him. Okay, let me update the uh, scores. Nice. That was a good first set. I think I figured out pretty... I think I played well given, yeah, that I was figuring stuff out as I went. Oh my god, 7,000 viewers. How, how's it going, chat? Uh, um, Give me one sec. I'm going to grab a banana because I'm your boy's hungry. Alrighty. Cool. How's it going, chat? Do you play third match for fun while other games are finishing? No. <clears throat> What's he running? Oh, yeah. We can pull up the team. Z Squiddy, thank you very much for joining the channel. I didn't build this team, by the way. If you want to use it yourself, you're more than welcome to. Um, Here it is. You can see the code in the top right under team ID. Banana, banana. You start working on your world's team yet? No. I, yeah, I need to figure out. Uh, I need to figure out how the format works before I start building a team. Wolvie, why are you hot? I want the, you want the, the actual answer? I think that I am somebody who like is very has very high self awareness, very high self understanding, and I think that like that allows me to be like confident in the things that I like know about. If that makes sense. Like, I don't pretend to be anybody else. I'm just me. I think some people find that attractive. You know what I mean? How do you get better at singles? You're asking the wrong dude. I haven't played singles in like six years. Three years. Who knows? A long time. Yeah, the idea of Citrus Torn is that I assume it's that you live... It's a good general item, but also that you live Surging Strike from Urshifu. Mark only competitive Pokemon, vgcguide.com. Any reason on Terra Water Fluttermane? It's just to resist Urshavu surging strikes. Why Rain Dance? To boost the power of Urshavu surging strikes. A lot of the meta kind of revolves around Urshavu surging strikes as, as we've just started. Do you think Palafin will turn to the spotlight? No, I don't think so. How long do you think you'll end up streaming today? I think it's nine rounds. Does anyone know? It should probably be nine rounds. We pulled the bracket. 
Yeah, it's nine rounds. So about uh, eight more hours, probably. Seven, eight more hours. Do you think Urshifu will be one of the best in the game with secondary water? Yeah, I do. I think Urshifu... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's looking like it. But early... You have to keep in mind, early meta is, is not always how things settle. Like, if, if people find really consistent counters or, like, if Gastrodon spikes in usage or I don't know. Um... Yeah, but I mean, it's it's one of the strongest Pokemon in a vacuum, which is why it's kind of taking over right now. It is nice to win versus Trick Room in the first round, because I was like pretty worried about Trick Room with this team, because it doesn't really seem to have that many obvious answers. Um, I think that Paul was smart to not like go for like Trick Room just super like immediately, but yeah. God, Urshifu was so strong. I definitely, like, in that game one, I definitely see the power of Scarf Surging Strike. Like, he killed my Chen Pao turn one, and then, like, my Fluttermane couldn't... Like, it, it was forced to, 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 like, switch. Because I couldn't protect. Like, I could have just protected in Terragrass Wild Charge, but I couldn't protect because it would kill me. Is there water better than dark? You have to keep in mind that in, in early meta, it's like people don't have it all figured out. Like everyone, there are assumptions that people are making, but oftentimes they're wrong. So um, right now, at Urshifu water is used much more than Urshifu dark, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily better. I miss Jellison so much. Oh, I would use Jellison so well. I've been missing Jellison all year. I miss it so much. Ursaluna is as overrated as all VGC players say. No, I think Ursaluna is a great Pokemon. Any reason to not run Pelipper with Drizzle and Tailwind versus Tornadus with Rain Dance and Tailwind? So basically, the, the reason why Tornadus is so good is that pranks its ability Prankster lets Tailwind move with priority. Meaning, if Tornadus goes for Tailwind, it will use it will move before even faster Pokemon that are attacking, and that means that its partner like Urshifu, like let's say the opponent has Regieleki, you can go Tailwind and then immediately Surging Strikes. Even though Regieleki was the fastest Pokemon, it will move after both of them. Um, and so, yeah, like, for that reason, um, yeah, like, Prankster Tailwind is really important. If you play against Regieleki or her Fluttermane or anything fast, like, with, um, with Pelipper, then you're just screwed, because they just kill you, and you can't do anything. But with Tailwind, they can't really, with Prankster, you can't really do anything. Um, who just became a member? ROA, thank you for so much for the continued support. I appreciate it. Do you play any past gens? I did when they were here, but not anymore. I don't, I don't play them after they pass into the... Ether. Is Terra Fairy Gastron and Storm Drain good against Darian's Palafin and Dendozo? It's a good answer versus Urshifu. Um, but yeah, like you might run into issues versus like, I don't know, Terra Grass Heatran with Flash Cannon or um I don't know. Like Rillaboom, Amoongus. Is it just a brat? Wait, what's this thing? What's the tournament structure? Does anyone know? Oh, eight day Swiss rounds. Okay, into 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 top cut. Okay. So um, I just have to win four more, and then I'm then I'm good. Do you feel it, Sneezler? I'm interested to test it. Fernandez is Murkrow on steroids. Yeah, basically, it's it's a much better Murkrow, much 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 better. Because Murkrow has to give up its item and it still has worse worse stats, and Tornadus doesn't need to give up its item and has better stats. Like, yeah, so and like better move pool as well. Because you can run Bleak Wind Storm, which Murkrow has to use foul play. What's your favorite speak now track? I think I like um Long Live. Long Live is really good. Which Argon is best to use? If you want offense, you use Hisuian. If you want defense, you use regular. Bring Storm Drain Tatsu to Worlds. I promise it will work. I promise you close combat kills it. I promise you. <clears throat> What's your all-time favorite meta? VGC 2012, I think. But 2020 was really good as well before. Um, yeah. And the Regulation A was fun, but we didn't play enough to really say anything. But yeah, probably VGC 2012. This is first day.
Could you stop Torn Regilecki? Uh, I have Iron Hands and Flutter Mane. I also have Choice Ben Dragonite. And I have Chen Pao, all of which are good. How's it going, yo, Tom? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Chris of YGO, thanks for joining the channel. Do you have any Guilty Pleasure Mons that are absolute garbage but you really want to run them? I have a couple. A couple of my old favorites. Like, Executor. If Executor were here in the format, you know I'd be testing it. I would absolutely be testing it. Why Terra Ghost Tornadus? Um, to block Fake Out. Because right now, if you if I had any other Terra type, then they have like Iron Hands and something threatening. They could just fake out and double my Tornadus, and I couldn't do anything. But with Terra Ghost, they have to think about not attacking Tornadus. Um, yeah. Like in that last set versus Paul, I was able to click Bleak when Storm turn one. But if he had had, um, like if he he had the option of going for Fake Out into Torn because it's a Goth had Fake Out. But um, yeah, <clears throat> you know, if you guys are Taylor Swift fans, uh, actually, I'm, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say this. Never mind. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. Think about Hisui and Lilligan. I heard it's good. I haven't used it though. What's the best Pokemon game in terms of competitive? I like black and white and black and white too. Are you biologically related to wolves? Not, not unless something very surprising has happened. Do you think you'll join any Pokemon draft leagues? I don't have time, unfortunately. What kind of phone do you use? That's that's a little bit of a weird question. I have some kind of iPhone. It has a crack across the screen because I dropped it once. I dropped, even though I have a case, I dropped it, it felt like perfectly face down and then it was cracked. It's not like a big crack. It's just a little crack. Oh, I heard Takasu Rogue is good. Or I heard it won a tournament at least. Our team's open sheet. They are. How would could you stop dive cats taunt any kind of priority because pri like with dive cats they're they're moving last in their priority bracket you can also block it with like sandstorm and protect in the one on timer um because they would take damage and you wouldn't if you had like at least one sand immune yeah it was actually pretty bad to be honest it wasn't like good you play the tcg i used to not anymore though i kind of want like I kind of want to collect some of the decks that like like uh that were popular when i was when i was playing though like um there was this deck with like faint or er, fainting spell gengar does that mean anything to anybody and there was a knockout punch machamp it was like a machamp that killed basic pokemon in one hit um yeah there was also like level wait dx no level x I'm trying to remember i played like sable dong for a while i don't know i kind of want to recreate them What does Chen Pao do that I just read you lucky, doesn't it? gives you, um, first of all, a Sash, and it doesn't require a Terra type, and it has priority, and it also has Sword of Ruin. And it has Sacred Sword, which is relevant because of, like, Gudra. White Terra Grass Hands for Amoongus, and also because it resists ground. It's just a good type in general. What do you think about the open team sheet format? I never want to play close team sheet again. Uh, chat moving too fast. Uh, too fast, too fast. Let me see some battles. Uh, we have to wait. Sorry. It's, I'm in a tournament and I can't play before the round starts. I don't play Unite anymore, but my friends have been talking about picking it up. Who are your favorite Pokemon YouTubers? Cybertron VGC, PM7, Purple Cliff. Um, those are some of my favorites. There's a lot of good Pokemon YouTubers. Alpha Ride, if you count if you count him, though he does uh, a bunch of stuff in addition to Pokemon. Um, same thing with Jaden. Um, yeah. How are going to get Tornadus? You have to trade it in. Yeah, PM7 is very tall. Are you afraid of something like Revive Cats? No. <laughs> What's the viability of Rotom currently? Mm. What do you think about Chiyu in this format? I think it should be strong. Like, nobody knows how to use anything yet, so everyone's figuring it out. But Chiyu is, if it was good in Reg C, it's probably good in Reg D.
Do you think Chloe she's good in singles? I don't know. Don't ask me about singles, folks. I don't know anything about singles. You want to talk about singles? Go up, go talk to uh, Poke Aim or, or Envy or somebody. They're the other people who know about singles. Don't ask me. Four fairy weaknesses? What's your main counter play for opposing? Wait, I have four? Oh, yeah, but I only really have one. <clears throat> I only really have one. Because uh, Chen Pao, everything two shots in anyway, so it's not really weak to anything. Urshifu was weak to it. Dragonite Terras and Iron Hands Terras. So I only have one weakness, really. Oh, you've been in trick room teams? Tr truck room teams? Oi. What's the most popular team in the format? Probably this right now, if I had to guess, but I haven't played very much. What about Pokemon keeps you playing after all these years? I like the feeling... <coughs> Not that feeling. I like the feeling of getting better. And the thing about Pokemon is it's a game where you can always get better because it's always changing. Also, my friends. Like, if I didn't play Pokemon, then I wouldn't have, uh, like, as good of a reason to talk to a bunch of people who are really important to me. So, yeah. I don't think stream is 90 second delay. I think it's 30 second. Let me check. Stream has it. Stream is 30 second delay. So it's not so bad. I'm like, I feel like I'm more or less able to keep up with chat. Will Pokemon home, will home Pokemon be a lot of worlds? Yeah, this is the format for the world championship. So any Pokemon you see here can be used to worlds and more as well. When does the next game start? Um, there's still, I, I, my match finished relatively quickly. So there are still 36 matches left. So probably 20 minutes. My Terra Poison or Ternitis, that is Terra Ghost. Does Zoroark make sense in doubles? Or would you say Illusion gets less value? I would say Illusion gets more value, but... Maybe not more value, but it's still, it's a great ability, but the stats are kind of lacking, but the typing is really nice. So I think it could be okay on the right team. Please don't ask me about singles. Please, I, I can't answer your singles questions. I promise you. I do not know the answer. I did consider using Ursaluna. I was originally going to use Ursaluna. That's why it's in the thumbnail for this, but then I decided to use this team instead. explaining the outcome of the EV tournament EV spreads. I can't explain the EV spreads because I didn't build the team. Um, I'm not sure if the original creator posted like a report or anything. I know they obviously posted the team. Um, but um, yeah, I'll make a, this, this will be a video most likely, assuming that we can tell a good story. I do like your bagels, bagel, cream cheese, lox, bagel top. Craft singles for grilled cheese. I think craft singles, they're not my, they're, listen, I don't, I don't do it myself, but I think that in the right context, the craft single can be good. And I think grilled cheese is one of the better contexts for craft singles. Like I, I like, you know, um, I feel like those are like classic, classic, like growing up, like grilled cheese. You know what I mean? But EV spreads you got in tornadoes. I don't know any of my EV spreads, folks. I don't know any of them. I don't know. Although I can find the team and post it in the sub discord. Actually, hang on. I Okay, it's on my laptop. I have the team. I submitted the team on my laptop. So I'll find, I'll post that after the stream. I'll post it in the sub discord. Do you think Game Freak will ever implement a, a, a team builder? I think you mean like a simulator? I hope so, dog. I really do. Why you're focused on a multi-scale? No fake out, no intimidate is the big one. So you can't, yeah. It's really, it makes it very strong, especially with choice band. Because with choice band, like you can't protect, right? So you like are kind of just a sitting duck. So you want to make sure they can't fake you out or slow you down. How does Tinglu do in Regulation D with Urshifu around? Usage has dropped dramatically, but it's still a good Pokemon. So I would expect it to pop up at some point. Some of the Pokemon are like not doing well right now, but they are still good Pokemon. You know what I mean? I think Slowking is still viable. Ah, actually, you know, it's not the worst time for Slowking. Good special defense. Um, sets Trick Room and resists both Urshifu stabs. I did get a bagel, but I got the I got a bagel from the Locks place at NAIC, but I got it 
I ate it right after I was eliminated, so I was I didn't enjoy it as much because I was very sad. Is Lucky Band? No. If you had to rank the best VGC players of all time, where would you be on the list? Basically, I'm either number one or number two, depending on your perspective. Um, of all time, the other person is Ray Rizzo. So Ray won Worlds 2010, 2011, 2012, which is an incredible accomplishment. And many people feel uh, like has him be deserving of the number one slot of all time, which I think is a fair argument. Um, he also won a regional and top eight at a national slash international level tournament. Um, I believe that's pretty much the extent of his accomplishments. So he probably did well at nationals as well in 2010. I'm not sure. Um, thanks very much, Daniel. I really appreciate the donation. I think Berlin was good earlier in the year, actually, um, in regulation A and B, but I, I, right now I don't think it's probably going to do well. Um, and then for me, basically, like, so Ray is kind of like, what is the debate? It's like Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. It's like, yeah, that's, I think that's what the comparison people draw. Um, <clears throat> so basically Ray had three, has higher peaks. He has three world championships in a row. Um, which is incredible. And then for me, I have one world championship victory, one world championship, second place. And then the other accomplishments are pretty notable. I'm the only player to have won every level of tournament, including seven, seven regionals, um, uh, three national slash international level tournaments, which is 2011 US Nats, 2012 US Nats, 2019 North American internationals, players cup two, which is like an international level event that we don't really know how to qualify. That's like Probably somewhere between internets and worlds. We don't really know. Maybe just internets, whatever. Um, yeah, as well as I have the most world's top cuts of any player with 11, 12, 16, 17. Um, I have the most world's appearances of any player, which is every year since 2011 when I started, including making it through the LCQ in 2014. Um, there's probably some others that that's not even counting regionals, top fours or internationals, top eight or top fours, which I have at least a couple. I have how many internet top fours do I have? I didn't nothing 23 11 12 by 1 13 14 15 15 I got top 8 16 I bombed and then in 17 I got like I have a lot of top 16 in internet. I don't know. I have a lot of accomplishments. I don't know. Um so yeah, basically it just depends on how you value things, right? Do you value winning worlds above all else in which case you think Ray is better or do you value like longevity and overall like performance in which case I'm like number 1? Um, it just depends on what you value, basically. Um, I think it's also worth noting that, like, if you want to talk about Pokemon generally, like, as a franchise, I, the number one player is probably Seijin, because Seijin is, if you put Pokemon in the title, he will win. Um, he's a TCG, multiple time TCG national champion. Um, Pokemon Unite qualified for Worlds and played in Worlds. I don't know. He's, he's actually crazy. He's good at uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. That guy is like a true gamer. If I had to pick somebody, like my life was in the line, and then they said, hey, you're going to play a random game. Somebody you know has to play for you. Like, they're going to play a random game, and if they lose, you die. I'd pick Seijin, probably. How good were you when you first started? I was pretty good. I won my first... My first event was a regional. You lost a single time, and you were out of the tournament, and I won the whole thing. Um, despite being very young at the time, I missed... I'm born in December, and the cutoff was January, so I was like 15 years old playing with college... I was a freshman in high school, basically playing with college kids and above. Um, and then... Um, I, because I won, I was able to, like, my parents were very supportive, but they weren't going to, we, we couldn't have flown to Indianapolis, but because I won, um, they flew, like, they paid for the trip for me and my mom, so we went to Indianapolis, and then that was the national level tournament, and my first nationals, and I won that too, and then at Worlds that year, I got a flight to Worlds, I got sixth, and then the next year, went to a local regional, got second place, won a trip to nationals, won nationals again, then got flown to Worlds in Hawaii, and got second at Worlds, um, yeah, so I was pretty good from the from the get-go, but it was a different time as well. Like, overall, the skill level was lower. Things were less um, organized. Um, there was less resource. There was way less resources. There was so much less resources. Um, yeah, so it's, like, not exactly a fair comparison. Though, I mean, we had breakout players this season, right? I mean, the most notably is Justin Tang, right? First, first season, he won two regionals. Very impressive, so... I think I'm missing an accomplishment. I'm definitely missing some accomplishments. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Void is up there too. Void is a god gamer. How do I get better at VGC? VGCguide.com.
Thanks for stopping by, Chris. Appreciate it. Do you know if Ray Rizzo still competes? He's not playing anymore this season. Yeah, my parents were both very supportive. I'm very lucky. Spence, dude. Dude, your message is sitting in my inbox. I'm so sorry. I got, I'm so sorry. I've, I've like, I've been meaning to text you back for so long. I'm so sorry. I like, I've gotten really bad at texting. Thanks very much for the kind word, Ems. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, I wasn't always like, uh, super kind to myself, but I have gotten older and I've gotten better. So yeah, you can do it too. Good stuff. Does Ray Rosa still compete? Ray hasn't played seriously since Ray didn't. So. 10, 11, 12, he took seriously. He won Worlds all three years. 13, didn't take seriously. Didn't play all... Like, played all year, but just messed around. Um, took a meme team to Worlds. Brought Torkoal before Drought. Um, and then 2014 was like, I'm back. Like, I, I lost in 2013. I'm back. Like, did really well. Had a good season. Won a regional. I think top eight at Nationals. And then at Worlds, he was like, nah, I don't really care. And brought like... I think he, like, he had a friend trade him a team with all three starters the night before. Didn't practice. And then went, I think, second to last place. And like, so basically... I want to say 2014 Nationals was the last time we saw Ray play seriously. He comes out of retirement every once in a while, but I think that was the last time we actually saw him play seriously. He did all, he qualified for Japan Nationals this year, but then basically got mm, like, uh, I don't know how to say it. Basically what happened is he qualified for Nationals. Nationals was a mess. He should have had a Worlds invite, but because of Nationals was a mess, they redid Nationals and they said, okay, like only twice as many people are going to qualify for nationals and then only half of those people are going to qualify for world so ray didn't have the auto worlds invite he still he had to show up nationals do well he was playing in japanese i think just because he had maybe he had to or maybe he thought he had to or maybe he just wanted to but for nationals he was like well i don't speak as good japanese for whatever reason he wanted to he wanted to play in english for nationals for japan nationals so he qualified in his on his a japanese game it was like i want to play in the english language for nationals so he redid his game um and to enter and when he showed up they were like hey your ability to participate in this tournament is tied directly to your like game cartridge that qualified. Not the case in any other and any tournament I've ever played in in my decade. I've never heard of this before. But like they had to bring the exact same cartridge with the exact same save data on it, like to play and to even enter the tournament. So Ray showed up with the same cartridge, but he restarted the game to play in English. And um, they were like, "Your registration isn't here." They couldn't. They couldn't or they wouldn't let him in so he wasn't able to even enter nationals and therefore wasn't able to have a chance to qualify for world so he got pretty screwed over twice because he should have had the auto invite just for qualifying past the first stage which he did and then they messed it up so they had to double the number of entrants and take away the auto worlds invite and then he wasn't even able to play because um yeah like uh he reset his game to play in english Which is pretty messed up. Like, it just, yeah. I mean, it's not like, I don't know. Like, if they couldn't do it, they couldn't do it. But I think it should have been communicated in advance. By the way, the next um, round will start soon, for anyone curious. There's only four matches left. When does this start? Uh, round three will start in probably about five to ten minutes. I don't know about others, but I don't understand what he's saying. My bad. This is an interesting comment. The wolf demo is so cringe. And don't know about VGC, lol. Inner focus is just better than multi right now. What is this comment? What do you mean? <laughs> what does any of this mean? <laughs> Your viewers are cringe and multi scales or inner focus is better than multi scale. <laughs> Am I missing something? What does that mean? What do my viewers have to do with multi-scale? <sighs> I don't get it. So we were talking, my friends and I were talking about how we wished, like, apparently, I don't know this is how accurate this is, but I think it might be because my friend said it, but I think, um, um, I think that in Magic the Gathering, they have basically like legacy invites. Like if you're like, if you've like been like inducted into whatever, like the Hall of Fame or whatever, you can just show up to any tournament and like be able to play, which like, I think like Pokemon would never do, but I do see some of the appeals here. If you're like really 
I don't know. I, I like it's sad to me that Ray lives in Japan, qualified for Nats, and then kind of like won't be able to play in Worlds. Like I wish, I wish sometimes that they would make like. I don't think people would be upset if there was an exception made for Ray. You know what I mean? I wouldn't. I don't know. I can't speak for other people. Uh, did you randomly roll the genders for your Pokemon? I didn't build this team. This is a rental. Is your air quality? I haven't been outside today, but I hope it's good. Where'd you end up placing at NASC? I placed 19th. My worst finish of the year, baby. I will remember when I subbed to you at below 50k, now you're at 1 million. So proud of you, my man. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that, Lasse. Can you wear a focus sash and assault us on your person during worlds? No. Magic Hall of Fame is a scandal filled mess. Aww. Well, in theory, I like the idea. In theory. Who's the best Pokemon in Reg D? The most used Pokemon are Fluttermane and Urshifu. <sighs> Do you use rentals in person? No. Oh, chat's moving too fast. What is Tornadus' EV breakdown? I didn't build this team. I don't know. I'll figure out the pace bin and post it in, uh, in, in the Discord afterwards. Taunt is so good. I can't get over. I just taunted the the Ursaluna and then I, and then like that's yeah. Like it would have been hard without that. I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't play Pogo now. What's Dragonite roll on this team? I am not going to use in Dragonite, so I don't know. Are you going to make a video on NAIC? Yes. Do you have to build your own teams for tournaments? Yes. Are you using photosynthesis? <laughs> Which urge is being used more uh, right now? It is water. Um, do you ever watch your own videos? Yeah, I watch all my own videos before they go live. We actually have one that might go live today, depending on editor and thumbnail guy. Um, it's like nearly done, but yeah, got a couple edits that we need. There's two rounds, two matches left in the, in the round. This isn't a bracket tournament, it's Swiss, so you could see the standings if you wanted, but it wouldn't really be intelligible. When will the next battle start? Probably in five minutes or less. Exclamation point Discord is on the Discord, though it might be broken. Basically, you need to be a member, though, on either here or Twitch. Do you wear wigs? No, I do not. How do you counter Cresselia with Lunar Blessing and Mental Herb? I was practicing and my Terra Normal Extreme Speed did 60% to Cresselia. And then I thought, this isn't fun. I had sort of ruin up. I had sort of ruin up, to be fair, but yeah. Oh, thanks very much, Tom. Appreciate it. Matches in progress update? Two left still. One to the next round, five minutes or less. What's your favorite number? Uh, I say probably say six or 18. Yeah, we have, we, we've actually filmed a Pokemon perspective before uh, Scarlet and Violet released, but like our editor does all the work like for free and he's been busy. So um, yeah, but we interviewed Babatron. Why are these matches taking so long? So there's about 300 people in the tournament, I think. Um, there's, uh, no, there's almost 400 people in the tournament and we need to wait for every single match to finish before the next round can start. So like basically with almost 400 people, like one of the rounds will probably take a long time. And then 
um yeah we all have to wait because of the way that the tournament works because we don't do bracket we do swiss so you can't just start your next match when like the people like that you're gonna play finish because it doesn't work that way you like lizards not especially but i don't i don't dislike lizards do you have a special team for worlds i don't even have a i, I didn't even build my own team for this tournament how do you deal with husumi and gudra uh it, it, ideally you want to stop it from setting up uh and ideally you also want to force something else to terra so you can hit it with like sacred sword you find the wolf in jail comments funny uh not like hilarious but I, I think they're funny yeah it's not like unique to me it's like a general twitch chat like player on screen thing i think dozo is better in this meta no how many games have been played i've won two sets well i won one set and got one by basically because my opponent forfeited let the battle begin and we're not <laughs> yeah Battlefy is so bad. You call it Battlefy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk smack. No, I should. We have a better alternative. We don't have to use this platform. Why don't you pay your editor? I, I literally... I do pay my editor. <laughs> I pay all my editors. <laughs> Why does Victor Grow do this so early? That one I can answer. They're based out of Spain, so they have, like, a, at least a, a higher percentage of European. Um player base so they want and also they they i would assume that a lot of their tournament staff is also in um in spain as well so yeah like starting at 9 a.m eastern is like probably a pretty reasonable time because it's like early for east coast very early for west coast but it's also like what time is that like 3 p.m in europe and so that way people like aren't up all night i actually think it's the right time even though i wish it was later for my own selfish reasons Have you tried your Colossal and Dragable strategy yet in Scarlet and Violet? I did at some point during Reg C or maybe Reg B, but it's so bad. Like, like, like Colossal is so weak without Gigantamax. I wish it was better, but without Gigantamax, the Colossal, like, it's not even the, vo the vocal effect is on its own was broken, right? But like, even without that, it just doesn't do enough damage. Like, even at plus two, it's not doing any, like, it doesn't even KO. Like, I think it's like, I don't think it's easy to KO uh, Flutterman even. <laughs> Do you think Cresselia is worth it? I mean, it's a great Pokemon. How many editors do you have? That is a great question um, that I can't answer because I do not know. Because it's there's a lot of complications all the time. Why were so many people using the same team as you at NASC? Um, two other two i built a team with two friends they used it and then the team basically um was leaked the monday well it was like it hit the general populace the monday before the tournament and so basically the entire field spent the days leading up to the tournament um practicing against the team changing their team to match it better into my team and then some people just like stole the team stole the bad version of the team that wasn't even correct and like yeah um used it so um yeah if you saw somebody i think the only person who used it on stream the next round's about to start all, all matches are done um all the people used it on stream i think i don't i don't think oh carson was on stream yeah so i built it with carson carson and marcus and i were the ones who used it legitimately um yeah so i know yeah that's that's why cool next match is up i am playing against wayne let's see Ooh, wo chen live wo chen reaction oh no Battlefly is so bad. I opened my match and then it kicked me out of opening my match. Hello. And code. Great. How about a league? I'll explain in the video. It's a long, it's like a longest story. But yeah, it was, yeah, I'll explain in the video. Let me use Weavile. I'm not really interested in Weavile right now. Why don't you use Trick Room Teams? I use sometimes. I'm just not using it right now. Okay. 3188180. Three, no, no. 3188. I'm going to say 1880. Correct? 3188180. Searching. 
Look. Alrighty. Alright, live watch and reaction. Let's see here. We have Scarf Urshibu again. That's interesting. Eerie Impulse Thunderous. Wait, this team is actually pretty scary for me, right? Scarf Urshifu. Huh. This is kind of difficult. They have Scarf Urshifu, but they also have Thunderous with Eerie Impulse and Taunt and Rain Dance. Hmm. And they have their own Wu Chen. Hmm. Assault this multi skill dragon as well. Hmm. But their speed control is kind of lacking, right? They only have Scarf Urshifu. I think I want to do this. Dragonite and Iron Hands being left behind. I'm not good with Dragonite, but also they have Wo Chen with Leech Seed, Ruination, Fallen Puff, and yeah. Or Poison Wo Chen. Oh, it's no, um. Does Eerie Impulse go through sub? I wonder. Look that up. Eerie Impulse. Blocked by attack DS, blocked by it's not sound type, so it shouldn't go through sub. Okay. In terms of Terra, I can kind of use it wherever, right? I mean, I don't really need it on. I, it could be useful on Chen Pao, I guess, because of extreme speed, but like, yeah. Oh, they haven't locked in. That's not good. I waited. All right, I'm going to look away from chat while I look at this uh, team sheet. Live Wochen reaction. Rocky Helmet Wochen is kind of a pro. Oh, but there's no recovery. Which is pretty good. Hmm. Citrus Thunderous. I wonder if it's faster than me. Thunderous Urge is okay. This makes sense to me. Got two great friends. Booster Energy goes off. Uh, last time I, I didn't have to Terra, but this time I think I might have to Terra my Flutter. This is a good lead from them. They're gonna Terra their Urshifu, right? I, I want to get the Taunt down for sure. And I, I, if Flutterman goes down and I don't, and like in a worst case scenario, they could they could kill my they could taunt my Torn and, um, yeah. I'm going to do this. I, I don't love this play at all, to be honest. Um, I got, oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, it's not so bad. Ah, it's not so good either. That's not good. It really depends on the speed here. To be completely honest. It was a great play from them. Might lose their later now. Make sure I get speed control. Okay. Okay, I'm either faster or they're thunderbolting. Let's see here. Nice. Okay, I am faster. That's very important. How much is this gonna do? Okay. So their Fluttermane is pixie play, right? They're thunderous. Like, what I want to do here is make the prediction. I want to go for Tailwind and Shadow Ball, to be honest, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict the prediction. The Fluttermane, I was wrong. Did a lot of damage. That's unfortunate, because I could have just KO'd the Spider-Man uh, here if I wanted. It's okay, I can use that going forward. Make sure their, their playstyle. Spider-Man's track fairy. Oh. Oh. Maybe Leak Wind Storm will lower their speed. Pretty cool. I hope I hit both. Oh, I missed him. I missed. Both, okay. That was a very bad play on my part. Survive. Okay. 
Go for this. The problem here... Well, there's a lot of problems, actually. The, the, I think this is a bad... Uh, the Urshu is going to be a real problem later on, and they haven't terrored it either, which is a, another problem. Yeah, missing Bleak Windstorm... If I hadn't missed Bleak Windstorm there... Okay, I'm going to kill the Flutterman at least. I only lose one Mon as well. Although, is this the last turn of Taunt? Could be... Yeah, the good news is that at least one of my Pokemon survives. Brain Dance, Eerie Impulse, Taunt. Okay, and I have I have speed control, which is nice. Thunderbolt goes out. Okay, I'm still alive. Okay. Who do I want to bring in here? Chen Pao. Okay. No longer taunted. I think I want to go into Urshifu here. Because I can Aqua Jet, right? Urshifu again. Uh, do I even kill with Aqua Jet? I'm not familiar enough with my calcs, but I also, this Urshifu is scar uh, Scarf, so I can actually close combat and Dazzling Gleam. Or I could Aqua Jet. I'm okay taking a, an area impulse here. The last Pokemon is either Wo Chen, Volcarona. I'm gonna do this. I might force them to Terra. Like, depending on their last Mon here, they don't really want to bring anything in. Okay, cool. I think I forced the Water Terra. And I still have Tailwind up, which is excellent. Although, I, eh, I, I think I'm in okay shape here, depending on how this turn goes. Oh, they didn't, they didn't Eerie Impulse. Oh. Oh, my. Okay, well, then I should just KO both here because of the Tailwind. Oh, okay. Blit. Oh, yeah, this one, this is kind of spooky. Not gonna lie to you. This one was kind of spooked. Hmm. What's the last mon though? It's gonna be Volk, right? Whoa! Live Wo Chen reaction! Oh, they've already terrored, right? That was with yeah. They just terrored, so I can just dazzling in close combat. Nice. My last mon is Chen Pao, but I don't need to reveal that. This should kill, right? The double up. Oh, Chen, what are you doing, man? Okay, live Chen reaction. Cool. Okay. Um, that was that was interesting. They definitely played in a different way than I would have expected. Um, the Thunderous is kind of a problem, actually. The problem, though, is that, like, so I'd like to use Chen Pao early because it just, like, destroys Thunderous. But the problem is that they can Terra, like, anything. They could also bring Volcarona. I don't think I need Iron Hands here, though. That much is pretty obvious to me. I could do, like, I could do Iron Hands plus, um, Ten Pow, but it also, they could just leave Flutterman, then I'd be screwed, right? I do think my own Flutterman is, is more good here. I don't really have an issue with the Pokemon I brought, I think. Like, I just think I need to be smarter about my trades. I'm gonna do this again. I don't love it, to be honest. But I think because I was so, like, because I, I went for Taunt plus Terra Water Gleam Turn 1... Um, I think if they lead Thunderous again, they're just going to Thunderbolt me. And if they Thunderbolt me, then I can work with that. And I can also just go for, like, Tailwind, Dazzling Gleam and, and go from there. Volcarona, Thunderous. Okay. That is interesting, for sure. Um, Volcarona, Thunderous. Okay. So my goal is, I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam and Taunt here, I think. I don't want Quiver Dance to get set up. That much is obvious to me. The only question is, should I Shadow Ball? But I don't think Shadow Ball is going to 2-hit KO based on how much it did last time. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to Shadow Ball. Like, the Dazzling Gleam damage isn't that important. Okay. 
This should be Thunderbolt into Tornadus, I think. Maybe Heatwave as well. Okay, Heatwave. Uh, Thunderbolt. I just don't know where the target is. Oh, huge crit. That most likely puts in a range of another one under the Shadow Ball. So if Torn Leaf makes it through this turn with some decent health. Ah, nice life. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's not good. That's actually really bad. Shoot. Okay. That is really bad, actually. Um. Ah, uh, uh, that's really bad. Oh, that wasn't good. I didn't get Tailwind up because I have no speed control for the rest of this game. Yeah, not getting Tailwind up is actually really bad there. Shoot. Okay. No Terra. Wait, no Terra? Huh? What? Beh. Heat wave. Did they predict me? Okay, not fully, but partially. Um. Surely they're not just going to let me surging strikes them and get the one shot, right? I can't even predict. I mean, I'll go for it, I guess. Like, um, no, I can make a better play, right? I think this play is better. Okay, there's the Terra at least, finally. I'm very rapidly running out of health for anyone curious. Like very rapidly. <sighs> Holy all Corona. I take out Thunder is good, but I mean, I'm still so far down. Like if they hit me with Giga Drain here, uh, the drag, at least I got the Terra though. It does make my life easier in some senses and harder in others. I hope it's Giga Drain here. I'd rather take the Giga Drain damage. Okay. Did a ton. Okay, I'm losing this for four. Oh my god, that's way more than I thought I was gonna. Not taunted anymore either. Oh boy. We. I think their Fluttermane is faster than mine as well, which is not good either. Oh, Wo Chen. Okay. Five Wo Chen reaction. Okay, hang on. I, I can win this. Trust. I can win this. I see a way forward. Do I see a way forward? How much do I think Shadow Ball does here? Probably a non-trivial amount, right? I need to somehow KO this Volcarona. Yeah, I gotta do this. Oh. Who's the last? Fluttermane. Wait, if I get the KO here, I'm actually chilling. Wait, hang on. I, I might have turned this around. Because the Volcarona is the bigger threat here. If this double up KOs, 2 over 50. I don't think... Oh, wait. Well, yeah. I don't think the crit mattered, assuming that Urshifu was faster. Yeah, I don't think the crit mattered there, in all honesty. Um, yeah. Because close combat is strong. Like, with Wochen still in the field, it might have mattered, but without it, I don't think it does. So now I'm up 3-2, to two, and I have Fluttermane behind a sub. Wochen, does, does it have Protect? It does have Protect. But I still have my... I still have my Terra left, and I also still have... I could have Terra watered here, but I think it's actually better to... Oh, that. My last one is Chen Pao, which I didn't reveal either game. 
Or did I reveal it last game? I don't think so. Wait, what did I have? No, I don't think I revealed it last game. Attack. So here I expect Dazzling Gleam and something else. I just need them to... Oh, that didn't do anything. Uh, this might not be in the bag. Hey, hang on a second. This actually might not be in the bag. Because of the vessel or the bead. Wait, what's the ability? Tablet? Can't make seed. Makes sense. So I don't think that my. I actually wonder if it was correct to tear a water there to get a little extra damage. If it lives just barely, then I think it was. I have the sword now. I gotta go for Dazzling Gleam, Terra Ghost, and Ice Spinner. Is this the way forward? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. This is like maybe a mistake, but basically my thought process is that they need to, they can't, they they can't, they can't really protect Lo Chen here. It doesn't do enough for them um, because then they'll just lose to Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam. So if they're gonna protect him on, it's gonna be, sorry, they can't protect Flutterman here because Lo Chen will take too much damage. So I wanna, if I were to just like protect uh, Chen Pao and, and attack, then I could lose a one versus one to Leech Seed. But I think with this, I, basically by doubling the Flutter, I think I put myself in a worst case scenario and a favorable one versus one. Oh, are they predicting both? Oh, I just win now. Wait, don't I just win? Because I don't lose the sub. Right? Do I just win now? Oh, I didn't do as much as I expected. Are you leeching me? Oh. <laughs> cool. Okay. I go, I go Dazzling Gleam Ice Spinner here. Yeah, because they can't. So here they can't KO all my Pokemon. Like they can, they Dazzling Gleam, but Chen Pao will survive. It will break the sub and then they can Leech Seed either slot. But if they take out Fluttermane, then uh, they lose the one versus one. And if they Seed Chen Pao, they, they lose the two versus one. So yeah, because of the, yeah, the Terra there. The fast, their max speed. Oh, they could have won this actually. They actually could have won this by going for shadow ball into chen pao they would have won um nope it's, uh uh i don't know actually i don't know who would have won but i didn't realize they were, if they were max speed they should have shadow ball there they could have won this yeah that's that's wild wow wait also they shadow ball just like that really. oh. okay well that was interesting um I guess I don't know for a fact that my Chen Pao is max speed. Let me check that. Yeah, this was kind of close, actually. I, if they had Shadow Ball there, I think I would I definitely would have lost. Oh. I'm adamant, Chen Pao. Hmm, that would have been a good thing to realize, wouldn't it, Wolf? <laughs> ah, you definitely could have lost this. Wow. Yeah, I would, I would not have made any of these plays if I knew I was adamant. Okay, well, I learned. <laughs> Okay, well, GG's. <laughs> GG's. Okay. My bad. Didn't realize I was out of it. Now I know. Yeah, they played well. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. My bad. My bad. I gotta throw out my banana. One sec.
<laughs> Hello. Oh, we got another gifty. Gabby, thanks very much for the for the gifts. I really appreciate that. Uh, is Venomoth in the game? people stream today we have 30 second delay so they could like they could see which pokemon i have in advance if they really wanted but like that's cringe bring back the chair i kind of use the bathroom so i will at some point soon we want chair coward all right all right i'll, I'll use the bathroom soon Is this Torment Wolf is hosting? No, this is hosted by Victory Road. They're, uh, they're a group that runs. Um, they have a website that posts VGC stuff, and then also they run tournaments sometimes. Actually, I think they run tournaments pretty often. I don't know. I've played in a bunch of their stuff, so they do a good job. Except for the fact they use Battle 5. That I have issue with. Why did you Ice Spinner instead of Sucker Punch in the last turn? Would Sucker Punch not have KO'd? Um... Sucker Punch is weaker than Ice Spinner, so I figured, like, if they go for the double protect, which seems, like, I don't know, like, not impossible, then I guess I could have suckered, like, yeah, but I didn't, I assumed that I was Jolly Max Speed, so I figured that Ice Spinner was better, because if I get the kill, like, yeah, I don't know, I just figured it was better. But yeah, it was a mistake. Probably, probably in hindsight, knowing that I'm adamant now, I would have Sucker Punched. Although, knowing that I'm adamant, I might have made different plays in other positions as well like maybe i would have terra watered there and then been like okay like with the terra water sucker punch will probably kill but honestly they probably weren't that bulky since they were faster than me so maybe i just i don't know i don't know go swim with the overquill i don't think overquill stats are very good how many wins do i need i need six out of eight to advance it tomorrow why are people so curious about terra ghost torn like i've never I'm, I'm just people are more surprised than i expected I think a Mudsdale. It's the concept is cool. Stamina is a cool ability. What hair product do you use? Um, I forget what it's called. Um, but right now I don't have any hair. I <clears throat> don't have any hair product in right now. I went to bed with wet hair and I woke up and it looked like this. But I think it's surprisingly okay. The day before it looked pretty bad when I did the same thing. I read a little before bed, so it had some time to dry. Is it true that your favorite strategy is Paris Trap? Why? Uh, yeah, it's true. I love it. It's fun. I don't agree that Palafin is better than Urshifu. Urshifu is way better. Is Bramblegast good? That is next Saturday's video about Bramblegast. We use another of your own tournaments like you did before on Sword and Shield. I don't have any plans in the immediate future. Maybe at some point. Hello. Do you want to say hi? You don't have to. You can if you don't. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it says eight rounds online scroll. I don't know what it, what it actually is, but I checked the, the page and it said eight on the like tournament details page. Maybe it'll be nine. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever tried any smoke on singles formats in Shodan when I was a wee lad back in like 2010? I played some, but yeah, I've been playing VGC since 2011. Do you have pets? Not yet. We'll probably get a cat sometime in the next year. This is a Victory Road Swiss tournament. Swiss into top cut. Gotta to win X2. So if there's nine rounds, I gotta win seven. Eight rounds, I gotta win six. That's in Grafii, not very good. What place do you expect in this tournament? Um, I don't know. Probably not realistic to expect to like win, given I didn't have any games with this team going in, but I'm expecting to make day two at the very least. <sighs> Would 
Will is a threat return? No. That's old content. So I've been thinking about posting some battle content on Bonus Wolf, to be honest. Kind of like what Aaron does. Stream schedule? I basically only stream when I want to get footage for a video. By the way, I said this earlier, but for anyone new tuning in, um, make sure you... What you should do, you're on YouTube right now, open a new tab, type in Wolfie VODs, and hit subscribe, because... This video is gonna, this VOD is gonna go private after the stream finishes. So anything that you have, like that you're not watching right now will be gone. Um, and then after the video post posted next week, the full VOD will be posted on, on the VOD channel. Yeah, Didus is Rob's cat. I miss Didus so much. Thoughts on last year? Uh, it could be okay. I think it's like kind of tricky though, because like Ursa Luna and Iron Hands both offer so much compared to last year. Yeah, DC weather sucks right now. Although yesterday wasn't so bad, but it still is bad. You don't have to say I you can if you want. The mic is like you gotta speak directly into it. Just, just, hello. Hello. <laughs> You're did you you won? You're two one? I'm two one, yes. Marcus is also playing in the tournament. In the other room. How's the stream so far? Stream so far is pretty good. We got a lot of viewers. Um, people seem to be enjoying enjoying the um the stream. I think. I mean, we got a chat. There's 30 second delay, so they'll react to you in about 20 seconds. Yep. Um. Yes. Everyone excited for Pokemon Home? Pokemon Home. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Dude, Ursaluna is pretty scary. Uh, Paul had Terra Ghost. I couldn't. No, facade. It was it was facade. Headlong rush. Protect Swords Dance. But then I taunted it with Torn, and then I fake out Sucker Punched it. So, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever it did, I got it. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck in your next round. Bye bye. I've commandeered Marcus's room. Least favorite Pokemon ever? Smeargle? It's probably Xerneas or Smeargle. My hatred for Thunderous has, has kind of waned a little bit in recent years. Like pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? Come on. Who doesn't like pizza? <laughs> yeah, Marcus is staying with me till like the end of the month. My husband and I have a shout out. We are huge fans. Shout out Nick and Nick's husband. What are, are you more or less excited about Worlds being a new format after playing it for a little bit? Uh, I prefer. I would have preferred Reg C, I think, but that's okay. When are you making ice cream, man? I gotta do it soon. I gotta go to the store. Like out of food. Well, we went yesterday. And we got some stuff, but yeah, I need to like get stuff to cook. When you start battling, um, we have to wait till the current round finishes. So I will check for you because you asked so nicely. Um, currently there are you battle by still a lot of there's still 80 matches left, so we have some time. This is not my team; it's a rental team, but the rental team is strong. So yeah, I figured I could use it, and then if you guys need wanted a team to start playing the format with, you could use it too. And you could like watch the video or VOD to figure out how um, how to use the team or how I think to use the team because I didn't build it. Have you, ever have you ever considered joining a Pokemon Draft League? Boy, do I have some old content that you would like. Is Tyrantor viable in Reg D? I don't know. Did Marcus make Worlds? Yes. But this is the first year in a long time that all the homies are day one. Like all my friends are day one. When is the battle going to start? You got probably 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Depending on an Amorous, it's a, there's a lot, it has a lot going for it, but it's difficult to justify using in a format where you have Flutter main. What are the EVs on Flutter and G-Knight? I do not know. I didn't build this team. I'll figure it out after the stream and I'll post it in the um, uh, sub discord. By random Tornadus, boost the power of Surging Strikes. Shout out to Desiree. Um, I, Richie Drago could be good, I think. It's move is really good.
Shadow Niles. <laughs> I could have brought Dragon Knight into that last game. Like, I actually, if, if I lost game two, I would have brought a game three. Top three fake out users. Top three best. What's your favorite type of pizza? Inex inex inexorably ine inexorable veracity. Thank you for the $10 dono. Uh, favorite type of pizza? I actually like just like plain cheese, to be honest. Like, it's not that I dislike toppings on pizza. It's just that I feel like when you add toppings a lot of time, you take away from the core of what makes the pizza good. Like, I love mushrooms. I don't like, I don't mind mushrooms on pizza, but I, I feel like I prefer just plain cheese. It's nine rounds. Oi. But they said it was eight rounds online. Are you agency wolf? I don't think so. But I, I, I love Blunder, but I don't think, I don't think, uh, agency is his brand. And it's a great, it's a great brand. Blunder, in terms of branding, I think Blunder is one of the best in the whole community, if not the entire, like the single best. Blunder's also hilarious. It was cool. I got to meet, um, do y'all know Chimpak? Chimpak and I go way back from, uh, like playing draft league together. Um, way, way back in the day, probably 2017. I got to meet him for the first time at, uh, Hartford. Best counter strategy lucky. Out speeding out is the best thing you can do. So Tailwind and, um, and Trick Room. Scary face kind of works as well, but not as consistently. Can you show Flutter Mane's moveset? Okay. Are you battling fans? No. Which Urshu would you like more? I think water is better right now. Are you in day one or day two for Worlds? I'm in day one, baby. Didn't go to uh, enough internationals. <laughs> and I also didn't top four NAIC, which would have been necessary given what my position. What is the difference in the matches that take a lot of time in the tournaments versus years that end very fast? I'm winning in two games rather than three, or I have so far, which saves a lot of time. And also my team is so offensive that if I, like, there's no, like, there's no, like, Gudra, iron defense, iron defense, iron defense, like, body press, body press, like, shelter, shelter, you know, whatever. Like, like, eh, the, the, I just don't have the bulk of my team to have the battles last a long time because my Pokemon won't survive very long. Are you still with Beast Coast? Yeah, yeah, I, I um, I gotta say, very happy I signed with Beast Coast. I like hesitated for a while and I like wasn't sure what to expect to be honest, but um Yeah, no, I, I Beast Coast has been really good to me. They've exceeded expectations. That reminds me, I gotta sign my contract. They sent me my new con like uh, my contract renewed or like expired or I don't know, I don't know, at some point. Um Yeah. I gotta sign that. I, I keep forgetting. There's a lot of things I keep forgetting. I thought you didn't make worlds. No, no, no. I qualified for worlds back in like February. I wanted, yeah, back in February. I haven't qualified for a long time. Um, but I wanted to get day two. What's the hardest Pokemon challenge in your opinion? Winning, winning the world championships. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably the hardest. But in terms of things that anybody can do, the only one that I've completed is Emerald Kaizo. That was hard. I'm looking forward to Platinum Kaizo. If it, like, I think I think the creator's working on it. How many years have you been playing? My first year was 2011. 12 years. Uh, you neither Tront, Taunt nor KOing Cresselia in one hit are super effective because they normally run Mental Herb and somebody was talking about Terra Dark as well. Um, and then KOing Cresselia in one hit is like, good luck. <laughs> With VGC, do you have to travel a lot for tournaments? You don't have to. I did more traveling this year than I would have liked to. Um, I went to six events, seven events, um, which is a lot since that the events only started in January. Is Thunder is bad now? It's not on top, but uh, it's still good. Favorite anti meta call? I'm using a meta rental team. I haven't built anything yet. Negotiate that raise. I'm. I'm. I think I got. A, I think I negotiated for a small raise, but um, I feel I, I care about like. I feel like the yeah. I'm happy with my contract in Beast Coast. I feel like it's fair. Um both parties i'm not trying to like take advantage of anybody either yeah i think i was like negotiating i don't know if i'm allowed to say this so whatever it's not like a bad thing i was like negotiating for a raise i was like hey like i think i want like a small raise and they were like okay like like we'll give you x but it was too high and i was like that's not really reasonable so we did lower have you tried emerald rogue i did uh i did play it a little bit but um yeah true pokemon type i don't know steel 
Do you think Wochen is underexplored? Mm, it's not very good, honestly. Like, I love grass type bad legendary Pokemon. Like, I was the number one type of Bulu Believer, but like, eh. Do you wear wigs? No, I do not. How do I get Moonblast? I believe it's a level up move. I want to say 84, but I'm not positive. Oh, is that? Hey, is that Evan? Is that is that Evan Lat? Uh, regardless, thanks for the kind words. Really appreciate that. Why is protecting the fourth slot? Because I didn't build this team. Stomping Tantrum and Dragon are good. It's good for like hitting certain Pokemon. Um, I don't know if it's the best in this format, but it's early format, so how to how to know. How long until the next round begins? Probably about 15 minutes if I had to guess. It's hard to say for sure. If you're broken, can't travel, how can you compete in VGC? Um, you want to go to the events that are close by to you. So you want to go to a region, like there's normally a regional, depends where you live. Hopefully in most places in the US, there's, um, there's um, a, what am I saying? What am I saying? There's a regional within driving distance of some places in the US. Like the drive might be like eight to 10 hours, but hopefully you can get somewhere. And then you can also play in local, local events um premier challenges which give cp um but yeah like ideally in a perfect world you'd like find like you basically find people to carpool like go to your local events make friends find people to carpool with and share hotels with and then like go to the regionals within driving distance but it really depends on where you um it really depends on, on where where in the country you live there are some parts and if you're not in the us at all then it can be even harder and some countries aren't like yeah it's just not accessible so there's also Wi-Fi tournaments. There were three global challenges where you could earn championship points from. Uh, my suspicion is next season it'll be a lot easier to qualify for Worlds because I think that local events will be throughout and will be worth, like, we'll give more points. So, yeah, um, local events are, if you want to qualify for Worlds, that's like your, or if you just want to get experience, local events in your area are probably the best thing to do. Incinero is not legal right now. Rillaboom, I think, is good. Is this tournament single elimination? No, it's something called Swiss. So I play the set amount of rounds. I believe it says nine. Um, and then at the end, the best performing players will advance to a bracket. Eight hours is not driving distance. I think it is. I feel like, like eight hours is the most that I would do in one day alone. But if you have other people, it depends on who you are, right? Like, yeah, but eight hours is definitely driving distance. Like, I feel like driving like past, like, like, I don't know, especially if you're doing with other people, if you want to save money, you can totally do, I don't know, it depends, like, it depends, right? Like, if you have three people in the car, you could easily do 12 hours and do three, four hour shifts, right? What's your role within Beast Coast? I'm a sponsored player and creator, so I'm on the Beast Coast Pokemon channel sometimes. Um, um, and also, I, do you guys know that I'm a, what's the word? I'm a partial owner of Beast Coast? Not a, not a big parsh, but a small parsh for sure. I don't know if we ever advertised this. Like, it's not secret. Um, is owner the right word? I have some of the company stock. I think like i don't know if i'm allowed to say how much so i'm not gonna say that but i have some like i'm like a investor is that the what's the word when you have some of the stock they gave me some songs can you guys hear the blender by the way i drove 25 hours for san diego like that's a lot i, I wouldn't that's too much for me personally that's american driving distance right i guess it depends who you're talking about it's just not good probably not bulletproof doesn't prevent protect from moon blast does it but is bulletproof block moon blast I don't know the answer to that. I don't think it does. Maybe actually, maybe it does. Bullet proof. No, if it blocked Moonblast, it could be good, but it doesn't. Well, this sucks. Why would I use it? Wait, this doesn't block anything. Aura Sphere, Energy Ball, Gyro Ball, Octazooka, Pollen Puff. Oh, imagine winning worlds because your chest not 1v1s and a Moongus because it has <laughs> Pollen Puff can't damage you. Um, Pyro Ball, Rock Wrecker, Rock Blast, Searing Shot. What is this? This isn't a real move. Is this Victini's? Oh, I guess so. Uh, Seed Bomb, Shadow Ball. It blocks Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb. Those are the big ones. And Weather Ball was relevant at one point, but not anymore. Shareholder, Minority Shareholder, Stakeholder, Shareholder, Shareholder, Blender Holder.
20 matches left. That's messed up. When's your next game? Whenever the current round finishes, there's 20 rounds left, so I'm guessing like 15 minutes. Shareholder? Minority shareholder. Minority shareholder. Why do you think it's dinner isn't seeing as much use? Probably because it's not legal. <laughs> it's not in the game. <laughs> I mean, I can't really speak too much about how getting ground EU countries. We can ask Marcus if you want. But also, EU has trains. That's the thing. You can, like, get most places with, like, good public transit, right? Are you battling against fans? No. What's the price for this tourney? This one costs $10, though a lot of them are free. Can Scissor be good again? Yeah. Um, I think Spicy Appy has actually made day two at Hartford with Scissor, if I'm remembering correctly. It was good because, like, well, it's probably not good right now because Fluttermane stopped running Terra Fairy, but it was nice against Terra Fairy Fluttermane because you could just, like, kill them. Are you allowed to look at the moves and stats of the Mons? Yeah. Are you wearing pants? No, but I'm wearing shorts. Did you drop a game yet? No, but I got to buy round one, so I've only really played two, game, two uh, rounds. Did you remind your opponents that if they're facing the former world champ? I did not. I also played a former world champ in my first uh, set of the day. Does it feel weird having to do a YouTuber voice when you read scripts? What feels weird is that I don't do the YouTuber voice on purpose. Marcus is actually going to help me while, I'm, while he's here with like pronunciation. Um, because... Um, yeah, like I don't mean to do YouTuber voice, but it's like it's hard because the way I write is different than the way that I speak. So it just like happened, right? Um, so I gotta figure out how to kind of I've gotten better too. Like my my like I don't know. I've definitely gotten better at it, but it's still like something that yeah is a little weird for me because I don't do it on purpose. Um Wolfie, do you have a girlfriend? I do. Thank you very much. Oh, I got so many emails. Oh man, I'm so bad at emails. Oh man. Man. Okay, you know what? Please don't spam. Please. What do you think about Cleavor? Its stats are pretty bad, but its typing is interesting. Being a rock bug type, like, actually is a surprisingly decent combination. And then um, Stone Axe is pretty good, especially, like, setting up Stealth Rocks to break Sash is great. Killing Tornadus is also awesome. What's your skincare routine? I actually don't do much skincare. Would you ever consider casting a member slash patrons tournament? Something I want to do in the fall is consider setting up um, a Patreon. So for example, Carson and I have about like, I played probably, I have like 20 plus recorded, I probably have 15 recorded battle spot games and four or five recorded best of threes. And Carson has a bunch of like the same all recorded that we were using like to review like VOD review before Worlds and um I'm just gonna like delete them like I deleted them from my Google Drive and I was thinking about setting up a Patreon with like we can show practice sets like that like they wouldn't be super entertaining um because there wouldn't be commentary or anything like it's just the gameplay itself um and but yeah like I would like I don't know like there's like we can do like behind the scenes stuff we can have Doug do bonus um like like uh, extended edition cuts and then we can also do um we can also do like uh early release for videos as well as potentially i don't think trailer wants to do um i don't think trailer wants to do the podcast uh via patreon but i think we should because it's not really like if we actually had a patreon to support it then we could pay somebody to like this um pager has been editing it for free uh like we because we, we don't make any money via we turn off monetization on youtube um but if we had a patreon to like to do it then we could actually pay people so we could make more of them so i think that i want to do i but like we don't have the really i don't think it would, it would i don't really have the bandwidth right now to figure it out but maybe in the fall i'll set it up 
Because I think that it would actually have a lot of value to people. You could also like get sub Discord access and like other stuff. Twelve matches left. How long till the next game? There's 12 matches left. Probably 10 plus minutes. Ever free. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys don't know the real the real hero behind Wolfie VGC is Wit. Wit's my editor. Um, you might see him at events now, uh, with the camera. But yeah, like I think I think if 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 Wit left, the whole channel would just explode on the spot. I think. Oh, it's like uh, Atlas and, and the world holding up the world, but the world is my YouTube channel. 11 matches left. Yeah, everyone say thank you. Can we get some thank you wits in the chat? Because uh, <laughs> we very need him. <laughs> Everything would go boom. Um, also, just incredibly cracked. Like, yeah, incredibly good editor slash also producer, strategist, all of it. Do you think King Emma still has potential in Regulation D? I do. King Emma has great stats. I'm going to see Wolfie play Pokemon Taylor Swift. Yeah, well, I want a Ferrari, but we don't always get what we want. Do you have a Discord? I do, but it's only for subscribers or um, members on YouTube. Why monetization turned off on YouTube? Because Aaron wanted to use a specific um, audio, like, like song for the intro and stuff. And we contacted the band and they're like, hey, you can use it, but you're not allowed to make money on it. And we were like, yeah, we don't really care. Like, we want to use it. So, yeah, but then we, if we were actually making... If we had it set up via the Patreon, we could just find royalty for your free music. Ten matches left. Is there a channel or playlist with VODs? Yeah, Wolfie VODs on YouTube. <clears throat> Thanks very much, Koala. I appreciate it. By the way, if you're enjoying the stream, y'all, don't forget that you can support the channel by uh, joining or by donating um, or just by watching as well. Um, appreciate it. We're hoping to have a video out later today as well about the 10 best plays in Scarlet and Violet, but we... Um, yeah. Depends on editing and also our thumbnail. Keys? Yeah. Tag him again. If you subbed on Twitch, you can still join the Discord, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about using Ursaloon today, but I, I wanted to use a team that I thought was like a bit easier to pilot so that if anyone watching needed a team for Reg D, they could just like use this one. Yeah, we could have we could have paid for temp rights to the song, but we like didn't expect to make a lot of money with the podcast anyway. So we like we just did the easy thing. Like we, I'm not saying it's the best thing. We just did what was easy. Eight matches left. This is the Victory Road tournament. Yes. Thanks very much for joining the channel. Uh, that flash guy, I appreciate it. Any idea on what you'll bring to Worlds? No, I have no idea. Maybe Galarian Moltres. I like it. I won a tournament with it back in Sword and Shield. Um, I don't know how good it is nowadays, but I, I like it. I had a longer question for you. What's the place to ask it? You can send it on Twitter, but I get a lot of Twitter DMs, so I can't guarantee a response. In fact, yeah, it's unlikely that I'll respond. Are you team with Marcus for Worlds? Yes. Where is your old intro? Were you writing paint? That's on Bonus Wolf. What's the longest time you streamed? We did one 24-hour stream when we, we uh, my friends and I said that if we won the first tournament of Sword and Shield, um, that we would do a 24-hour mark hunting stream. Mark hunting is like shiny hunting but different because you get marks, not shinies. Uh, Ru Ro Ro is Lang what? Pf. Um, thanks for the uh, sub. Balthazar has competitive triples ever been a thing? No. Um, at side events sometimes, like some tournaments would have side events, uh, with it, but never, like, never really, no. Or, like, it's never been official. I don't know if, I'm sure some people played it back in Gen 5, but I don't remember. 
What's the best way to get into VGC for real? If you're doing well online, go to an event. You can start with a local, something low key, or if there's one nearby you, you can, like a regional nearby, you can go to that. Yeah, thanks very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. Do you think you'll bring raid guys? Don't ask me what I'm bringing to worlds. I don't know. I have no, not only do I not know, I have no idea. Are you confident getting past day one on worlds? No, the last two times I didn't do it. So I'm pretty worried. Josh Croft, thanks for joining the channel. You just like Lando Tier and Cinera more and Cinera. I don't think I'm at the point where I need an assistant, but I, I am at the point where I can understand how somebody could need an assistant. Um, if that makes sense. Like I used to be like, how could you ever need an assistant? Now I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I, I actually get it. What do you think, Gotha Double? There's Luna. We played that round one. You can go back, or round two, I guess, technically. You can go back and watch it. Where's the podcast? It's on Bonus Wolf. It's called Pokemon Perspectives. Um, There's a fair few episodes out. Not that many, probably four or five, maybe three or four. Thanks very much, Birdie Bird. Do you have a memory of the time where you were outplayed the hardest and what happened in that scenario? Um, uh, maybe not the hardest, but I remember in Worlds 2017, I made it through day one after losing the first round and then I made it into top cut and I won my first top cut round and then I was in the top 16 versus a player named Nils Dunlop. The set is actually online. It's, I think, uh, the Wobble Set recorded it. Um, and like, I just got outplayed. Like, it was a really good set. I lost game one. I won game two. And then, like, uh, I just got outplayed game three. And I was, like, it's one of the times where I remember being, like, the most okay with losing. Because I, like, just got outplayed. Um, a lot of times, like, I look back and I think, like, I see what things I could have done differently. And, like, I feel frustrated. But there I felt like I gave it my all. And I just, like, got, yeah, outplayed. And so I was, like, okay losing there. Um, personally. So, yeah. That's, like, one of my, one of the times that I remember. Um... Yeah, probably the most memorable time for me personally. It's not like it wasn't like a, I mean, of course, if I'd won there, it was a chance I could have gone even further. But um, yeah, like, yeah, I just I just like, yeah, got outplayed. I believe in Belly Bolt, but I don't think it's good. You plan on streaming more tournaments before Worlds? Maybe. Uh, I'm mostly just streaming like to get footage for the video, in all honesty. Um, but it's nice to hang out with chat as well. It's just that streaming takes a long time, especially these tournaments, right? Like if I was, um, if it wasn't streaming, I could do stuff between rounds. Can we speak Marcus on the podcast? Um, probably. We're not, I don't think we're going to have much time for the podcast before Worlds. Like we still have an episode from before Scarlet and Violet came out that we filmed that we haven't posted. I don't know. Well, that one has to come out before we do anything else, I think, so we don't overload our editor. Six matches left. Have you got plans in Japan other than the world? So I'm going to Japan for a month from August 1st through August 31st, and I haven't planned a single thing. I don't even have any lodging booked. It's actually really bad. What's your record? It's on the screen in the top left, but I'll tell you as well. It's three wins, zero losses, though it is worth noting that one of those uh, wins was a buy. Well, my opponent showed up and said, hey, I can't play. Sorry, you take the win. So I've only beaten two people. What are your thoughts on cocaine? Weird question, but I don't do any drugs and I certainly don't recommend doing drugs that have can have severe, severe adverse health effects. That in particular is one that I've never really understood, to be honest. Maybe it's a perspective thing, but I never, I never understood why people would do that personally. Thoughts on Palmat? Palmat? Mm, not good. But Revival Blessing is cool. Ah! And it has to be Dershifu and it... Eh, but it also gets one shot by surging strikes. Any advice for team building? Um, 
it's hard you just got to do it like you got to build bad teams before you can build good teams you can ko with a shadow ball from flutter and a surging streaks from urshifu not if they tear up only not if they're citrus um yeah it's not easy to ko crest uh, i need to win four more rounds to advance can you speak any japanese not at all your pinch and corviknight i think it's a cool pokemon but i don't think i would use it personally at least not in this format when are you fighting next there's four matches left when they finish i'll be able to play thoughts on screamtail and reg d uh i would think it's probably not as good as i would like it to be because prankster taunt is like kind of really bad for it to be honest and prankster tailwind also is pretty bad How do you balance work in Pokemon? Um, I've been very tired this year. I mean, I, to be clear, my job is Pokemon, but the kind of work I do for my job is very different than playing VGC, to be honest. Oh, uh, I think Kasumi Samurai is, is not very good. Um, I don't think it will be at Worlds doing well. Um, if I were to say what Terra type, it's Water Dark. So, uh, uh, weak to Fighting, Fairy. Poison might be okay on it, to be honest. Def I think you want a defensive type so you can get more spikes up, but the stats are pretty bad. I think there'll be new Paradox models in the DLC. Pro probably, right? Those those are the tournament at Victory Road. They're your uh, website. Um, they host tournaments. They post VGC stuff. Do you think Misty Terrain is ever viable? Yeah, um, it actually... It was on a team that... Um, did well in regulation C as a uh, unchoice specs flutter main, which is funny. The match is left still. You know what next match is? Probably less than five minutes. Huge fan here can send a message for Brazil. <laughs> Hello, Brazil. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Pinion regular Zapdos. Does it still get Tailwind? I think it's a good mod. Has great ability, really good typing, really good stats. Would you consider yourself main monitor content or second monitor content? Depends on if I'm playing a match or just hanging out. What's your strat against the fairy type weakness of the team? Um, I already explained this, but it's not really weak to fairy. It just looks that way because all the Pokemon just die to anything anyway. It doesn't really matter what they're weak to. Who are your biggest rivals in the competitive Pokemon scene? I only really have one rival, and that's Ray. Um, but he hasn't played since 2012, so like it's more of like a, it's not like an active rivalry. You know what I mean? More of a former rivalry. What's your favorite team you had in Scarlet and Violet? My worst performing one, the one that I brought to nationals. It was a great team. Did the meta change? The rules had changed, so yeah, now the meta also changed. Regulation D does not have restricted. It has non-restricted legendary Pokemon. Thoughts on Oricoria and Volcarona? Oricoria is bad. Whoa, I think my chat was lagging. Uh, we had a new member. Chase, thanks for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. My son got into of Pokemon thanks to your content. Thanks to you for the work. Good work. Yeah, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I hope your son enjoys. I like it's a conscious decision to make my content um like kid friendly. Not like for kids, but like I you know, I try not to swear and whatever. And so it's, it's always nice to, to meet um kids who are getting into it. 26 for rides just because of the best, and I wish he was the meta. Thanks for all the content. Well, thanks very much for the donor. That's very generous. Thank you very much, Punch Lasers. Really appreciate it. Is this your potential worlds team? No. One match left. Who are the top three players you think are the best shot to win worlds this year? We can't say anything. It's a new format. Um, are you and Ray going to make content? I don't have any plans for it. Um, I'm not that I'm opposed to it. We just don't have any plans. Love the content. Keep it up. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.
What are your thoughts on Hisui and Gudra? I think it's a strong Pokemon. I think if you're not careful versus it, you'll definitely lose. <laughs> that's one of my Barnaby. That's one of my favorite videos. That's, that's a good one. The one hour intro. That's, that's a good one. What do you think of Drake painting his nails? I literally could not care less. I literally, literally could not care less. Will Scissor be viable again? I already answered this. From what gen is Chen Pao? This gen. Do you have any full out shinies in the safe file? Yeah, I actually, I ran into a shiny Cyclozar and a shiny Azumar, or um, Azuril when I was um, EV training at points. I got a couple other ones. I think I got like, uh, I have a shiny Volcarona actually, crazily enough. Or Larvesta, I guess. I haven't evolved yet. What's the one tournament you wish you could have done better? All of them. <laughs> Every time I don't win, I wish I could have done better. Are you allowed to watch other matches? I, I guess so if they're streaming, but I'll just chill here. I'd rather talk to the chat. Thoughts on thoughts? Yep. Dozo beats Gudra. Ah, does it? If it's unaware, maybe. Why do you think Lucky doesn't use much? I think people haven't figured out how to use it. Best bagel for 2023 regionals? Well, the best bagel for 2023 period was um the NIC bagel. That was delicious. Fluttermane is amazing. Might be the best mod on the format. It's like right now it's looking like Fluttermane or Urshifu are the best mod on the format. Mons of the format. Maybe Tornadus too, but it's kind of early to call that. Thoughts on Seraledge? I wouldn't want to use Seraledge when the main Pokemon to beat is Urshifu. And the other one is Fluttermane. You need to Terra to beat both. Uh, Joey and I don't have any immense or uh, imminent plans, but I, I think I think um, we'll do something at some point for sure. Might have to be until after Worlds though. I was bummed I couldn't meet him at Hartford. He like back, he like had to leave or like cancel at the last second. We have the Dish in his band? Yeah, but I'm bummed. It'll come back eventually. When did I promise Flutter wouldn't be good anymore? When did I promise that? Um, although Tauros was good earlier, I don't think it will hold up anymore, to be honest. Still one match left. Hmm. What is that Nuzlocke with Pichal? Yeah. Uh, we, we haven't made any progress in that in a while. <laughs> Do you think Iron Valiant could be strong? No. Following in stream, I have six rounds left, probably. Why are you not playing? I'm waiting for the round to start. How many people developed your nationals team? Um. Uh, the original idea came from Yuki, who had like uh, Fluttermane, Gothitel, and Dendozo, uh, and he had Tachigiri at one point, and I realized that if you added Flamigo, you could add a whole extra mode to that. Then I worked with Yuki, and then we added Carson, and then Yuki wasn't going to NAIC, so he stopped. And then it was me and Carson working primarily together for a while, and then uh, two weeks before the tournament, um, Marcus was like, hey, I want to use this team, so he worked with us as well towards the end. But when Marcus joined the team, it was, I think, done, or pretty done. We just had to speak a couple spreads. So it was mostly me and Carson. Does this team have a plan against Endozo? Uh, nope. Oh, but I'm planning. It doesn't have a plan against Endozo. Can I do anything? Uh, no, I just lose. I 
Can you tell Purple if I said hi? It would mean the world to me. No, I'm not your I'm not your messenger. <laughs> let's, let's not let's not be parasocial, please, please. I'm grateful that my audience is older because I don't really have to deal with much parasocial stuff. In all honesty, I think that's like one of the benefits of having an older audience. I'm sure I mean I still have some for sure. So I can tell you this, but yeah, for the most part, people are pretty chill. Yeah, I don't know why people say I look younger as I get older. I guess I looked older when I was younger. I don't know. I don't really think about it. I just show up looking like me. You know what I mean? Thoughts on Lilligans? The Suey and Lilligans sounds interesting. I think it's pretty fast. Thoughts on Venusaur? I hate Venusaur. I have a 30 second delay, so that's why the chat is far back. Is water issue better than dark one? Better is a tough word um, to use here. But the water issue is more popular right now. How is this last match still going on? What is going on? Had you worked with Carson before NASC? No, this is our first time working together. Eh, Hans doesn't really beat Dozo, to be honest. Your audience are kids, little bro. My audience are actually, as someone who has access to the data, you can see how old my audience is. Most of you are at least 16, 17. The majority of you are between 18 and 24. And then the rest of you are probably, it's like some of you are below 18. Most of you are between 18 and 24. And then a good chunk of you are between 25 and 32. And then some of you are older as well. Oh, we make another make my own Pokemon videos. The first one didn't do very well, so probably not. Connection issues in the last match. Oh, yeah, this is taking forever. When's your birthday? It's in December. Carson Confer, yeah. 2016 world champion in the seniors division. Oh, maybe more of you are over 24 than I thought. I should look at this. Well, I'm actually curious now because a lot of you are saying you're older than 24. Let's see here. Uh, audience, where's my age demographics? Age, okay. 5% of you, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong, I'm sorry, I misled you. Wait, okay, here's the actual data, okay. 5.3% are between 13 and 17 years old. So only 5% of you are under 18. 38% are between 18 and 24, but also 38%, the same percentage, are 25 to 34 years old. 11% um, of you are 35 to 44. So how much is that? 76. Basically, almost 90% of my audience is between 18 and 44 with 76%, uh, 77% between 18 and 34. So the vast majority of you are between 18 and 34 with some of you a little bit older and then 5% is 45 to 54. 1% is 55 to 64. That could also be some people who are under, I guess some of the 45 to 54 group could also be under 13 kids. Um, Yeah, so some parents probably as well. Yeah, so the majority of you, if you were between 18 and 34, you were in the you were in the core group. Oh, looks like the next round is up. What am I playing? I know this name. Nicola. Oh. Hello. And code. Ready. All right, next round is starting. Rimsnarl. Uh, 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 I don't like this. Ah, uh, gross. I don't like it. I do not like it one bit. Chat, here's why I don't like it.
Does not reliable though kids use grown-ups YouTube's account? Yes, but when they do it, they, they show up in a different age bracket, right? Because if they're under, if they are under 13, which I think is the age you need to be to make a YouTube account, um, they'll show up primarily in the in the 40, like like 35 plus age age division, right? Because they're not pretending to be, they're probably pretending to be their parents, right? They're using a parent's YouTube account. So it's probably accurate that about over three quarters of, of you are, uh, are actually what you claim to be on YouTube. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, nine. Good luck, have fun. This looks kind of difficult to be honest. Um, Wait, how do I get out? I want to leave. Let me out. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. There we go. All right, how do I play this? How do I do this? All right, I'm closing chat. Bye bye. Um. I don't like this very much, even a little bit, to be completely honest with all y'all. You gotta remember I'm adamant though. I think that this is probably okay. Like I don't love it, but it's not it's not terrible. AV hands, wild church fake out ice punch, okay, nasty plot, goldango, rocky helmet amogus. Amogus! Amungus. Okay, Grimstar Goldango. That makes my lead not cool. That makes my lead not cool at all. Alright, that's not a great lead for me, to be completely honest. Uh, cause I can't taunt either Pokemon. Yeah, this is kind of sus. I could have gone for Rain Dance, but I don't really want to. I don't think I'm the best Urshifu user in the world, to be to be honest. <laughs> yeah, they, that was a good lead from them. They really got me off guard. Oh, it's Scarf Landorus. I gotta watch out for that. You know, maybe, um, I'm not sure this was the best move I could have made. I think maybe, like, Terrastalizing and Shadow Balling was okay as well. Okay, light screen. I was a little worried about, um, something else here. Are they going to make it rain? Yeah. I could have terrified. Oh, that? Why does it do so much to Urshifu? Wait, what? Why did it do so much?
Okay, I think the Amoongus is switching in this turn for that spot. I'm going to make this play. I think Amoongus is switching in for the Goldango, to be honest. Minus one. Uh, I'm getting outplayed. The thing is, I don't know if tearing to water would prevent it from breaking the thing. I was wrong. Wait, they don't even... They stayed in with Goldango? Oh, I'm getting so outplayed. Oh, no. Oh, they tear it. Okay. Oh, this is not going well. That's okay, though. I'm chilling. I'm not chilling. I'm going to lose this Goldango. Okay, I, did... Wait, I got rid of the Terra, though, which is good. Okay, I'm learning about their playstyle at least. I guess the question is, are they nasty plotting here or are they going for... Um, I'm gonna make it rain. Man, this is very physically bulky, I'll tell you that much for sure. Although actually this isn't... Okay, wait, if they nasty plot, it's not so bad, right? Okay, that's actually okay with me. I see a path forward because they're plus one now. Oh, they have light screen up. I do need to keep that in mind. But no reflect. Okay, I know all. I know three of the four Pokemon as well. <sighs> this is going badly. However, it's not over. Uh, actually, this is going pretty badly, I'd say. Is it Rage Powder? No, no Rage Powder. Okay, hang on a second. That's a lot of damage, to be completely honest. But I sh should... Oh, are they going to make it rain? Okay, that's fine. They're leftovers. plus one. Oh, great play. Great play. Great play. Okay, I'm in, I'm in big danger. I'm in huge danger. Great play. Oh, um, is there a way for me to win this? They have light screen up for the rest of the game. And the Amoongus is a problem, right? The light screen's still up. The thing is, I don't think that Bleak Wind Storm plus Shadow Ball is going to pick up the KO and I'll lose my sub. But if I do this, then I lose my Chen Pao, right? Neither option is good. I have to do this. Yeah, I'm just getting outplayed. Um, they still have one Pokemon on the back as well, which makes this even more troublesome. Because even if I get past the Goldango, it's probably Flutter me, right? Ugh, I could have predicted this. Grimmsnarl. Oh, hand. Okay. I could have I could have attacked the gold angle here, it would have been better. Wait, I know all the mons now though. Oh, but I don't do any damage. I also missed. That's that's probably game ending. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Not a survive. Yeah, I need to I need more uh burst damage here to get through. Hmm. 
really wish I had missed there. Fortunate. Wait, I know all the mons though. All right, if I if I get this turn correct, then there might be a small chance. Okay, I hit both. The damage is non-trivial in all honesty. Okay, that's really good. Minus one. No card. No recover here. Is there any way to win this? No, right? There's no way. Ah, whatever. I'll give it a shot. All right. Let's see here. I could also make the call this turn, right? Like, that's my other options. I could make a call this turn. How many turns of freaking light spinner left? Three still. Okay. Grimstone's final attack is... Minus one, right? I don't even think this... Uh, this might kill. This might kill. Okay, here's the way I went. Nope, never mind. Okay. I need them to switch Goldango out. Or unless they protect Goldango this turn. And that might be possible. Protect, 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 protect. Uh oh. Yeah, this might not even KO the double up. Uh, I think that will KO. Okay, like critical dango maybe. Well, first of all, we kill the Iron Hands. Okay, I do. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. 73 down to 50. Okay. Is there any chance, chat? Is there a single chance out of any out of anything that I could win this? No way, right? Not with the Grim Snarl still alive. I'm Spirit Break. I need because I need um. Yeah, like I can probably play it down to a one versus. Hang on, wait. Maybe there's a way to win. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Amoongus comes in, y'all. Yeah. Want to go for a reflect? Minus two, right? This might be a mistake. I'm predicting Goldango to switch into a Moongus here. Wait, that was a bad play. I could have just won this game on the spot. That's unfortunate. Because if I just... I I overthought it. If I just attacked the... the um, I really overthought it. Like, if I just um, a Sacred Sword the uh, Goldango there, I'd probably win. Honestly. It doesn't kill. Okay, and then I actually think with the Light Screen up, this is going to kill either. Yeah, Rocky Helmet made a big difference here. Yeah, I don't think... I would need multiple crits to win this. Mm, yeah. That's crazy. I, um... I could have just Sacred Sorted. Wait, I could have won this. That was, it was... Um, although, honestly, maybe that play was fine. Because even if I KO Goldango there, I still have 1 HP. Yeah, I was probably still losing. Because I could never... I, I, I Actually, it was a good play. Because I could never, um... I need the crit anyway. I need, I need multiple crits. I can never, um... KO Amoongus without taking the Rocky Helmet damage is the thing. So the way that I win this is... Okay. Not like that. I needed to high roll the Amoongus to get the KO. Uh... Huh? 
Okay, I can still win this with the crit. <laughs> Trust. I need if I get back to back crits, it might be possible. Ah, probably not. Ah. Okay, if Dazzling Gleam crit KOs the Goldango. I can't believe I took that Shadow Ball, by the way. That's wild. It's okay. I know what to do in game two at least. Okay, minus, oh, it's minus three. That's why. Okay. Okay, crit Goldango would take the KO and then crit the Grimstone next turn. Okay, <laughs> not happening. That's okay. I, I at least know how I want to approach game two. Okay, I have two, basically I have two directions I can take, right? Okay. Goldango tears to water. Now I might I'm gonna give up my Chen Pao most like the most like in my opinion the, the most likely play here is um make it rain parting shot into Amoongus. Okay, reflect. That's okay. Hey. Okay. Spinner doesn't do that much, but thanks for the tennis drop, it's definitely KO. Okay. Taking out Grimmsnarl is good here, but mostly the thing that I wanted to do is force the Terra out of Goldango. Because if, if it make it rain, it's like, yeah, it's going to do a ton of damage, and it, like, it looks like a good trade. Um, They could Nasty Pot, I guess. Okay, good. Make it rain is what I wanted here. I'm going to lose one of my better tools to take, take out the um the Amoongus here. But the thing is, this is still like within what I uh, was hoping for. So we have the special attack drop on Goldango, which is nice. Um. Yeah, and I more importantly, I get the Terra out of the Goldango, which is very important. There should be a Moongus coming in here, I think. This play's kind of bad, but it's okay. Okay. 
kind of bad. Oh, a crit. Big crit. Hang on. Yeah. Woo! Let's go! I'm the best, baby. I definitely needed at least one of those, if not both. I think one would have been enough. That's insult to injury. Oh! False. And, okay, cool. We know all the mods. All right, cool. I turn to sleep. I actually, I think if they made, like, assuming they attacked that turn, I, I don't actually think that play was that bad for me. Um, yeah. Actually, in either case, like, I think it would have been all right. Like, well, not perfect, of course, but I think it would have been okay. Because I would have done a lot of damage to Goldango regardless. Nice. I would have hoped to win this without revealing my back Pokemon, but that's wishful thinking, let's be honest. So they aren't really protecting is something that I've noticed. Like they aren't like they don't protect Goldango ever. Um Yeah. I guess what I need to think about is what happens if um Okay. Play. But they are giving my Urshu returns to wake up. I'm gonna have to reveal my back Pokemon, like, there's no other way. Although, could I lose this, actually? Wait, could I lose this? Hold up. Is it possible to lose here? Yeah, it totally is. Um, the safer play here is... Wait, I could totally lose this. Wait, hang on a second. I did not win this game yet. Okay, I think it's okay. So they still have Reflect up as well, but they don't have Light Screen. I will Protect and Surging Strikes here. Okay, nice. That's good. That's actually really important damage. One. Two. Three. Okay, that's great damage. Okay. Up. This is not over. Hang on a second. Wait, I could still lose this. Wait a second. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. How many turns of reflector left? Three. This is not over. I guess it depends whose Iron Hands is faster. I have no idea how fast mine is.
The thing is, I can't actually make any leeway, right? Because they can just, um... No, I'll do this. I'll dazzle wave and I'll drink punch. Wait, I think I lose. I think they got me. How much does this do? Over 50? I think that was the wrong play in hindsight. Oh, and they're faster than me. Oh, no. Yeah, wait, I think I lose this. Wait, hang on. Did they fall in tough? Shoot, did they spored? Oh my god, they actually just outplayed. Oh my god, I actually, I messed up so badly. Ah, I'm one turn of reflect too, too many. I should have protected that turn. I like... Ah, oh man, I think I could take a... Uh... Oh man, that sucks so much. I think I need a one turn sleep. Oh, I get to play. Oh, uh, although... Yeah, I need to wake up. That actually does a fair bit of damage, too. I'm actually kind of surprised how much they did. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else for it. I have to wake up, right? The only way. Yeah. This Amoongus was a problem. Never getting rid of it was a problem. They played really well, actually. All right, Fluttermane. Any wakers? Reflect is finally gone. Come on, Fluttermane. Yeah, <laughs> I think I still lose. <laughs> okay, how much does this do? Uh, I don't think that's enough. Wait, that might be enough with Wild Charge Recoil, maybe? Hey, hang in there, Fluttermane. How bulky are you? Not bulky enough. Okay, I might have maybe scraped this one. Wait, do I even win this? I'll kill. Okay, wait, I get rid of the hands. Do I lose the 1v1 here? How do I feel like I lose the 1v1? I have full HP versus Amoongus who's taken two Dazzling Gleams. Okay, okay. What's the health differential here? What's the correct play here? Wild Charge is a bit stronger, but I take like way more recoil. Is it Wild Charge? I don't think that much recoil. It's probably Wild Charge this first time. Two more of those should get it. Ow. Okay, wait, I have 188. How much does this do? 183 down to 133. Huh. Is this 50? I think I have to... I think it's wild charge, wild charge. Wait, hang on. I did 50 damage. I won't die after one more. The question is, is Wild Charge... I think Wild Charge into Wild Charge will kill. Oh, what doesn't kill? Oh, I messed up. I messed up. 80, 83. I think I lose this, actually. Because Amoongus is so physically bulky. Oh, it did way more than I expected. Oh, because they crit me. Okay, well, now I have no option except to hope the Wild Charge kills. And I think I still lose to Rocky Helmet, actually. They just played better than me. I, I can't do anything about this. I got lucky and they, I got so lucky to even be in this. Yeah, they just played better. Although with the crit, I needed Drain Punch. Like, there was no way for me to win this endgame um, once it got down to the 1v1. Yeah, GG, honestly. They, yeah, they just, I got played. I got pretty lucky too. <laughs> Jeez. I think I probably needed to bring Darganite here, but I was scared because they had Goldengo and Fluttermane. Okay, they won game one. <laughs> I got pretty lucky. <laughs> um, I thought that I thought that Wild Charge would do more, to be honest. That's why I didn't go for Drain Punch. And I thought that like I, I didn't hope the Wild Charge and the Wild Charge would kill. I think I don't think I made the wrong play at the end game. I think I misjudged the damage. Um I don't think with a critical hit, Drain Punch wouldn't have won me anyway. Like, like, I needed three, I needed, like, I don't even think, I needed to go Drain Punch into Drain Punch into Wild Charge, but I didn't think that I had the health, and with the crit, I definitely didn't. It's just one game, guys, it's okay. Like, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> the opponent was good. Um, yeah. 
I like didn't think about getting rid of the I didn't think about like getting rid of Amoongus quickly enough to be honest like that was the problem because I did so much damage to the Iron Hands but Pollen Puff just killed it all off but I didn't think that I could afford to take out the Amoongus first it's not a uh, so basically there's five rounds left I need to win four of them now Your team doesn't have many reg demons. There's two, two really impactful ones. Yeah, uh, th so that's something I noticed about this team is that Amoongus looks kind of difficult, at least from what I can tell. Like I didn't build it, but I wasn't entirely sure about the counterplay. And I think that like, I think that like it was hard because I want to use Tornadus versus Amoongus, but then they just brought Goldengo and I couldn't do anything with Tornadus. Uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Press the mute button. Sorry, I just saw someone, uh, someone said, I know your mom from church. If you're going to say that, maybe do a little research first. I am a Jew. We don't go to church.
Okay, I'm back. Oh no. First thing I see is... Oh, I shouldn't say. And I missed. Okay, how's it going, chat? Um, okay, I think that I'm going to take 15 minutes just for a break. Um, I apologize, but um, I have a, we just got a draft back of the video that I need to um, watch before it goes live today. And um, also, I need to eat lunch, so I'll do both at the same time. Um, so I'm going to take a 15 minute break and then I will be back for more regulation.
uh, chat. Come on, you know I wouldn't keep you waiting. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Back. I had to watch the video and it took longer than expected and also, yeah. Um, I think that the next match will be ready so much soon. There are... Oh, I'm, it's about to start. It's about to start for real. It's about to start for real. There are no matches remaining. Oh, good timing by me. I'm the best. Wee. How's it going, chat? The bot isn't updated, okay? We have the record on the screen. That's the best I can do for you. <sighs> Hope you win next game. Thank you very much. Did I miss any, like, donors or anything? Oh, next round's up. Okay, I'm playing Josh. Hello. Battlefly sucks so much. Oh my god. Battlefly is the worst. I hate it. It's not the worst, but it does suck. I was typing a message and then it just booted me out. Alright, let's see what we were dealing with here. It's a four mon mirror match, but they have uh, uh, the, uh, they got Reggie Drago. Uh, uh Reggie Drago. Okay, they have Reggie Drago. Uh oh. How fast is Reggie Drago? Is it faster than my Urshifu? Reggie Drago. No, probably not. Will you be leaving this up after it's over so I can watch what I miss? No, we'll be taking it down, but I will eventually um, uh, be posting on a Wolfie VOD in probably two weeks. Wait, Heatran is heavy slam. Wait, that's kind of fire. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, the Heatran has heavy slam. That's actually really good. Nate, thanks for joining the uh, the the channel. Really appreciate the support. Okay. Code. Twenty seventeen oh nine two. Seems like a date to me. September twenty second, twenty seventeen. 
this stream sucked four hours for four plays it's, this is how a tournament works bestie I'm, I'm not it's not like i'm like i'm not no one's making you watch okay eventually it'll be a video and there won't be any filler time and you can watch that if you'd like for to wait okay all right i don't know how to play this game um a lot of my pokemon look good they have tornadoes with mental herb which is a problem they also have icy wind which means like i don't know if i want to play the speed game to be honest like ugh. like i honestly just want to click extreme speed but they have three potential pokemon that can handle it which i don't love um I want to bring Dragonite, but I don't know how. Um, like, okay, I want to just do Torn Urshifu, basically, and Beta Terror early on, but... Does that even work? Torn Urshifu... Ten Pow Fluttermane? Probably okay, not great, but okay. Ah, it's probably not great. That probably wasn't the right thing to do. That definitely wasn't the right thing to do. Ah, I don't think this is going to work. Nah, it's going to work. Trust. It's going to work. Trust me. I don't know how to play this game, but it's going to work. Trust me. Yes. Yes. It's locked in. I wanted to leave with Iron Hands, but I just like wasn't sure it would work into Fluttermain. Okay, do they have Rain Dance? They don't. I haven't used Rain Dance yet. I should. Oh man, that's not cool. Okay, what do I have in the back? I'm gonna lose both my mons, aren't I? Wait, hang on. How much do you think Terra Water Surging Strikes does? I probably can't risk it. Oh! Ow. Wait! They're faster? Huh? Huh? Why are they faster? Why is my tornado slower than the Zershvu? Wait, what's going on? Jarvis, explain. Please hit, please hit the Urshifu. Please, 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 please. Okay, nice. Okay, hang on. Your boy's gonna run a damage calculation. All right, Chad, here's how I can still calculate this. Okay. I have Urshifu, Mystic Water, versus Iron Hand, Assault Bat. Surging strikes in the rain with the Terra. How much attack do you have? What's your stat? Ah. Oh, I'm just missing a little. Okay. This is a terrible play, right? Yeah, but it's funny. Okay. They're never going to see this one coming. Oh, this in. Wait, that's not good. Hang on. Wait, 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 oh, maybe I lowered the speed and I wasn't paying attention. Maybe not. Wait, I might have lowered the speed. That might have been my bad. Oh my god! That's your higher hands! It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to take that much. Okay, so who could they go into here that would actually be threatening to me is the question. Nothing, honestly. They can't do anything to threaten me. Uh, I'm gonna go into 10 powder sucker punch. Did I lower its speed without re realizing it? God, this mod is not balanced. That's an Iron Hands. Wow. 
Butter, okay. Hey. Okay. I lower their speed and I wasn't paying attention. There's no way this tornado speed ties, right? I lower their speed and I'm just done as bricks. Okay, my bad. Okay, um. I'm gonna do this. This, the odds of this Fluttermane surviving if it tears to water are zero. I don't believe for a second this thing will survive. I don't believe for a second that this thing can live a Terra water surging strikes in the rain. There's no way. Ah. Oh, it didn't Terra. Okay. Well, okay. Let's see how much a single, just one hit of surging strikes does here. Maybe they subbed. Oh. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's a lot. Hold on. All right. How much do you think one hit of certain? This is a 25 base power move. 25. This is weaker than tackle. It wouldn't have lived if it terra watered. Oh my God. It would have died in two hits to terra water. <laughs> they haven't terra yet. Should I cover for that? Probably right, because they could bleak when storm my health. Um, is this the move play? Should I sucker punch Aqua Jet? Probably the best right? But I want to know how much Aqua Jet does on its own. Okay, how much do you think Aqua Jet does here? It's, this is going to do less. This isn't going to do that much. Let's see. I don't want those two mental orb, right? That's Aqua Jet! That's a 40 base power move! Okay. All right. Urshifu is... Who said Urshifu was mid? Who came in here at the audacity to say... Ursh, Urshifu is mid. That doesn't look mid to me. Okay, I got one more. Wait, is Surging Strike 30 base power? Am I dumb? What is the base power? I definitely thought it was 20. Marcus told me it was 20. Or Marcus told me it was 25. Wait, what is it? Okay, Urshifu in the rain does a lot of damage is what I learned. Um, What is the base power of Surging Strikes? Oh, I see. How do I see? I can't see. I, I. Wait, what's the base power? Anyway, I'm confused. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to figure out what I'm bringing this game. Um. Well, nothing's good. I'm gonna try this. Because I don't really want to run into that Iron Hands again. Does it have Drain Punch? What's the moveset? Drain Punch, Heavy Slam. Okay. Okay. I don't love this, to be honest, but I also don't hate it. Ideally, it's not Fluttermane Torn. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, I have an idea. Wait, you want you want to see my idea? Ready? Terra Ghost. Okay, it's lit. Ice Spinner. And Outrage. Does that work? They're not going to fake me out. There's no way they fake me out. Uh, but I don't want to take the Drain Punch either. Terra Ghost, Ice Spinner, and Outrage? 
B. This isn't a very good move. And this is the moment where we say, golly gee, I hope that they don't have Flutter Man in the back. <laughs> golly gee whiz. Hopefully this is fake out. Fake out. Oh no. It's going ghost. Oh man, Scoob. Oh, I like zoinks. Oh no. Oh, now it's an outrage 50-50. Ah, oh, because they expected extreme speed. Yay. All right. I mean, killing them on here. Are they going for Tailwind? Okay. Tailwind going up is actually not so bad for me. The question is who is Outrage hitting? That's the important thing. Because I don't... If it hits Pornatus, it's actually pretty bad for me. But if it hits, if it hits Iron Hands... I think it hit Hands. I think it hit Hands. So strong. Oh, I don't get to... I didn't get to choose the other move. <laughs> no! My Pokemon. Where did they go? I got lucky that that hit Iron Hands. Oh, okay. All right, I'm getting both KOs here, but they might go for Icy Wind, which would actually be pretty bad for me. But they're getting both KOs. It's kind of nice. Yeah, they're, they're going for Icy Wind. I could have KO'd this, I guess. Yeah. I guess it was better to KO Tornadus. So I just thought there was a chance they might preserve it. Because I'm like up 4 to 2, but I'm up 4 to 2 in a way that's not good. You know what I mean? They, they have Terra, though, which is good. Um, it just depends on what's in the back. Because it, it's, it's obviously Urshifu. Is it something else as well? Urshifu Flutter is what I don't want to see. I'm down for Heat. Heatran is fine. Heatran is great. Urshifu makes sense. Flutter's the one I don't want to see here. Flutter. Yikes, the Ronin. Okay. Um... Oh, man. That's actually really bad, isn't it? Um... Hang on. Because I can't really... Oh! I'm still locked into Outrage. Oh, it worked! Oh, it worked so well. Farewell, my Pokemon. You fought well and hard, but now you're dead. All right, I'm stacking these two, which is fine because I got the damage on the Fluttermane. Um, sorry. Sorry, besties. This is fine. Is there a guaranteed win here? I think it's Bleak Wind Storm. Hope I don't miss into... It's awkward getting into the Flutter main always because they burn Terra and they can't protect. If one turn left the Tailwind. Um I think it's Aqua Jet, Bleak Wind, Storm, Tailwind, Close Combat. Wait, hang on. Aqua Jet, Bleak Wind, Storm. Right? I think this is making sense to me. Okay, takes out Fluttermane. Now it's a 2v1. And they can't... <laughs> Searching Strikes can't crit Tornadus for the KO because it already crit. Uh-oh. I can crit. Oh, never mind. Okay, and I connect with that. I'll do the game. Okay, nice. I just Aqua Jet. Is there a way to guarantee this? Just keep clicking the weakman, right? Okay. Cool. All right. And that's it. Uh, yeah. That was kind of scary. I think that's our first time bringing Dragonite, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that was that was kind of a scary team, to be uh, to be honest. Um, I got really lucky that the Outrage targeted correctly. If it hadn't, they would have gone into Fluttermane. I probably would have just lost immediately. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. GG's.
Alrighty. Yeah, that was nice. We were one of the first people to finish. Rapid Strike, Terra Water, Urshifu without like Choice Band or Life or anything, KOing <laughs> Iron Hands. <laughs> uh, it was pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> uh... Man, that was the damage output of Urshifu is just ridiculous. Moves like outrage always target them on directly in front. I thought that it was random. If it's not, I have a lot of surprises for me. Did you try the Bruxish Gold Angle team? I think it would fit you very well. I hate Bruxish, um, but more importantly, this is the first and only team I've used so far. I only started playing like this, like a couple, like, well, yesterday. Uh, so I'm not very up to date on any meta trends um, right now. But yeah, I mean, the, part of the reason I wanted to play in this tournament was just to get some experience against what people are using and, and get a uh, get experience with a team that I think is like solid. Why not Ursaluna? Um, I didn't think I had time. I only started playing yesterday and I needed a rental code and I didn't think that I had time to figure it out, to be honest. Because it's like a new Pokemon that like I'd never used before, whereas at least I've used Urshifu a little bit. And this team is pretty straightforward, which is why I thought I could use it without much practice. Like it's basically just like try and beat your opponent with damage. Have you tried Ice Shirt on Chin Pao? There isn't really a move to drop, right? Like, without Sacred Sword, you can't hit stuff like Heatran or any Terra Steel Mon very easily. Um, or any Water Mon, right? Like, you kind of need Sacred Sword for Terra Water. Um, and you want Sucker Punch because it's, like, the strongest priority move you have. So, I don't really think you can fit Ice Shard, to be honest. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, chat... It's really rude of you to not predict 30 seconds in the future before I sneeze and say bless you in advance. Why wasn't Urshifu Water this popular last generation? Because you could Dynamax. So Urshifu is like, it's not very bulky as its main weakness, right? Where it's pretty frail on the special side. So when it's not one-shotting you, because like when a one-shot becomes a two-shot and you can max guard in front of it, it becomes a lot more manageable. But all of a sudden, when you don't have a way to double your Pokemon's HP and you, don't get a, you can't once per battle get a Pokemon for three turns that can't be attack through protect now suddenly unseen fists hit through everything all of a sudden mon gets kind of broken it's four five one you forgot that no i don't think i i think i'm four one right i beat paul then i beat um the what did i beat next i think i'm correct i beat the wo chen player and then i lost to the goldengo player and then i beat the tornadus player Four. Oh my three one? Wait, did I wait, am I three one? No, and I got the buy round one, so I'm four one. That's right. I'm big chilling. <clears throat> yeah, I think a lucky might be kinda of hard to use. Um I don't think it's bad though. It's just a little bit difficult to use. How can I access this team? You can see it right there in the top corner. That's the team ID. You can rent it yourself. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. Just put in the team ID in the rental code section of the game. Like borrow a team, enter the code, enter this code, use the team. Is Snowcloak a boost to evasion or a decrease to accuracy? I believe it's a boost to evasion. 
you think Paris Trap will get this regulation? Uh, I want it to be. Like, you still have good singers, but the thing is that you now have Prankster Taunt, and you also have Urshavu, who it's through Protect, including Urshavu Dark, who destroys Gothitelle. What happened to a lot of the YouTube VODs? I'm going to go back and watch some, uh, some of them. They've gone for months. Yeah, so basically on YouTube, if you leave your VODs up after a live stream, if, if you intended, if you were live streaming with the intention of making a video about it, it really hurts the video's performance, which is a lesson I learned the hard way where a bunch of my videos kind of tanked because of this, um, this kind of interaction. So we've been forced to, uh, to compensate for it. Um, We've been forced to private VODs and we still have them all. Like we, uh, the intention is to post them on Wolfie VODs, which is the VODs channel. So like, if you want to watch this whole stream, like I'm going to private it as soon as this stream ends. So, um, if you intend to watch this whole stream, you can subscribe to that channel and keep an eye on it, but we probably won't post this one until after the video goes live. Um, yeah. Or maybe we can just do a really bad title thumbnail and that way it'll be the same, like, like so much that it looks different. But yeah, probably safer just to wait till after um, the actual video goes live. I need to see if the video... We do have a video ready for today. Um, Is it better to build Tornado Speedy or Bulky? You kind of want to miss uh, a mix. What do you think of Terra Flying Storm Jane Gastron with leftovers? I think Gastron, this, I think with Urshiva being as popular as it is, I think that Gastron has a place for sure. I definitely think Gastron has a place. Is armor is any good? Oh, I haven't tested it myself. Um. Might be hard with Urshivu, but then again, like being able to expanding force offensively is pretty nice, especially because um, Ting Lu, which is one of the best answers into Armor Rouge, um, is down in usage. Not gone, but down. If you stream on Twitch, then upload to YouTube. I could do that, um, but I don't really want to stream on Twitch. I, I prefer streaming on YouTube. Yeah, there is a top cut. So after this, we'll play nine rounds. If I win at least seven of them, I think. Um, I advanced to top cut, which will be tomorrow. So many tabs open. Tabs. There's so many tabs I don't open. Download this. Okay, we will have a video today. Go. Give me one second, folks. Just um downloading this so I can upload it to YouTube. I have not played any Reggie Leckies. Uh, I'm not allowed to change team for Top Cut, no. Is Blastoise any good? Is it in the game? I don't think so. Is this a Wolfie Belt team? No, this is a rental team. Are you going to do other stuff in Japan or you plan to just go the week of the tournament? I have, I, I have to figure it, guys, I had to figure out my plan. I haven't planned anything. It's actually bad. I, I'm there for, I booked flights for a whole month. One whole month I'm going to be there. And I haven't planned anything. Not, not a single thing. Not one. I don't know what I'm doing. No Regilecki's thus far. Can I? 
Are you Taylor Swift fan? I am, yes. Why well, just run us a rain dance? You should watch the last match back. That'll answer your question. What do you think of Paladin's success at NAIC? Will the Mon have a resurgence? Or might this be, just be a fluke? I, I think that it probably won't have a resurgence, but I also don't think it's a fluke. Like, Paladin is still a really good Mon. It just is hard to use. Um, yeah, but it's still a really strong Mon. Like, it's still... I think that, like, Transformed, it's the best new Pokemon. At least not including Paradox Pokemon. Um, um, but I don't know if we'll see a resurgence because, like, the metagame will adapt pretty... It needs to adapt to water type damage because of um urshifu water and so a lot of the things that are going to beat urshifu water like gastrodon terra water like um yeah i don't know like random stuff they like sunny day tech right like they also happen to be palafin and so um yeah i don't think that we're going to be seeing a ton of uh palafin personally but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But yeah, I think that it would be... I think, like, there is there is room for Pokemon that are underexplored to have a big impact. I think that Palavin's in a rough spot right now. But I mean, I could be wrong. But yeah. It also depends. Like, I haven't, you know... Like, the meta isn't settled or anything, right? Is Volt Switch versus Close Common on Iron Hands just a toss-up? Uh, Volt Switch is good. Um, Heavy Slam is also good. Kind of depends on your team's needs. Like, I've run both Drain Punch and Close Combat. Um, one of our opponents had Ice Punch. Actually, the, po the person we lost to had Ice Punch. Um, I am going to Japan, yeah. Yeah, I really need to book my lodging for Japan. I just figured it out. Is Extreme Speed actually useful on Dragonite? It's actually the main move you use on Dragonite most of the time. Are you a Dragon Ball fan? I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z growing up, but I wouldn't say I'm like a big fan. Like I watched all of Super. I watched most of Z. Um, but I watched all of Super. I actually didn't like it very much, to be honest. Like I thought it was like not... I was a little disappointed, to be honest. They haven't made any more, right? The last part was the Tournament of Power. Have they, have they released any more? I don't think so. Goldango falling out. The team I lost to had Goldango. I, don't, I think Goldango is really good. I love your profile pick. Thanks. It's actually the moment. It's from the moment I won Worlds. Do you think the weed Pokemon is good at any good against the genies? Yeah, I, uh, I, we have a video on that. Doug's working on it. You're getting me on trash taste. I got a message. Oh, I got, I'm meaning to message Connor. Shoot. I, I got a message with Connor. That's, I gotta write that down. I've been meaning to do that for ages. I just keep forgetting. I suck. Oh, I can't believe I forgot I meant to do that like a week ago. I think Basque Legion. I don't really know much about it, but the HP, I, I heard it's okay, actually. Would you say it's worth it to buy Legend Arceus only for the Hisuian Pokemon? I think Legend Arceus is the the most fun Pokemon game they've made in a long time. It's really fun. Um, I think at least. What's the speed on Torn? I need to know what's the speed creep. I didn't build this team. I couldn't tell you. It's slower than Jolly Max Speed Urshifu though. I'll tell you that much. I do like Dragon Ball Abridged. Where'd you get this team? I found it on VGC Pace. I believe it won a tournament in I forget where. It did I think it did win it won a tournament though. Still 50 matches left, we have some time. I haven't watched the new Pokemon anime, no. Should I make a threads account? My social media manager was saying I should make a threads account. And I was like, what's that? And she was like, uh and I was like, uh and that's where I left it. But I should I should probably if she thinks I should do it, I should probably do it. Do y'all have threads? Any threads in the chat?
I think Asui and Samurai is bad. Can you briefly explain the strat of this team, please? Yeah, you just try and KO everything on their team. It's just like raw damage and speed. You have priority on, on three of the mons, Extreme Speed, Sucker Punch, and Surging, or Aqua Jet. Uh, you have a bunch of really fast mons, Chen Pao, Fluttermane, Tornadus, and even Urshifu. And then you have Tailwind uh, to control the speed even more. And then if they have Trick Room, you have Iron Hands. I don't miss Mega Evolution, no, is a dumb mechanic. Oh, people are gonna be mad. I didn't like it, I didn't like it, okay? Competitively, it wasn't very fun, okay? Design wise, great concept. Like, design wise, by far one of the best, if not the best. But in terms of competitive play, oh, Mega Kangaskhan, maybe it'll lose to my Mega Beedrill. What's that? I died to fake out? Hmm. It's banned in Europe? Oh. I'm probably, I probably won't use it. I have an Instagram, but I, I don't use it that much. I don't really know how to use it. Is it true you're vegetarian? I'm actually technically pescatarian now. I started eating fish again, but I was vegetarian for seven years. Now I'm pesky. Radical Red Hardcore Mode Nuzlocke when? Nah. I, I probably won't do another Nuzlocke until Platinum Kaizo. Dynamax was fun competitively. I understand as a casual or like maybe even as a spectator it wasn't the best but as a player it was the, my favorite of the three i think it was the most balanced of the three between it was better than zemu oh listen zemus are the worst for sure they were the worst i'm actually curious how many of you don't really play competitive pokemon but still watch the channel Why do you just like Unfazant? I just find it very like boring, personally. Um, and it, like I don't know, it's just like it's like the generic regional bird with nothing interesting about it, and it's also bad. Would Zemo's be better with open sheet? Oh wow, a lot of people. Well, oh pull. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I think my mods are gone, so um, we can't do that. people any particular reason why you're pescatarian well i really like fish and i figured it's like my it was like my favorite food when i ate meat and i like really i've been like thinking about adding it back in for a while and then when i heard worlds in japan i was like am i really gonna go to japan and not eat fish like my favorite food uh and i was like no i'm not so i started eating fish again you guys got any questions for me we, got some, we still got some time to uh to to wait between rounds. Ooh. 
I don't think Liskor will be good in, in competitive Pokemon. Do you like Dynamax more than Terra? I like Terra. My ranking is Terra, Dynamax, Megas, Z moves. I hate Z moves. Advice for those too intimidated by competitive VGC, not just the technical aspects, which your guide and other stuff cover. Um, start small, like start just like playing on showdown, like play random battles, play random doubles if you want, right? Um, VGC is like, it's a really steep learning curve at first, but once you get over the hump, everything becomes so much clearer because basically you need to, in order to kind of have understand what's going on in VGC, you need to know what the Pokemon do. And at first, you don't know what any of the Pokemon do. You don't know like how fast they are. You don't know what moves they have. And it's like, oh my God, there's so much. It's overwhelming. But like the thing is that there aren't that many Pokemon that are popular. So once you kind of get a handle on like, okay, I know what like Fluttermane does. And like, ah, okay. Like now I know what Urshifu does. Like once you have enough of those Pokemon understanding, it all clicks at once. Like, um, and it's still hard. Like, of course it's still difficult, but, but that's the point I think where people start, stop getting overwhelmed. Best room temp for sleeping in cold. What's your real name? My real name is Wolf. Opinion on Bramble Gas, we have a video on it coming out uh, probably next weekend. Elton Gyarados. Intimidated has gone down in value because of Urshifu. Um, critting through all of it. Do you hate demons for the competitive purpose or just overall? I would say both. You want to be besties? No. In terms of money, how much do you guys get back from tournaments considering all the expenses? Very, very few VG play VGC players go neutral. Uh, most, almost the, the vast, vast, vast majority of, of the field goes negative um, in terms of money made back. Um, yeah i am i've been so busy that i haven't been able to follow any of the tournaments i want to watch i'm super behind on melee tournaments that i want to watch and i also haven't watched i haven't even gotten through eu regional finals for unite and i haven't even i haven't had, i haven't even started at na i see unite so i'm like way behind on tournaments not to mention all the melee stuff i want to watch i just have this daunting mental image that everyone knows what they're doing and i'm a uh, sad noob nobody knows what they're doing i promise you nobody knows Do you know PokeMMD? Yeah, I mean, we've never met in person. We were going to meet at Hartford, but something came up, so he had to back out. But uh, yeah, Joey and I, I've, I've talked to Joey for a bit over the years. Um, played a bunch of draft leagues together. I've given him some advice for YouTube. We've done collabs together. Why don't use Paris Trap as often? It's extraordinarily difficult. Like, it's one of the most difficult teams to pilot ever. Would you rather play only Wi-Fi battles or only Showdown? Probably only Wi-Fi battles. How many Pokedex interests do you know? Like, none. I was going to and Cresselia in the doubles metagame. I think they're both good Pokemon. Paris Trapping sounds cheap. <laughs> okay. If you're a wolf here and you had to create your own Avenger squad with any person on earth, they only have the powers that they already possess. Who are your <laughs> play the Battle Frontier from Gen 4 and Gen 5? Yeah, but my capture guard's not set up for my DS. Yeah, I want to watch the Ludwig Invitational, but I don't I haven't had time. Because I'm doing this. How do you plan on celebrating your second world's win? Let's let's take well, let's see if I can make it out of day one. Do you expect Ursa Luna to be top five usage? No, I do not. Uh, I watch occasional speedruns. I like watching Mario games speedruns, like uh, Odyssey. Um, uh, I like Sunshine. I watch 64 sometimes, but it's not super common. I watch um, Sonic Adventure 2 speedruns as well, because um, I really like that game. But there's not that much content on it. Like I always am struggling to find more uh, to watch. Are you gonna upload a video at this tournament? That's the plan. How many matches left? Four. Should they add OTS to ranked Wi-Fi? Yes. What gen is the easiest to start getting competitive with? Um, current gen. Are you a brony? No. Apple juice, orange juice? Don't really like either. 
tips on how to get better at leading efficiently uh, effectively you got to think about what are the threats in your opponent's team and then think about how you want to like cover for them right would you want to play with dual terra types no absolutely not putting out trigger in this meta i think it's strong trigger is always good Who's your favorite person to team build with? I don't really have a favorite, but I, I have a close group that I like working with everybody in there. Um, yeah. Z moves would have been better if we had an open sheet, but it still would have been bad. Like just having a 185 base power move, like, yeah, it just isn't good. I think day one is harder worlds because of the pressure aspect. I think there's more uh, volatility day one because like there's like more Japanese players to number one. And also players are like, they're like, oh, if I'm going to do well, I have to like take more risks. So play like, whereas if you start in day two, players are less risk averse in general. Do you cosplay if you make it to finals? No, if you make it to finals, I'll be focused on one thing and one thing alone, which is winning. Will Gastron on one world? It could. It's one world twice in the last five years. But um, it had benefits. Like, there was, like, pretty major benefits both times. But I think there's a major benefit this time in that it's, like, really good into Urshifu. Do you think open team sheets are good? Yes. I think they're really necessary. I never want to go back to a closed team sheet again. Why no fire moves? I don't have any fire types. Is trailer competing in worlds? Yes. Is Crest only viable in TR? No. Are we gonna come back to TFT? I hope to one day. But I'm I'm like, yeah. I, it's not like I probably shouldn't. Is Trick and Pokemon of all time? Of all time, probably Cresselia. If you mean setters. Favorite board game? I've been playing Wingspan a lot recently. Um, I like Terraform Mars. I like Dominion. I actually really like Lost Ruins of Arnok. Um, not super popular, but really good. Marcus is X2 last I checked. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see him. You win worlds, you'll cosplay. I don't plan on it. What's the best super chat you've ever received? Um, I don't know. You think this meta suits your play style more than last year's? I don't. I don't know. That's a hard question. Tornadus and Landorus combo. I don't think Landorus is as it doesn't at first glance it doesn't seem as good because of all the Urshifu. How did you not qualify for Worlds Day Two given your super good tournament placements? Uh, we have a quantity over quality system. Um, yeah, Twi I love Twilight Imperium, but the thing is, I only have one friend I can play with, and he lives like four hours away, and I haven't seen him in a while, so we I can't play it. Oh wait, no, oh, sorry, I'm thinking of Twilight Struggle. Never mind, I don't think I've ever played Twilight Imperium. Twilight Struggle is the game I love. Odds of Flutter maybe becoming a world champ mon? Very high. Is Reggie Lucky viable? Yeah. Who's the best trick room setter? Probably in general, with like no other context, Cresselia, but there's other good ones in this format. Who would you rather play, Zang or Be uh, Beck? I'd probably play Beck. Because Zang and I often work together. Does Unseen Fist through Detect like Protect? Yeah, it's all protecting moves. Wide Guard, not that Wide Guard really is super re relevant, but um, yeah, um, Quick Guard as well. Do you have a Bar Mitzvah? I did. Would you ever run Expert Belt Crest again? Probably not. Probably not, <laughs> though that was kind of heat.
Who's the best EV evolution on competitive perspective? In general, Sylveon, but Umbreon's done well before. Um, probably Umbreon or Sylveon. Glaceon, Leafeon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. None of them are very good. Am I missing any? Sylveon, Glaceon, Leafeon. Yeah, it's probably probably Sylveon and then Umbreon. But none of them have ever won Worlds, I think. Unless, like, not since I started playing, at least. How long is the next game? Probably another 15 minutes. There's still 11 matches going on. I'm just gonna take on Lucario. I don't like it very much. If you make do two day two worlds, can you change teams between day one and day two? Yes. What's protective pads doesn't work because then you lose on Team Fist. Um. Yeah, I like Kanto Executor way more than Alolan Executor. What's some pasta? How could you not like pasta? Come on. I think Regirago, I think Regirago could be good in the format. I bet I could beat you because I'm the best player ever. <laughs> totally, dog. Nine runs total, my score is in the top left. <sighs> Are you for trans rights? Yes. What makes your these matches go so long when yours is short? Um, I won quickly and I won in two, in two games. Imagine three long games. I've hosted online tournaments before. I mean, like it's yeah, okay. Hey Wolfie, I started getting into competitive Pokemon recently. I played in two small reg C tournaments last month. I used Parastrap and won by letting my Scream Tail die last in Trigger. That's yeah, that's great. I love um I love zero zero wins with Parish. It's one of my favorite things to do. But RCSP OP and VGC probably a Pokemon that could be any type with base what is it 120 base stats across the board. I just finished um, Mashal. That's the one I watched recently. Um, I kind of want to watch Psyche K, I think it's called. It showed up on my TikTok. And it seems funny. What do you think of Galarian Articuno? Any good? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I think Jamie Boyd thought it was going to be good, but I don't. I haven't used it myself. When were you least interested in VGC? Um, I don't think I can't remember. I'm I've always pretty much interested unless I'm taking a break. Is Dragapult any good in this format? You know, people would have said no to the last format and then it won NAIC. So, I mean, the fact is that it outspeeds Bundle and Flutter. Flutter being way more relevant. Um, and it's got good typing against Urshifu, so I I think it could work. You usually do Smogon tournaments for fun. I know I haven't used anything with Smogon in many, many, many years. You perform better at in-person events or online events? Um, I normally prepare a lot more for in-person events than online. Who's your favorite Geo? You already know the answer to that. I actually think I only know one Geo. I don't think I know any other Geos. How long until next game? Probably 10 more minutes is my guess. Um, There's nine matches left. Wolf might win the battles. It's not my fault, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'll try and go to three games just to make it last longer. Will you make another real life Nuzlocke video? I love the first one. Unfortunately not. The first one did, didn't do very well. And it was a ton of work. Has Iron Bundle fallen off? Yeah. The thing about Bundle is that it was like the fastest form of speed control for a while. But now we have Tornadus. So like it might come back. It's still like a decent lawn in my opinion. But um, yeah. With Tornadus, it's like having Pokemon that can outspeed your booster bundle kind of sucks. 
When's the next round? Probably 10 minutes. The number in one worlds? No, it got second. Can I just flutter Amoongus, Glory, and Moltres, Water, Urgent, Food, Good, 5, Monk, 4? Yeah, sounds solid. You probably want something else that does damage, though. You think Reggie Ice is a game breaking Uber? I'll let you answer that. <laughs> Seven matches left. What shampoo do you use? I just use like the default head and shoulder one. Nothing fancy. I don't even use conditioner. Lots of new meta. Uh strong Pokemon. Lots of strong Pokemon. Doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like VGC 2023. It feels like VGC 2024. Pinches of Volcarona, uh, solid. Are I wearing shoes? No. I'm in my home. Why would I wear shoes? Counterplay to Urshifu. You basically want to either... You want to trade with it favorably most of the time. Um, so, like, Terra Grass Iron Hands is a great example. Um, Terra Water Fluttermane can also do it. Like, uh, well, I mean, ideally you want to outspeed and KO it, but uh, if you can't do that, you want to make sure that it doesn't do as much damage and then just take it out immediately. Um, yeah. Favorite melee player? Uh, Zane. Are you a New Yorker? No. Magmar needs an evolution? I got good news for you, bestie. Six matches left. We do a real life Pokemon gym in Japan. Probably not in Japan. Too much work to set up. Will more players try to hide their world's prep than usual? Yeah. How did you grow that perfect beard? It's actually a little long for me right now. I need to shave it. It's bothering me. Um, I don't think Talonflame will have a niche. No, I think you'd always rather use Torn. But I could be, I mean, you know, I've been wrong before. Best is Suian Pokemon? Ursa Luna, maybe? It's hard to say. How are Trick Room teams looking? Solid. Gastron's good. Um, yeah, Rocky Helmet causes damage every time surging, surging Strikes hits. Yes. I think the worst of Suian Pokemon is um, either Avalog or Braviary. Is Wochen a valid Conjure to Urshifu? I mean, it's weak to close combat. I don't play Dominion online. Why is Tornadus better than Thunderous in this situation? Tornadus learns Tailwind, Thunderous does not. Would you think that Flutterman would be better as Terra Fairy? Um, the thing is that then you could just die to Urshifu. Being Terra Water is kind of important to not die to Urshifu. Thanks very much, Drew. Appreciate it. Did you do an IRL gym in around Utah? Probably probably not, but it maybe. Like, it kind of depends on store locations. Like, we wanted to do one before Worlds, another one. Um, we actually wanted to do two before Worlds, but it didn't pan out. So now we're pushing for September for another one. Five matches left. One of the main changes in the new format is a whole different format. It's totally different. It's even like, yeah, it's hard to say.
Are you married? No. I don't want to play Radical Red personally. I'm not really into. I don't know. Like I don't know. Like I, like it's just not my thing. Nuzlocking in general. I pretty much only like the kind of Nuzlocke that Emerald Kaizo is. Greninja is very bad in my opinion. Do you think Ash Greninja would have been good in VGC if it was ever legal? Probably not, right? When next battle? Probably five minutes. Both and Cinderace? Bad. So far, the team is, is solid. So far, so good. What's the strongest country in VGC? Um, Japan, the US are typically thought to be some of the stronger ones. Um, within Europe, Italy and Spain. Um, but you, there's strong players from every region. Like, honestly, I'm not just saying that. Like, there's strong players from every region. It also depends how you, how you, like, would you value, like, average strength or peak strength, right? Like, if the best, you know, Italian player is better than the average American player, but, like, or is better than the best American player, but then, like, the average strength of America is higher than Italy, then, like, how would you rank those, right? There's good players from everywhere. I think Enamorous is viable. I think Enamorous has a lot going for it, but the thing is that, like, why would you use Enamorous when you could use Fluttermane, right? Who's faster and, like, has better offensive typing, right? I brought Dragonite last, last game. That's the thing with Enamorous. Like, it's a lot about opportunity cost. Same thing with Palafin versus Urshifu, right? It's not that these Pokemon are bad by any means. It's that, like, when you have a Pokemon that is super strong and dominating the meta, not only do you need a good reason to not use those Pokemon, you also need to be aware that, like, the things that beat Fluttermane are also going to beat Enamorous. And the things that beat Urshifu are also going to beat Palafin, right? Will a normal type ever be good outside of Mega Kang? I mean, you see for sure. I mean, normal normal's not a bad type, and they also they often give them really good stats. Um, I mean, they just added Ursa Luna, who's pretty strong. They also added Hisui and Zoroark, which might be okay. Um, Wigglytuff is one of regional. Ditto's been good. Um, Fragoraph is good. Um, Stantler got top eight in Internet. Um, eh, Braviary is good in Sword and Shield. Oranguru is okay. Um, and Didi's really good. Yeah, um, household is amazing. Um, that's pretty much all the normal types from this gen. But... They made also extreme Evo boost, <laughs> which was good on EV. Yeah, so there's, there's been plenty of good normal types of the year. Porygon 2 was really good at multiple points. Uh, and VGC Sword and Shield and in Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, there's been good. There's been a lot of good normal types over the years. Lopunny, Mega Lopunny was okay. Porygon Z was good. Raging Gigas was good at, at Sword and Shield, both of them. Um, yeah, there's been a fair few good normal types. One match left, so we should be starting somewhat soon. Okay, videos. Not uploading. See if my thumbnail, my thumbnail is coming along.
Dragonite, best normal type? That's funny. <laughs> Do you think Historian Zorak has any potential? The stats aren't very good, but the ability and typing are nice, so I think it could maybe do uh, well. When's your next round? Any minute now. There's only one. We're only waiting on one more match to finish. Doodle Grafai, I, I I don't think so. I don't think Doodle Grafai is very good, personally. Would you restart Sword and Shield that the other horse, Reggie and Urshifu? I would not personally, but if I had to, I would, but I would really hope that I didn't have to. What was the hardest battle in the playthrough for you? I think I lost to both Pneumonia and, uh, what's her face? The champion, Gita. All right, we'll post the video after this next round. So I'll finish the round and then I'll post the video. Um, yeah. The one round left. Do you think Smeargle will ever come back? I fear the answer is yes. So I'm not happy about it. What do you guys do between one match and another? I typically just go find a place. Like my friends and I will pick, typically pick a place between rounds um, to meet up and we'll just go there and like, like basically talk about the last match and, and kind of like um, hang out between rounds mostly. I don't like Kazooie and Samurott. <laughs> I don't think it's very good. The stats are really bad and spikes are a lot less useful than uh, Stealth Rock. Okay, next round is going to start any, any second. I lost to Gita because I forgot about Opportunist. I used Torch Song and it stole the boost. And then I kept switching and my Pokemon kept... Like, I kept switching into Lum Lum Lumina Crash and then it just killed everything. Who edits your videos? I have a couple people. Wit is my main editor. Cleavor is better than Samurai, yeah. Yeah, Cleavor is a lot better than Samurai. Are you ready for the World Championships? Not, not yet. No, I don't know. I, I am not. <laughs> um, I don't think Hisui and Decidui is very good, honestly. I don't think regular Decidui is very good. I don't think any of the new starters are very good, unfortunately. They picked three pretty bad ones. Okay, cool. I guess I'll not press anything since Battlefy will just kick me out anyway. Oh, so I could kick me out. Okay. Team. See, what are we dealing with here? Kick me out. Okay. Thank you, Battlefy. Oh, uh, well, uh, 
Oh. Man, this doesn't look good. Um, for me. We have four of the same six Pokemon, but they have Amogus. Ah, oh, Mental Herb Amogus. Wait, hell, oh, I can't beat this. Hello. And code when ready. Mental Herb Amogus. What am I, what am I gonna do about this? Uh, this looks difficult, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Mental Herb Amogus, Surging Strikes, Urshifu with Brick Break. Uh, Safety Goggles, Heatran. Hmm. Terra Poison, Urshifu with Brick Break. Ugh, what a drag. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, good luck. Have fun. This is going to be uh, difficult. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not it's not Rocky Helmet, though, which is nice. Oh, interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do one, two. Uh, what do I wanna do in the back? Three, four. Okay, they're gonna bring Among Us for sure. I'm I'm so sure about that. The question is, are they gonna bring Yurshifu? Um Yeah. I hate not being able to protect. It sucks. I'm not sure that this actually works even, to be honest, what I what I play what I did here. Gen Pow Amoongus. Okay. That's interesting. So here, basically, like... I want to go, like, fake out Dazzling Gleam, obviously. It's free damage, probably. I also want to protect Wild Charge, though. I'm going to do this. Because I, I would like to bait a Terra from the Shen Pao so I can Ice Spinner the Amoongus later to kill it. Okay, that's the Terra. This is most likely Shen Pao. This is definitely Shen Pao, I'm saying. Okay. Most likely this is Ice Spinner. The thing is that this chip damage is actually relevant on the Amoongus. I should love this, right? I have no idea. I have no idea my spread. Okay. Um. 
Okay, I took a lot of damage here. But the thing is, I've got damage on the Amoongus now. And also, I... Do I need my Terra for anything else? They, it's unlikely that he has Dragonite in the back, right? That they have Dragonite in the back, so... Hmm. Because basically, with the Terra now burnt on the Ken Pao, I if I trade one for one here, like Amoongus becomes kind of vulnerable in front of um, Amoongus becomes kind of vulnerable in front of my uh, Shen Pao of my own, which then means if I can play this into a three v three or something close to it, it might work in my favor. I don't love having to Terra in front of Shen Pao, but I can take an Ice Spinner even in the worst case scenario, and um, in a best case scenario. I should I should I should have called this. I think I'm really gonna spore my um thing. Oh, I should have doubled it. Nah, doubling it was too risky. I think this is the right move. I'm glad I didn't gleam though. Four? Yeah, okay. What do I do here? Um because now this has gotten a bit more difficult with what I'm into sleeping. I kind of want to switch into Urshifu, take the hit, but it's, I really don't want to take this damage here, right? I think that's an Aqua Jet range. I think Amoongus is pretty likely to switch out here in all honesty. I don't think they're likely to double spore into my uh, thing. And if they do, I probably am in really bad shape, actually. Like legitimately bad shape. Yeah, letting myself fall asleep there was kind of bad. I don't think Amoogus wants to stay in here, to be honest. But I, I could be wrong. I, in a perfect world, they would just um, protect Amoongus and pick up the KO on... Funny, I mean, but I don't think that's... I think that's wishful thinking. Okay, they do switch out, so I don't take the score, which is the most important thing. Karina Liakko, is that butter? Yeah, okay. I think a sub. Shoot. That's not good. What booster is it? Special attack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is looking kind of rough. I'm going to detect and Dazzling Gleam here. I don't have high hopes, but I have a hope. I think I'm losing this based on how this has gone. But I think it was correct to save Iron Hands at the same time. Ah, this is really tricky. This is really, really tricky. Okay, to stay in. I just hope that, um... I could have... Yeah. I could have subbed there, but it wouldn't really have helped me very much. Are they going to sub? Okay, I'm going to blast. Right, oh, they don't have Gleam. That's right. They don't have Gleam. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this turn is the important turn, I think. Um, I most likely need to predict correctly in order to... Uh, Okay, I can think about this. There is a way for me to win this game, right? The last one is most likely Urshifu, right? It's an Urshifu that... Okay. So if it's Urshifu, Amoongus, Chen Pound, Fluttermane, then I'm in a position where this is possible to win. But I think Aqua Jet kills... Honestly, not really. So I have two options here. I can, um... Oh, they don't want to protect. Right. Try this. I don't love this play, to be honest. At all. I don't even like this play, to be honest. But uh, because I can't protect... Okay. A lot. Ow. I could have sucker punched here. It might have been better. 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, there's special attacks boosting, so I should be faster. KOing Fluttermane's great, because that was one of the main Pokemon I was worried about with regards to, um... Yeah, the rest of this game, but I... Getting rid of this stupid Chen Pao! This sucks. This sucks so much. I just need this stupid Chen Pao gone. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm literally so close. Okay, Blast Mon's most likely Urshifu, right? If it's Dragonite, eh, we're about to have a bad time. And I don't think that my Aqua Jet will kill here, right? Urshifu versus uh, Chen Pao. Oh, no ease. Okay, no rain. No Terra. I don't think I can go here. Wait, what moves does this dragon I have? Okay, wait, hang on. Dragonite is... Oh, is it going to lock into Outrage here? I don't like this play very much. Oh, wait, this was dumb, wasn't it? I don't think... I think this is the turn. If I lose the game, it's going to be because I made this play. Oh, I'm just going to eat the extreme speed, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, move this comes in, actually. Oh, that's healthier than I realized. Yeah. Oh! Huh? Oh, man, really? Wait, really? Oh, I was about to win. I was about to win. No. Hang on, I can still win this. I can still win this. Oh, that crit was so bad. Oh, it was so fine. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can, I can, I can win this. I can win this. Trust. Now I get into this. Okay. Because I saved my full HP Iron Hands. And he saved his Jin Pao, okay? In a worst case scenario, it's a one versus one, right? But the Amoongus is way lower this time. By Wild Charge and Ice Spinner. And that covers... If they Sucker Punch, then we trade one for one. If they attack there, then I get Amoongus. And I should survive on Ice Spinner, right? Early I survive. They're most likely Jolly Chen Pao, uh, which is good to know. Because I'm definitely adamant. But the thing is, they have to worry about... They probably want to Sucker Punch here, right? Because they have to worry about Fake Out Sucker as well. But do they know that I know that I'm slower? Do they know that I know? Do they know... Oh! They're predicting both. Okay. They covered for the... Ah! Uh, they don't have Rocky Helmet. It's not like my Iron Hand is going to die here, right? Shinpao? There's no way. Yeah, no way. You can Grass type. I don't die. Okay. They need a crit. They can get it with crit. Um... But they're not Mendel Herb. I can just Wild Charge here and Protect, right? There's not really anything stopping that. And that way I don't even have to play the stupid one one who in minigame. Okay, they're going... I made the wrong play, but that's okay. They need a crit to win this. Though, to be honest, if they crit me, there's no... There's nothing I could do anyway. Okay, yeah. Woo! Up. Okay. That was pretty close, to be completely honest. I did like that I baited the um, Terra early. That's ultimately, I think, what let me win this. Alright, that's game one. It's gonna be hard to win a game two. But it's not impossible. The fact that they brought Dragon is interesting. Um, so their Gen Pao was a, was a problem for sure, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against that. Like, I can't, I can't really... What even happened that game? I had trouble versus the Amoongus, right? Because I couldn't clear it quickly enough. I led hands and my own...
prepared hands that game. Huh. Um, I used fake out pressure pretty well there. Like, I want to lead Iron Hands. I also want to lead Dragonite. Hmm. Like, I want to lead these two, to be honest. But then I'm worried about, like, Fluttermane plus Terra Ghost. So I don't want to do that. Um. Try this. I don't love this, but it at least applies pressure to Amoongus leads. Versus Fluttermane, like, yeah, versus Fluttermane is kind of bad, right? Versus Fluttermane is kind of bad. But they don't have Dazzling Gleam, which is, like, still pretty nice. This is hard. Compile Moongus. Okay. So I think that this is a risky play. Let's see if it pays off. This play doesn't make much sense. I think if I was going to do anything, I should have... Oh. Okay, Fluttermane. Actually, this Voltage damage could end up being kind of important. Booster. Booster energy. Okay, are they protecting with a Mogus is the question. They should, right? They really should. Okay. So, Voltage... Ah, I should have Wild Charged. That was a mistake. Ah, oh, that crit actually might might make a difference. Um. Hmm. I have to go into Fluttermane here, right? Pretty much. The thing is that now Amoongus can Terra, which is like not ideal. Although it's not horrible either. There was a case to Terra Grass there, but I didn't like it. Yeah, I should have wild charged. That would have put me in a better spot. I'm going to go for Ice Spinner here. And I'm actually going to sub, I think. There are ways in which this could go very badly for me, but I think it's worth the risk. Because I, I think this Amoongus is tearing for sure. And if it's going to Terrastalize, I want to get as much damage down as I can. Although they could just protect as well, which would kind of put me up creep without a paddle. But I guess sub buys me some time in that scenario. Like, okay, they are tearing. This is most likely a Moongus. I guess they could Rage Powder, but then they don't get that much ground. The question is, are they protecting here? Because, like, they probably could something, something like Dazzling Gleam and Ice Spinner to the Amoongus, in which case I don't think they necessarily feel like they have to protect. Okay, yeah, nice play. I couldn't do anything to punish. Like, I did what I could to punish this, um, but it just wasn't enough. We saw that their Flutter Mains faster than mine, I'm pretty sure. I got the sub up, which is... I mean, I got the Amoongus to Terra, which is nice. Yeah, but this is pretty good to be rough, in all honesty. At least they don't have Dazzling Gleam, because they don't, if they had Dazzling Gleam, this would be Omega Turbo over, but since they don't, it's okay. Uh, I'll start here again. I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. This forces a um, Rage Powder or a Switch, in which case, or a Sack, in which case they could get they could get them on here if they wanted, but um, 
yeah, there are risks to it. Because I'm trying to set up for an Iron Hands endgame, basically. That's my personal goal in this match. Um, I don't necessarily need... If I get rid of the Fluttermane, I don't necessarily need to um, tear on my Iron Hands, which means it's pretty nice because I might want to tear something else. Mm, yeah, the Amoongus is a big problem, but if I don't need to tear out Iron Hands, then it's not under pressure from um, the from the uh, Chen Pao, which is nice. Or not under as much pressure, especially with Rain Punch potentially healing it back up. Okay, nice Rage Powder. Great move. Um, one turn of sleep. Are they going after the sub? Oh, I'm faster. Interesting. I didn't expect that, actually. I didn't do that much damage, though. Big drop. Huge drop. Moon Blast. Sub, okay. Hmm. Well, now that I know... They have Shadow Ball, right? Is it worth tearing here? I think it might be water. This is a risky play. The good thing is that Amoongus, like, it wants to switch out here, but it doesn't really have anything great to switch to. He turns to sleep. Okay, this should KO, I think. Okay, that's, that special defense drop was big, but I would have made a different play if I hadn't gotten it. Getting rid of Amoongus is really nice here, um, for a number of reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my Fluttermane. It was probably worth Terrestrializing, but I just thought that, like, even if I Terrestrialize, like, if I get the KO... They might still be able to... Like, they're still threatening pre you know, pressure next turn, so I wasn't sure how helpful it actually was at the end of the day. Um, I went to Urshifu here. This could still be kind of bad, right? If I don't get the wake-up here. It just depends on what the last Mon is. They're playing it like it's Urshifu, I think. Or, like, if it was Dragonite, I feel like they would have prior... Well, I guess regardless, they want to prioritize it. And Pal comes back in... Um, I don't think Aqua Jet kills, right? There's no way. Urshifu versus Fluttermane. Bulky special attack booster. Yeah, no way. Yeah, no, no, no way. Even with Sword of Ruin. Even with Terra. Well, no, probably not. Not based on Bulk crit. So here I have a choice. The obvious play is to protect. Um, The obvious play is to protect and wait to wake up. But I'm not going to make that. I'm going to go for Surging Strikes here. Because, like... I don't even... Actually, this might be a mistake. I'm not sure I can even take... I really wanted to detect. I might have thrown this. I need Urshiba to make it through the turn. I maybe should have Ice Spinner here. Yeah, wait. I, I think Ice Spinner here was the, by far the better move. Though I actually don't... I think it would KO, but I could be wrong. Okay, I made I made the right play. I made the right play. Thankfully, they don't have Dazzling Gleam, but this I could still lose. In all honesty. Okay, I wake up, so I get the Sacred Sword down. I think I still made the. Wait, did I make the right play or the wrong play? It depends on if Urshu would take the Moon Blast. I assume that I will because I Terra, but I, I'm not positive. Oh. You know, I was like, man, why did they drop, like, just a couple points of speed? But I, I think I get it now. But I, I, I'm still in trouble. I'm not out of the woods. How do I win this? What's the last mod? Is it Urshifu? Because they're, they're Chen Pao's faster. Oh, it's Dragonite. Hang on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Man... I messed up. Uh, they can extreme speed one and sucker punch the other, right? So I need to protect and switch here.
Wait, no, that doesn't work either. I have to do it the other order, right? Wait, that doesn't work either. Hang on. Okay, it's going to be a bunch of mind games. I don't think I win this. My health is too low. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. <laughs> I need to get one call correct and then I can maybe win. No. That too much. Oh my god, they risked it all. They called it. They called it. Okay. They have sucker punch, right? I'm not dumb. Are they really going to protect here? There's no way, right? I have to get, if I don't get this play right, then I, I just lose, right? So I have to call correctly. This is not the right play by any means. However, like, I don't, I think that if I, if they do, like, they need to make this, I need to get this turn right or I will always lose, I think. Long play. Yeah, I, I didn't have another option there was the thing. I can't believe they hard read me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have another option there. I, I like could have gone for fake out and the thing is if I fake out the Chen Pao there, which is what I want to do, and surging strikes the Dragonite, then they'll they KO Urshifu, I KO Chen Pao, but then in the two versus one, it's this position and they don't have Chen Pao, and I don't win this because I took too much damage on the switch in because they called it. I have to do this. So I think it was the right play. It just like, yeah, because I, I mean, I could have taken the Chen Pao there, but I would have then just lost the next turn. Yeah, having Adamant Chen Pao really screwed me, but the turn that I really messed up was not going for taking out the Chen Pao. I think that was the bigger threat. Although there's a chance I live this. Not that living it does me much good, but I live. Uh, do I live this? Uh, nope. Okay, game three. That sucks. I think I was in position to win, but I messed it up. They still they're keeping this Terra Ghost is the problem. Like so I like the key if they leave the same things again. I I could have um Huh
don't like this very much, but I ran out of time to figure out something else. Not good at all, chat. That is actually very, very, very bad. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay. Slower? Oh, it's bulky. Here's my defense. Okay, it's fine. Didn't do too much damage at all. I'm predicting switch to Fluttermane Spore into Urshifu. God, their Fluttermane's gonna be a problem now that I did this. Like a big problem. Like an Omega problem. Fluttermane. Dragonite. Are they not a Fluttermane? Oh, they might have Chen Pao as the last. Okay, I broke the multi scale, which is excellent. Um, Dragon's move pool. Extreme Speed, Outrage, Stomping Tantrum, and Aqua Jet. So, both my Pokemon are really good here. This basically threatens a KO regardless of what they do. Uh, this is a really tough call. Please don't spoil the Iron Hand. Okay, okay. Woo! I thought I thought they actually got me. I was like, uh oh. Okay, nice play. Um, they have to attack into Fluttermane, or they risk. Yeah, I think their last one is most likely Chen Pao, and they haven't Terra yet, so I gotta watch out for that. Moongus is so annoying. I guess bringing in Chen Pao there would have been better in hindsight because I would have been exerting so much offensive pressure, but I would, they would have just tear it. I think that this is the right call. The thing is, I've been forced to tear it early and, and I took some damage. Not a ton, but the, it will add up over time. Okay. My hope here is that they just... Well, let's see what they lock into. They might switch out, I guess. Terra? Terra normal? 
Are they Terra Normal Extreme Speeding in this spot? Oh, they wait. Oh, they might not be Extreme Speeding. They they might want to deal with the Flutter because I feel like they. Oh my god. That's so lame. I live, but barely. They called that? Okay. But now they've Terrad, which means that this game has changed a little bit. Not much, but a little. Yeah, because I get to give I get the sub here. Which is a huge deal in this matchup. Like a massive deal. Ah, okay. Wait, who's coming in? It's probably Urshifu? Wait, who comes in here? It is Urshifu, okay. Oh, do they intend to like aqua jet me? Break the thing? I don't like this at all. Oh, they, yeah, that works. That totally works. Huh. Well, Aqua Jet break the sub? Most likely, right? Urshifu versus Fluttermane. I have no idea what Hulk is, though. Aqua Jet. No item here. There's Fluttermane. How much Hulk? You have an item. Is that... I overthought it so hard. I overthought it so hard. I could have just Dazzling Gleamed. I threw. I, I gave them way too much credit. Maybe they thought that it wouldn't break the sub. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a roll to kill. I lost. I, I lost on that. That sucks so much. Oh my god. That's so lame. I could What would they have done if I Dazzling Gleamed? What were they thinking? I don't I literally I literally don't understand. Oh my god. I was too too many levels ahead. Shoot. Uh could I win this? Depends on this play, I guess. What would you I guess they predicted the sub? That's wild to me. Okay. Have I broken the multi-scale? Not yet, right? They've gone for one extreme speed thus far. Does this KO my Urshifu? Most likely, right? Versus Dragonite. Okay, extreme speed, paranormal. Four iron hands. Wait, what? Okay. I almost sacred sorted.
Ah, oh, I got every call wrong. I knew I'd live. Okay. The thing is that in this position, like there wasn't really much I could do, I think. Ugh, this sucks. Just three, right? Three extreme speeds. Barring ice spinner somehow KOing a moon. It's the fact that the fact is that extreme speeds uh, increase priorities, what screws me over here. Yeah, and a moon is just too healthy. No. Um, I could go for double double protects with Urshifu. That could work. Come on, show me the Gen Pao. Nope. Okay. Oh, that sucks. All right, they played well. I mean, they just they just like hard read me multiple turns in a row, which sucks, but that's okay. Um, it happened. Dang, I I think I could have been able to win this. Yeah, they made really really aggressive predictions, but really the the surging strikes turn was the crazy one. That's it. Okay, GGs, GGs, GGs. Four, but I won game one and then lost the next two. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I over I overthought it. I don't understand what they were thinking, because if I just dazzle gleam the turn that I um Yeah, if I just dazzle gleamed um the turn that I subbed I would have been super fine. What's Marker now? 4 2? Record. Dang. This is hard. Okay, let me get this uh, video ready to publish. Give me one second. Someone says Surging Strikes covers for everything. There is an Aqua Jet. What happens if you get Dazzling Gleamed and you lose your Urshifu? Then your play is Dazzling Gleam, lose Urshifu, Spore does nothing. It's a crazy... I guess my... I, I don't understand what they were thinking there. Because if I Dazzling Gleam, the game is... Like, Urshifu goes down. Fluttermane's still in, like, great shape. And then... You have Chen Pao, Dragonite, and Amoongus versus Sub, Fluttermane behind Sub. And they can't lock into, um... They can't lock into Extreme Speed in that case. I don't think a Calcron. Uncle Jet would have broken the sub, right? Why is I being dumb? Versus Fluttermane. Blank set. Yeah, Uncle Jet would definitely would have broken the sub. There's no way I was living that, that with my sub. Yeah, I had no chance of, of living with the sub though, so I had to uh, I had to do that. Makes sense. 
Okay, let me post this video. Uh, we'll do it after the next one, actually, because um, there's not much time now. Show the team for anyone new. Getting this video ready. Um, ready. Okay, video is ready to go, so I will post that soon. Okay, cool. Video is ready to go whenever I am. Two rounds left, two matches left, so we don't have to wait too long for the next one. I feel like I'm not good at using Dragonite because I'm always hesitant to bring it if they have a ghost type and a Terra Ghost because it just feels risky. Well, 
One match left. Is it possible just to make day two? Yeah, I have three matches left. I have to win all of them um, and then I'll advance. Well, use Mystic Water instead of Clear Amulet. Urshifu always crits anyway, so lowering its, its stats being lowered doesn't actually do anything because crits ignore stat debuffs and stat buffs of your opponent. I think there's nine rounds today. That's what I heard, uh, I heard at least. So we have three left. I need to win all of them. How many matches do you need to win? How many games? I have three ma three rounds left. If I want to advance it tomorrow, I have to win all of them. Are there any shell armor Pokemon that are viable to avoid crits? I believe the only one that, that is viable is Hisui and Gudra. Who's a good Pokemon? L. I'll check though. Shell armor, it's mega slow, bro. Yeah, mega slow, bro. That's the one. Um, Lapras. Is Lapras even in the game? I don't think so. Cloyster. Um, is Crustle in the game? I don't think so. Also, doesn't beat it. Um, Scavalier's not in the game. Sui and Gudra, I think, is Turnier in the game? Nope. Um, Cloth. Cloth gets Shell Armor. So I don't think you want Cloth to beat, uh, Urshifu. Torkoal gets it, and that's kind of it. Regular Samurott as well. So yeah, basically it's only Gudra. It's the only mod with, like, any real chance of doing well. Next round will start soon. There's only one round. Uh, one match still going on. What do you think about Reggie Lucky being back? Not getting a lot of use right now, but I, I think it's a strong Pokemon. Like, I think that it will, people will find a way to use it well. Gooey Gujar with Rocky Helmet and Counter? Yeah. Um, although, I think Counter doesn't, does Counter count all of the hits of Surging Strikes as one move, or does it treat them individually?
I think technician population bomb can work as well, um, but it's trailer, right? Like with with um, with friend guard mouse hold, you're able to like invest more heavily in your bulk, which lets you um, survive more. Still one round left. Yeah, Regidrago is interesting here because it does so much damage and the like like there's no max quake to boost the special defense anymore. Um and like yeah, I feel like I mean you still the thing is you still were at Fluttermane. Does Regidrago get any good moves? Draco Meteor, Dragon Energy. I just feel like it's hard with Fluttermane around. Maybe you run like Terra Steel, Terra Blast or something. So I seriously doubt that that even KO. I'll calc it though. Regidrago. Blank set. Fluttermane. Heal. Terrible. Terra. Uh, yeah, maybe with Life Orb, but I don't think you want to run Life Orb. Wait, does Life Orb even get it? Uh, on no bulk, you, you can still miss the kill. Yeah, so Terra Steel, Terra Blast doesn't kill anyway. Okay, all the matches are done, so the, the next round will start any minute now. Was Hitman talk better with it? Oh, never mind. I'm playing. Let's see here. Chen Pao Cresselia, Urshifu, Ursa Luna. Ooh. Cobra Cloak Tornadus, Life Orb Heatran, Mental Herb Cresselia. Uh, okay. Hello. This looks pretty rough, champ. I'm not going to lie to you. Terra Dark Tornadus. Terra Dark Tornadus, Terra Dark Cresselia. Oh, they don't have Dragonite, though. Terra Ghost Chen Pao. So there's Helping Hand and Lunar Blessing. Hmm. How much do I even do to Cresselia with uh, Urshifu in the rain? Okay. Alright, just waiting on them. Yeah, so they have Ursa Luna with um, Terra Ghost, Facade, Earthquake, Drain, Punch, and Protect. Uh, Unseen Fist, uh, Urshifu, Terra Steel with standard moves other than that. Bleak Wind Storm, Tornadus, um, ta sorry, Taunt, Covert Cloak, Tornadus, Life Orb, Heatran with Terra Grass, um, Cresselia with Mental Herb and Terra Dark, and then Sash Chen Pao. Um, and what I want to know is... Uh, my opponent hasn't responded yet, so hopefully they do that soon. That'd be cool. Be lit. Okay, here we go. 
two, seven, zero, two, two. Alrighty, let's here. All right, chat. On this one. What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy. Luna kind of looks really stupid. <laughs> it like kind of looks really dumb. Just a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I messed up the camera again. They stayed in? That is an absurd play. I'm, I'll say it. That is a ridiculous play. I could have just killed the Ursa Luna. What are they doing? Oh, it's like max defense. Oh, no. Wait, is it? Hang on. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Bro. And they hit both. Oh, man. And they got the speed drop. That is a crazy play to me personally. You'll live this, right? Whew. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna switch Urshu out. Form, I think. Because there's no way they stay in with Ursula Luna here, right? Yeah, okay. Well. Well. Okay, um, my other option here is what? Oh, there's one tanky tornado. What 
are you doing? My, does this not kill? Am I dumb? What are they doing? Ugh, my, I hope I don't miss here. Missing here would be real bad. Okay, that's one one down. Let's see if I hit the other. Come on, baby needs a new para. Come on, show me the bleak wind. Nice, okay. So I, I have a slight lead. Um, my Urshu being low HP kind of sucks, but that's all right. What's in the back? Urshu food probably. Ten pow and Urshu food. Yikes! It's actually pretty bad for me. To be completely honest. Is your minus one speed right? Although I mean. Being minus one speed here actually sucks so much. Being minus one speed here sucks so much. I think I might lose this actually. They haven't terrored yet, right? This one speed sucks so much. Strong, okay. So it's a 2v2, uh, they're taunted, uh, but they have Terra still available. I'm going to turn to Tailwind left on my end too. Wait, did I mess this up? I might have. So I can, I can take out the Chen Pao here and just try and win the game immediately because I think they want to take down my... Um... Right, I could... Hang on, do I wanna... They are Mystic Water, right? I can do this. Cause I can probably take one Mystic Water attack since they're not Terra. Um... I think I can take one. Eh, probably safer not to. If I fake out Dazzle, Hell one end, Dazzle Drain Punch. Tailwind end. Take out Dazzle, Tailwind end, Tailwind Dream Punch, Tailwind end. Shadow Ball win the game. Hey, okay, is it Steel or Go? Can't tell. Yeah, good play. Unless they protect this time, which makes things get a bit more awkward. I guess the taunt kind of. Um, Invade what I wanted to go for. Do they protect? Okay. Are they fast? Okay. They're, I think they're jolly then, because I think Adam can do more. Okay. That one's gone, which is fine. The last turn of their talent, right? Yep. And they can't uh, do anything about this because I forced the Terra, so I get to go Dream Punch Dazzle. Okay. Ice Spinner does a lot. 164. Each one does a little, a little, a little uh, 52. So I should take, should take one more. Unless they max roll me. Okay. All right, and I win just barely. Okay. Thank you very much to the EVs on the Siren Hand. Because I forgot about priority. 
I totally forgot about priority, so I actually could have lost this. All right, that was a little close for comfort. I totally forgot about priority. Although, I didn't think I was going to die to a double hook anyway, so... That was not super close, uh, clean. I would prefer to win better. Last time they went Torn, Urshifu, or Ursaluna, Tenpao, Urshifu, right? Okay, alrighty. Do I really want to lock into extreme speed here? Should I just go for outrage? Like, Backmon, one of them is our Saluna for sure, right? Because Slayer doesn't have any killing. I can just push it twice. <laughs> No Terra from the Tornadus. Not uh, we shouldn't really expect a Terra here to be honest. I think this is gonna do a lot of damage, is my prediction. We 60%. 60%. 60%. 60%. If this survives, I'll eat my hat. I kind of just figured that in terms of a lead like this, like just getting as much damage down as possible immediately is probably in my favor. Like, yes, they get trick from up. However, um, 
Yeah, like they take so much damage in exchange that I think the trade is worth it. And they're probably going to Ursa Luna here. Yep. But they don't have um, Flame Orb online yet. Which means they, I, even with Helping Hand, I'm not convinced they can actually get the kill. I'll go for Ice Spinner and another Extreme Speed and just take out the Crest. No need to overcomplicate this. Especially with Urshifu in the back. Drain Punch, most likely into... They didn't... Terra? Okay, I'll take out Chris. Huh. Okay, no Terra. Slowly goes down, big damage. So we're up 4-2. Uh, at the end of this, it's 3 turns left of Trick Room, but Ice Spinners can do a lot of damage here. Drain Punch comes out, I should live. Never mind. Not live. I guess the question in my mind is how much... Oh, I guess because the Helping Hand and the Sword of Ruin. I'm still surprised I killed, honestly. Anyway, Ice Spinner can do a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, I could just Aqua Jet and take that out. Although I could also Sucker Punch, right? Let's go hands. Because the they haven't terra yet, but no matter what comes in, it can't have a Ghost Terra, right? Because I've KO'd with the other... The only two Ghost Terras in this team were... Oh, it could be Chen Pao, I guess. I don't think that would really help them too much. I don't know. Good on Hey. Interesting Pokemon choice this year. I'm gonna Sucker Punch and Wild Charge. They can protect, but that doesn't really help them. The Trick Room actually works against. Well, I mean, honestly, having priority just means that the Trick Room is kind of irrelevant. Because they need to go for a Drain Punch to get their health back, and I'm not gonna let them do that because I'm just going to sucker punch them and if I ever were to lose my Shen Pao I would just go into Urshifu and click Aqua Jet so I think I'm in good shape here. Okay here it comes. They, they were pinned, but they didn't have a better option here in all honesty. Unlayer the bear. Okay. And they could have teared the turn before to take less from Ice Spinner, but then they would have taken this much from Sucker Punch. Like they still would have been in range, and Iron Hands could have take out the partner. Alrighty, nice. We gotta win. GG's. I mean, with the Pokemon that they brought, they couldn't actually do anything about Cresselia, right? Because they couldn't, or about uh, Dragonite. They couldn't switch. Like, think about it. Like, they, they led Tornadus Cresselia. They couldn't, there was nothing they could do. Tornadus doesn't have Protect. Um, not that could switch into Ice Spinner. Like, you, they could have, like, turn one, switched Tornadus into Chen Pao, taken the Ice Spinner, lost the Sash, and then Trick Roomed. But then, like... It doesn't really help, right? Because then you're in, in range of Sucker Punch and Extreme Speed is always just targeting down the other thing. Like, you can, I can go Extreme Speed and Sucker Punch into that slot and it covers most options. Um, if I, even if, like, assuming, you know, Sacred Sword kills and they get the call correctly, right? 
I don't think the opponent threw every turn. I think that they didn't they didn't lead correctly to deal with Dragonite at all. Like they there was nothing they could do there. They needed to lead something that they could tear to, to block Dragonite and they didn't do it. I need, there's two rounds left I need to win them both in order to advance. Was there a TFT tournament on this weekend? Probably your cup. You do shiny hunt? Not really. I did it for um, nationals. I shiny hunted for a couple Pokemon. I got like shiny Flamigo, shiny Tuttigarian, shiny Screamtail, but I don't do it on camera. I just did it because I wanted the shinies. Uh, I realize that I'll just post the video when I finish the stream at this point. Which is in another probably two hours, maybe less. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some water.
Sorry, I went to the bathroom too. Oh, long day. How about that, chat? How's everyone, how's everyone doing? Man, I gotta set this mic up properly. I just suck with the mic. I can never get it to do what I want. Never position properly. Twenty-six rounds left. Twenty-four rounds left. Ah, how's everybody doing? By the way, all, if you're enjoying the stream, just a gentle reminder to subscribe to the channel. First of all, it's free. I imagine most of you are subbed, but uh, yeah, um, doesn't doesn't hurt to to double check. And if you want to support the channel monetarily, you can also um, join. Uh, it costs about five dollars per month, I think, and um, supports me directly and also gets you access to the sub discord where I post all of my teams. Um, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. long tournaments like this last on average basically you budget about one hour per swiss round so for a tournament like this probably nine hours for swiss and then the top cut just depends on how long you last before being eliminated but i updated it yeah five two five two is there going to be a new Pokemon Perspectives anytime soon? Um, we actually filmed one before Scarlet and Violet that um, our editor's been working on for a while. So at some point that will come out. Though it honestly might be after Worlds at this point. Uh, does a video about NAIC run coming? Yes. Um, I haven't started working on it yet, but I've been thinking about it. Um, it'll probably be at the end of the month because it'll take probably two to three weeks to edit. It'll be shorter than Hartford. I think YouTube takes 30% of member subs. Thanks very much, uh, the Rio. Thank you. Uh, if I, I, I need to win both of the last two rounds to advance to tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm out of here. There's two games left. Two games left. Do you want? Do you see the Dark Tower should become more meta in the future to combat Rock Helmet strats? Um, I think Dark Tower was also very, very good. Um, it's nice to be able to hit around Focus Sash, but yeah, no, Dark Tower was like super, like definitely super good. I think it's like, yeah, I think Water makes more sense right now, but they're both they're both strong. Does Ava look good? No. I have qualified for Worlds, yes. Is Galarian's Zabdos any good? I don't know. My gut says no, but I could be wrong for sure. Will you stream tomorrow as well? If I win both of the next two games, I'll stream tomorrow. Porygon is not in the game. I have so many abs open. I don't understand. Oh, I should close that. I gotta back up. Um, I don't like Jump Luff. It's, it's a very inconsistent Pokemon. I, I don't like to leave. Like, 
I don't like to use Pokemon that are super heavily RNG dependent. And Jumpluff, not only does it run Sleep Powder, which is inherently RNG based, but it also runs uh, Sleep Powder is only 75% accurate. Thanks very much, Dominique. I appreciate it. Did you do the Delphox raid? No. When was the last bagel you had a couple days ago? Um, are the new generation Pokemon strong? Very much. Thoughts on contrary enamorous, physical or special? I've talked about enamorous a couple times, but basically, like, um, the thing is that enamorous is similar to Fluttermane, and that's a fast special attacking fairy type, and Fluttermane is faster and stronger. Um, so you need a really good reason to use any kind of enamorous over what like because the, th the things that beat Fluttermane are also going to beat enamorous. Do you have a regular stream schedule? I regularly don't stream. How do you beat Goldango screens? I lost to the only one I played with this team. I wonder if Extreme Speed guilds Grim Snarl. Probably not, right? Grim Snarl. Yeah, nah, it doesn't kill. Thanks very much, Simon. No, Dragon is really good because it just does so much damage to everything that isn't Butter Maiden. And it also benefits a lot from the Swords of Ruin of Ken Pao. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. Do you like Pokemon or do you play because you're so good in it? I like Pokemon. Opinion on Azumarill? I've said this before, but basically, like, the Pokemon that, like, the Pokemon that beat Urshifu are also going to beat Azumarill. So it's probably not going to have the easy time. If you swap abilities with Palafin, would it work? No. Some abilities cannot be swapped. Zero to Hero is one of them. There's actually a fair few of them this generation. Like, gold, good as gold can't be swapped. Photosynthesis can't. Um, what's the other one? Um, Quark Drive. None of those can be swapped or copied. There's a lot of them, actually. a fair few matches left choice specs punk rock toxicity uh toxicity does not do a good job of surviving i don't think it would like all the offense in this format who inspired you to play competitive pokemon nobody inspired me i, I found out there was an event like i was playing online versus people and i wanted to play in person and i found out there was an event like near my house so i went Oh yeah, you yeah, commander can't be copied either. Yeah, the last time we did a number one in the world attempt, it did it really badly, so I'm reevaluating doing more. You wanna see the tapu's return? Not really. I think they're pretty uninteresting, to be honest. Like they're really strong. Yeah, I think I could do without ever having the tapus again. I think Reggie Drago has potential. Yeah, I think Reggie Drago could be good. For sure. Can you get Aaron to go back to competing? Aaron Aaron can do what he wants, man. I'm not here to... Like, I want him to do what's best for him. I'm not here to push him to do anything in particular. He um was going to play at Nationals, but I think work got too busy. Will there be a lot of Sneezlers in VGC? Probably not a lot, but there might be some.
What's your favorite video you've made? Um, the world video is, is up there for me. That's one of my favorites. Um, um, the Nuzlocke video I was really proud of. It didn't do very well, but I was really proud of it. Um, yeah. We have a couple ones that I'm, I'm really proud of. Um, the documentary on Aaron, which also didn't do very well, but was really good in my opinion in terms of quality. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then some videos I think are underappreciated, like the Apple video. I love that video. I don't even know if it has 100,000 views, but that's a great video. Um, what else? Um, what else? The, the winning with uneven Pokemon. I'm sure most of you don't even know what that is, but yeah, that video was also really funny. I think that's also a pretty good video. At least I thought it was good. But uh, yeah, those are more like fun that I, I enjoyed. Hey, uh, Kengo, thank you very much for joining the channel. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Make sure you join the uh, subscriber Discord. Let's see how many rounds are left. How many games are still playing this round? Uh, um, seven. Cool. What do you think about the massive debuff for Charizard? What massive debuff? Victory, you won your match. I think. What do you mean I won my match? Oh, they dropped. Oh, it's gonna drop. <laughs> Yeah, locked out. I mean, locked out is also a, it's just that's that's a, that's a, that's a, that's an amazing video. Locked out. Exclamation point Discord for help joining the Discord. I'm thinking about doing pure VGC gameplay videos on um on Bonus Wolf. Yeah, because I want to I want to post there more, and and just like battle content is easy enough. Long for next game. There's how many matches left right now until the finishes? There's five matches left, so probably five to ten minutes. Are you enjoying this team? It's all right. Um, it's it's good offensively. I like that the battles are fast, but it's a little hard to maneuver. Thanks very much, uh, Moody. I really appreciate that. I give you the support. I played TCG for many years, actually, when I was a kid, but I was never very good. Um, I, I don't like TCG. I don't like playing TCG very much because I hate the feeling of losing because you like drew a dead hand. Like I hated that you could lose before you even started the game. That's what drew me to VGC in the first place. Do I think there should be more terrain setters in Scarlet and Violet? Not really. I think terrain is a little bit like mothering like it's the thing is that there's so such few users that when like when terrain is good it's like there's all there's very little to like use it or like just deal with it you know what i mean and i don't i think that's uninteresting personally this is this tournament's not in its bracket phase yes yet we're still in swiss So yeah, there's four uh, matches left this round. Favorite team of yours ever? 2011 is pretty close to my heart. Um, 2016 Worlds as well. Probably one of those two. Um, yeah. Do you think Brad Avalon gameplay will change with the new Hisuian form? Wait, if the Super Bowl is coming back, right? They can do Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, 
doesn't freeze his status, it's dumb. It's super dumb. Like, yeah. They honestly should just remove it. Like, it's not, it's so dumb. I like more Orlando team, but it like I don't know if it's like one of my favorite ones ever. You know what I mean? Like I've used a lot of teams over the years. I think it would just be recency bias to say that that's one of my favorites. I did like it a lot. It was a great team, but I liked my Nationals team more honestly, even though it did like a lot worse. Yeah, I've thought about doing Patreon. Um, uh, maybe after Worlds we'll set Patreon up and, and add a bunch of bonus content there. I didn't build this team, Landon. Uh, this is a rental team, but the I, the purpose of Iron Hands is that it's just a good mon overall, and also that it uh, is really good against Trick Room teams because you can slow down their pace with Fake Out. We make a new Parasong team. Parasong is so fun to play. It's gonna be tough um, because of Urshifu and Prankster Taunt. I should be worried about Basque Legion. Okay. Will you be playing in more locals before Worlds for Reg D practice? No. If you try out two different EU spreads in a Pokemon, do you train the Mons or reset the spread and train the same again? So uh, typically by the time I get the Pokemon in game, I have a pretty good idea of the spread, but for nationals, like I, I changed the spread a bunch and I would just use EV reducing berries and then retrain it, usually with vitamins and wings at that point. I do most of my EVing just the old fashioned way by killing a bunch of like Merrells or whatever. Um, but when I'm re EVing, it's easy enough just to use vitamins and wings. I feel like that's what they're for. Cause at that point it's like, yeah, I think it's easier. Does putting Ursa Luna in the thumbnail attract more people? I don't know. I was originally going to use Ursa Luna, which is why I put it in the thumbnail. Um, but I don't know. Like that's more a question for you guys than for me. Do you see yourself doing another draft league? No, not anytime soon. I think it's stupid that evasion is allowed in VGC. Not particularly, no. It's not that good. Like there are times when it's it's stupid, but with Mo especially with Moody's nerf, it's not that big a deal. But Ptolemy, six foot one. Yeah, I was thinking about Power of Alchemy, but it's like kind of dumb. Like it's not like that. Like there's I don't know. Like maybe there's a use for it, but I don't think it's worth. I don't I don't really think so personally. Two matches round left this round. But I'm in a substitute and protect as normal moves. I don't really stream on Twitch anymore. I think they also like removed my partner status, or I got an email saying that they were going to remove my partner status, so I definitely won't be going back. left and versus Italy for both of them two matches left how much better is assuming Gujra compared to normal Gujra a lot better it has better typing better stats and it gets an ability that's like very useful in the current format do you uh, ever return to Nuzlocke slash raw max like radical rudder kaizo again platinum kaizo I'll come back I played Radical Red, but it just like, I don't know. It wasn't, it didn't really grasp me in the same way. I 
I wouldn't say that hazards are common. I think that they're the most, the best they've ever been. Um, one match left, by the way. That's uh, the person I lost to. Do you like streaming? Um, I don't mind it. It's, it's very tiring because it takes a lot of energy, much more than working on a YouTube video. Did you never, you're like, you're on the whole time, but I don't, I don't just like it. It's just like, it's not a great use of my time because I'm not good at like converting the like hours people watch into actually getting any like dollars. Um, which is fine. Like, I mean, I don't do it very often, but even when I streamed, like it was a problem when I was streaming like multiple days a week and like, I was like, yeah, not super like a good, like it wasn't like a good financial use of my time, but mostly like, I, I would rather like, I don't like that when you finish a stream, that's it. You know what I mean? Um, like, um, like, like with a YouTube video, you could, that video can be up and like earning passive income, like for forever. It's not going to earn a ton over time, but you don't, you know, if you have enough videos making, you know, enough like just a little bit over time it'll add up but with a stream it's like as soon as you just with streaming in general as soon as you like you need to really be a grinder i think to make streaming like a good use of your time and i'm just like not a grinder you know what i mean the one match left Excuse me. Why does Dragonite have a normal Terra type? Because Extreme Seed does a lot of damage with Terra Normal and with Bomb Choice Ban and with Sword of Rune. We have a VOD channel, Wolfie VOD. You guys should sub to it if you haven't already. still going on do you train all your pokemon yourself for for live events yes yeah with some exceptions but for live events yeah i i, I do all my pokemon myself i'll put the pace for this team in the sub discord but it's also it's public somewhere on on um, BGC Pace. Like you can you can and you can also look at the rental code and just get it yourself. But yeah, how long have you been streaming today? Uh, seven hours. Started at nine a.m. A little over seven hours. What are your thoughts about Interfocus versus Multiscale? I think on Choice Ben Dragon, Interfocus is a lot better. There's another match to be played? Yeah, as soon as the final match of the round finishes. Yeah, when the stream ends today, I'll post a video. Is there a way to make Wo Chen good? Probably not. I mean, maybe. It's not horrible. And, like, and the ability is good. It's just like the typing is really bad and it doesn't do enough damage. Like, compared to the other ones, it's just like a lot worse. Do you breed mods the majority of the time or bottle cap them? I mostly just bottle cap, like, because I like to go for marks, but it depends. Like, if a mod needs zero attack IV, it takes a lot longer to reset it with a mark. Like, I, that's what I did for Gothitelle, but it wasn't zero attack IV. It was, like, five attack IV, but it was Gothitelle the Furious, so... Yeah, I decided to use it because I thought it was cool.
Last match is still going on. This is live or pre-recorded? It's live. This is this is the live stream. You can't change your team in a VGC tournament. The only exception is between World Day 1 and World Day 2. Scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think are, you are at making competitive teams? Uh, pretty, pretty good. I don't think there's that many better builders than I am, but I also build bad teams sometimes because it's really hard. Match still going on. I think screens are good. I mean, the, you have to worry about the crits, right? But like, and like, you know, Urshiva always critting, but yeah. Hope you feel better, Lauren. Walking wake is not legal. Is it common to change teams between day one and day two? No, not really. Not actually, it's not common at all. I don't know many people who have done it. I, I was going to do it in 2018, but then I went out day one, which is one of the risks of changing. God, Battle is so bad. Will Urge for Rapid Strike be number one usage over Flutter now? I don't think so, um, personally, but it's like, it's, it's, it's a really good mod for sure. <sighs> What's a good tarot type for Galarian Slow King? Galarian Slow King? The Psychic Poison one? I wouldn't use Ghost because it's weak to dark and Ghost, right, already? Um, grass is probably okay. It's weak to psychic poison. Wait, hang on. It's weak to ground and ghost and dark. So fairy's okay. Um, dark is probably pretty decent. I would say dark is probably pretty good. Probably your best bet or fairy maybe. Did you build this team? No, this is a rental team. I'm not qualified for day two world. How is this match still going on? It's been one, one match for so long. What's your opinion, opinion on really been losing Grassy Glide? I think it's a good nerf, honestly. I mean, it'll probably get it back at some point, but yeah. It, it, it would have been too broken with it, I think. I also, they also nerfed Grassy Glide on top of that.
spot is still going on. There's no Grazzle Glide is not currently in the game, which I think is how. Okay, finally finished the next round very soon. Um, they nerf Grazzle Glide by removing its lowering its base power by I think ten. interested in like because you know you you obviously what? like massive pokemon fan right mm. like have you ever thought about like going into like the competitive pokemon scene or that's going interesting on? that started really hitting my what life for on? you page on youtube yeah um, what's like a guy really wolfie blowing up recently Where is, yeah. is it wolfie yeah wolfie, wolfie. yeah he's wolfie. making some what happened oh all right i don't know what that was I think I opened my mistake. Alright, let's see what we're looking at here. Okay. Ooh, ah, uh, it's doomed. It's so doomed. It's Omega Doomered. Um, they have Ndidi Armourouge. Ah, uh, it's it's a hard trick room team. Ndidi Armourouge, Hatterini. Uh, it's Omega Turbo Ultra, Super Omega Ultra, Turbo Ultra, Omega Doomer, sm Smudge. Oh my god, it's it's actually, it's actually, I can't, oh, Noe. Uh, eh, um, uh, I, I can explain. I can't, this is Doomer. Okay, if I win this, I'm the GOAT. Yeah, some, sorry, somebody sent me a link and I, I I don't know how I must have I must have opened it. I do not know how. I, I think because I was dragging tabs around, I'm I i do not know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. My opponent says one minute. Okay, this is gonna be rough. I do have Ice Spinner, but they also have Indeedy Armor, Hatterini, Torkoal, or Saluna. And my whole team relies on priority and they can just switch Ndidi out, which is a problem. <laughs> it's so doomed. <laughs> ah, okay. Here's how I can still win this chat. Here's how I can still win this one. Um, what is the priority of follow me? Is it the same as this extreme speed? Hang on. Attack decks. Follow me. What? Follow me is plus what is extreme speed they i know they changed it at some point it's also plus two this sucks man that's doomered okay it's so doomed okay no it's fine i'm gonna win this for us Okay. All right, chat. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. All right. 
Let's see, what are we dealing with here? And GD Arm Rouge. This looks so difficult. Okay. Man, this this is just rough. Rough champ. I don't know what to do. Wow, I don't know what to do. This isn't my music? Wait, what happened? Oh my god, it's so doomered. Okay, well, come on, you great big lug. Uh, hey chat, quick question for everybody. Oh, this music, I don't want to listen to it. I brought four Fairy Week Pokemon. Oh, okay, that's not good. I'm gonna fake it out, trust. I should have taken more time there, that's my bad. That's my bad, oh man, I forgot. Farewell, Psychic Terrain. Okay. Hey, that's one. <laughs> Five turns of Trick Room, folks. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, five turns of Trick Room. Uh, I don't need to care, right? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Hang on, wait. Okay, hang on. All right. I was like, wait, is it Terra Ghost? Or not? Helping hand, helping hand, helping hand, helping hand. Come on, baby. Show me the helping hand. Uh oh. How much we do with the Hatter in this other bunch? Anyone know? I'm Hatter. Okay, versus. Not enough damage. 
No! Ow! My legacy. You know, in hindsight, I had a better move here, but whatever. Dream. A lot of damage. So I can take another one, which is awesome. There's how many turns left? I still got three turns through this. Oh, I like a scoob. They haven't Oh, they have Terran. Oh, yeah, hands. Wait, wait, hands is fine, right? Ah, booster. Uh oh. Hold on. <laughs> wait a second. Hang on. Uh, wait, three. I can do a lot of damage here. Wait a second. The last Pokemon is most likely Torkoal, right? Oh, but they only have close combat to hit. Hold up. This is turn. Trick room attack. This is three. Okay, oh. Hedering is down. I'm gonna go up three to two, but the problem is there's still this Torkoal. Oh, Torkoal doesn't have protect though. Hold up. Wild charge. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, with the defense drop, I always die to that, right? Okay, here comes the ice spinner. Maybe. Portal. A lot of damage. Okay, two turns left. Amarouge! Wait, they got Amarouge over here? Hang on. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna. Nope. Two turns? Amarouge. Mind plate Amarouge. Huh. Okay, wait. Sucker Punch and take out. I see the vision. I smell the vision. I taste the vision. I see a way out of this. Not a great way out, mind you, but... Oh, if their last one was, was Ursa Luna, I was kind of hosed. I didn't think about that. It lands! It lives Sucker Punch? Man, I totally brought the right mods here. Let's go me. <laughs> this was almost very bad. Okay. This is fine, right? Even if they KO, they can't protect. They don't have any... Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Man, getting rid of that second tree was kind of clutch. hard it's gonna be really hard <laughs> to win this okay we just need one more okay let's go that better music this time i liked being able to extreme speed everything that was kind of clutch but uh i'm a little worried that it won't work a second time
Wait, how do I change the music? Come on, it's gotta be in this menu, right? Oh. Oh, I tapped it, that's what happens. Okay. Oh, I'm a rude. Uh, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I have Flutter main option here, which is nice. Ugh. Like, Fluttermane can come here for sure. The thing is that I, it doesn't really do anything in front of the trick. Like, I could do, like, Chen Pao, Fluttermane, and, and, like, Ice Spinner, Dazzling Gleam turn one, or Ice Spinner sub, and then Dazzling Gleam. But, like, I just worry that it won't clear things quick enough. That being said, being able to sub up is really valuable. I'm also worried about the Torkoal. Like, Torkoal would have kind of messed me up last game. Try this, no Dragonite. This is like right though. Hang on, I gotta think about this. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm gonna do the same again. I think I can do it at the same ones. I don't know if I made it in time. I kind of feel like I didn't make it in time. <laughs> I thought I lived what I wanted to leave, but I didn't leave what I wanted to leave, and now I got this. Although... I have Dragonite in the back. No, I should fake out Ice Spinner, right? Fake out Ice Spinner is so free. Switch into an ED. Switch into an ED. Oh, wait, they have boost energy. Maybe they won't do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, if this goes the way that I think it's going, I think the game is immediately over. If they take out my Iron Hand, the game just ends in stuff. It would just be so risky because I, I have the faster fake out. There's no way they go for it, right? Ooh! Let's go! Great Terra! Bye bye. Okay. I've denied Trick Room immediately, which is a huge, huge help. But I need to prevent it from everybody. I can't just get getting it once isn't enough. I need to actually like fully deny it. Or else it doesn't really matter. But I don't know if Ice Spinner plus Wild Charge will do it. I wish I had close combat right now. I mean in general Drain Punch is way better, but I do wish I had close combat in to go into a DD. So having Dragonite in the back means that if Trickroom goes up, this could actually get really ugly really fast. Ideally, they have like Torkoal and Ursa Luna, but anything else is going to be difficult to prevent Trickroom. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's a chance in heck that, uh... Okay. Ooh. I haven't tarried it either. Keep that in mind. And I have. I'm going to try and just deny this Trick Room completely. If I get a crit with either Mon or if Wild Charge is stronger. I don't really know my calc here. I think there's a chance. Ice Spinner's base power is what? 80? Ice Spinner's base power is 80? And what's Wild Charge's base power? Is it 90? Oh. You know, there's actually a chance, I think, that Iron Hand... Because Iron Hand's attack is a lot higher than Pao's. Right? There's actually a small chance, I would say, that this picks up the KO. And if it does, I'm in really good shape. 
Because they don't have Protect on this in DD. Actually, no Pokemon on this team has Protect except for Ursa Luna. Okay, we need want this to do like 45 to 50 percent. I crit? No, I didn't crit. It just does that much. Oh, okay, this should just 100 percent go. Oh, I crit doesn't matter. Um. Okay. Future from denied. Oh, oh, they predicted Volt Switch. Oh, it's also tough because they don't want to close combat maybe because they will drop their defenses. Oracle, this thing doesn't have protect. Okay, let me think about this. Sun is up. What do I have in the back? Dragonite with Stomping Tantrum? I think I'd rather preserve my thing here. Oh, you know what I can do actually? Neither of these Pokemon is protect. So what I can just I can just um protect and wild charge here. Because I want to keep Ten Pow healthy, and then I can go into Dragonite and just click Outrage. And there's not much they can do about that, I think. Because neither of these Pokemon is protect. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And if Iron Hands makes it through the turn, then Okay, nice. This could be a eruption or they don't have heat wave, so it's gotta be. I might live a flamethrower actually. Oh yeah, well I definitely have a flamethrower if that happens. Okay, now I can go for Sucker Punch and the Green Punch. You know, I think Sacred Sword was actually optimal there to do less damage, but. <laughs> Heavy Slam, okay. I'm going to take KO. They haven't teared yet. Just gotta keep that in mind. I mean, it's, it's over. I can just go Dragonite and check out Rage. I'm probably fine. Nice. Okay. Whew. That was so scary. Ice Spinner to remove Brain is actually so clutch. Like, it actually makes such a big difference. Whew. Yeah. I think I made it right. I, I think my gamble turn one was good. Because it covered fake out into Chin Pow, it also covered switch to Ndidi. It basically only didn't cover if they fake out it into my aura, my Iron Hand, which is so risky, because if I fake out an attack, they probably lose immediately. We have to, if we win the last one, we advance, otherwise we're out. But it, it comes down to this last one. Huh. There's this place, uh, like Chinese restaurant in DC that I really like. I'm, I'm going tonight and I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited to go. Oh. I think one of my skills is that because I've played for so long and I've used hard, my first team ever was a hard trick room team. I think I do like I'm decent at understanding like the counterplay to it. Yeah. Uh, only one Pokemon on the team had protect. That's like one of the things about that style of hard trick room team that it's very abusable if you have ways of attacking before they do. So I prioritize, you know, keeping Chen Pao alive, making trick a clear way, like, um, the terrain with ice spinner so that way i could use priority 
The only Pokemon on the team that had Protect was Ursaluna, who didn't come to the set. It was, yeah. Uh, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room, Terra Blast, Tatarini, Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, Clear, Smog, Torkoal, Expanding Force, Heat Wave, Trick Room, Wide Guard, Arm Rouge, Fake Out, Close Combat, Wild Charge, Heavy Slam, uh, Hands, Psychic, Helping Hand, Follow Me, Trick Room, and Deity. So none of the Pokemon had Protect, so I was able to, like, play with confidence. This is a two-day tournament, but I only, um... I only advance if I win the next one. Otherwise, I'm out. Terra Flying Dragonite is good. It's just not good for choice ban. I think you want Terra Normal. Yeah, one more win. They make it to tomorrow, which would be cool. Yeah, one last round. Gotta wait for everybody else. I did update my record already. We gotta wait for everybody else to finish their matches. There's still 41 matches left. We gotta wait for them to finish. What do you feel about Zacian being nerfed? I think it's good. Zacian needed to nerf. And regardless, don't leave at the end because I'm posting a video after the final after the final um round. It's the the video is the 10 best plays of Scarlet and Violet. Where'd you even get this team? Uh, Marcus recommended it to me. He was like, hey, I was like, hey, do you have a, like a team that I could use? Um, and he was like, hey, I think this could be work. And then I was looking on VGC Pace for other stuff and I saw it there and I was like, yeah, I should use that. Uh, day two is just a, a top cup bracket. What tourney is this? It's the Victory Road to Yokohama. It's called, is there a prize for winning this? Is there a prize? Forty percent of the price price pool, so it made. Hang on, I don't. This tournament three hundred eighty-two times ten point four. I don't think I'm winning this tournament. Let's just focus on getting to tomorrow. Thirty-five left. 35 more matches this round, and then we'll play the final round. I like thought about bringing Tornadus because like being able to rain dance Torkoal is like so effective. But I was like, am I really gonna bring Tornadus and like a Pokemon that can't protect and can't prankster taunt and doesn't want to prankster Tailwind just for rain dance? The answer was no. Is there a place to see your pairing? Uh, it's just on Battle Five. If you look at the Victory Road tournament, but I, I don't really know how to use Battle Five. It seems to be pretty unwieldy, so I wouldn't. I don't know. Like maybe there's a way to do it, but I don't know what it is. Pokemon is for low lives. Okay, Alpha Grimace. What are your feelings about Ursa Luna so far? Um, I've been able to beat the ones that I've played against, but I think it's, it's I mean, it's a really good mod, I think. I, I'm a believer. Come to Somalia. I don't really have any. I'm I'm tired of traveling, my friend. I'm traveling too much. I'm so burnt out.
Are you the real Wolfie? If, if not, something is very surprising has happened. I'm doing bringing a Pokemon to rank one in the future. The last time I did it, it was like it underperformed by like a huge amount, like over 50%, if not almost 100% compared to the next worst performing videos. So I, I don't really know what's up. Maybe it was just the way it was edited, but um, yeah, I'm not the yeah, it, like whenever a video does badly, I like consider just not doing more of that type of video. I did not, I was not, I'm not giving free travel to worlds, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, but it's fine. I, I mean, yeah, it's okay. 20 matches left. I don't do coaching anymore. Yeah, I used to do it, uh, but... Yeah. I don't have the time anymore. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't have the time. Do you think Hyper Offense is just going to rule Reg D? No, not necessarily. I mean, Hyper Offense is normally one of the strongest archetypes at the beginning of a format, but it, um, yeah. It's not as, uh, it, it, Hyper Offense rarely dominates a whole format. It's just, at the beginning, it's good. Uh, Killadial Games, thanks so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate the support. Competitive Pokemon, your only source of income. My primary source of income is YouTube. Um, it would be very difficult to win off the money you make from winning alone, like doing tournaments alone. Um, like I said earlier, it's pretty difficult to even go neutral, like let alone make any money. Uh, I haven't really followed the Basque Legion stuff, Scraw. I don't really, I mean, like I saw that there were some rain teams, but I don't really know anything about it. I already bought my flights to Japan. When is Worlds? It's uh, about a month, a little over a month. Any hopes for DLC? I hope it's good. Will this be a video? Depends on the last round, probably. not a trick room team is the main reason for no Oranguru and it's also like this team is full of Pokemon that are like good Oranguru is kind of like it's a question mark Pokemon you know like it doesn't have kind of historical results to indicate that it's good not that it's bad like instruct is kind of a crazy move but it's difficult to use will this become one of your videos depends on how the last round goes I've never been to Japan before. Thanks very much, Thomas. Appreciate it. Thoughts on Chatot? It's a very bad Pokemon. Not good at all. Appreciate it, Tanner. Thank you. Dustin, I'll do my best. and attract Applin, strong set. 13 matches left. Is 
Is winning tournaments or making good content more important to you? It's not like they're mutually exclusive. In fact, winning tournaments allows me to make good content. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can't really rank them. They're both important to me. And it's not like one affects the other too much. Do you still plan to remove the VOD if you lose? Um, yeah, we'll take the VOD down regardless. It'll, it'll go on the VOD channel eventually. Sylveon competitively? Um, it's like, same issue as Enamorous, which is that Fluttermane is like the number one Pokemon right now. So like any other fairy type has to be doing something unique and better than Fluttermane in, a, in, a, in at least one dimension. And Sylveon doesn't meet that criteria. Like, like, why would I use Sylveon when I can use Booster Fluttermane and be super fast or super strong? My first shiny Pokemon was a Dodrio. And Fire Red. You think Zation will be usable at some point? Yeah, I mean, there'll be a restricted format at some point, and then Zation will be le uh, legal. Seven matches left. Content plans afterwards? Dude, hopefully I take a break. I'm tired. But, I mean, the Worlds video will be after Worlds. I have a Discord server. But it's only for people who subscribe um, or are members. Subscribe on Twitch or are members on YouTube. What made you start to decide to start YouTube? It was mostly on a whim. Like, basically, uh, Cybertron had been doing it. It looked fun. And so I, I reached out. I was like, hey, man, like, it looks fun doing YouTube, but I don't think I'd be very good at it. What do you think? And he was like, nah, dude, I think you'd be good. And I was like, okay. Then I started making videos just for fun, like when I was in college or whatever. Um, just like posting whenever I wanted, which is normally like once a, once a week, which ironically is the same amount I post now. Hmm. Funny how that works. Time is a circle. Um, because I went from like once a week to once a day, and now I'm back to once a week if I'm lucky, which is what I was when I started. Anyway, um, but the video quality has gone up, so <laughs> yeah. Six matches. Thanks very much, uh, Comics Pop. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, it's Twitch sub or YouTube member. Basically, it's pay paid members only. No plans for any hardcore Nuzlocks anytime soon. You ever get in your own head and think if I lose this, I want over to YouTube content? Never once. Never once. I, have a, I don't have a personal vendetta against Battlefy. My issue is that we have a better platform that like automatically compiles all the data and like is like really easy to use. And then we have Battlefy, which like can you tell me the usage stats right now? Because Limitless does that automatically. It's extremely useful. And I don't understand when we have a better platform why we are still using Battlefy. It's not that I... Battlefy would be fine on its own. Like, it's workable. It's not, like, unusable or anything. I don't I don't hate Battlefy. But we have a better platform. That's my issue with it. Five matches left. When they finish, it'll be time for the last round, and then it'll be time for the video.
Um, I don't think I, like so for I don't think I'm gonna go to Pittsburgh Regionals to be honest. It's close by. Like I can probably drive there or fly. Um, like without issue, I think it's like a one hour flight, but it's too soon after Worlds. I don't think I'm gonna go. I definitely I think like if you're playing seriously, if you, like if you're playing competitive Pokemon seriously, um, you need to take a break. You need an off season. I'm definitely burnt out. Like so, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take a little bit of an off season. I don't know if I'll take like full months, but I'm not gonna go to Pittsburgh or, or a lot of them. Have you been to Sundevich? No. When's your next at bat? There are four matches left in the round. When they finish, um, I will be able to play my final round. Three matches left. No, that wouldn't be good. Uh, came on. What are you studying in college? I had a dual degree. Um, first was economics. Second was computational modeling and data analytics. And I had a minor in business. How many games did you play with the team before the tournament started? Probably like maybe maybe eight but he farmed terror shards when the blissey rage came out i just did a ton of them but i'm out of steel terror shards like i'm actually out um yeah i burned through them all for naic because i needed like all steel half of my team was steel yeah so have you ever tried to get in a game show i have not i'm not going to sacramento no way if i'm not going to pittsburgh i'm not going to sacramento Chiyu is probably having some trouble because Urshifu Water is the current main Pokemon and also Rain Dance Tornadus is used to support it. So, but it's not a bad Mon by any means. It's still a great Mon. When's the gameplay? As soon as the last three matches finish. Ugh. Yeah, I'll still make content during the off season. Two matches left. Do you have another job besides streaming? I do YouTube content. That's my main source of income. Are you qualifying for Worlds? I've qualified, yeah. I, left, I qualified in February. Yeah, Terra Shards are really hard to obtain right now. I hope that the DLC adds new way, new ones. Is this winning in? Yeah, this is winning in. I get excited for tournaments. Oh, balls, I clicked the wrong button. Got some matches left. You don't need to qualify for any big tournaments except for Worlds. Worlds is the only one where you um show up, where you have to qualify every other one you just have to sign up. What do your videos always have Persona music in the background? My editor likes Persona, presumably. How often do day one players win worlds? Um, in the entire history of the game, there has only been one player who ever started in day one of the world championships and then won the entire event. Every other player has started in day two, in the Masters division at least.
I don't watch Overwatch or play Overwatch. Who inspired you to play competitive Pokemon? Nobody. Who wasn't inspired by anybody? Still smashes left. You wear glasses to read only? No. I need them to see. My vision is very bad. Very, very bad. Who was that one player? Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, I, I, it's me. I'm the only player to have one world starting in day two or starting in day one. Built matches. One match left. One last round match, and then we can start the next round. Thanks, uh, Ouija. I appreciate it. No Pokemon Unite videos coming. I haven't played in like a year. Did you play Reg D before NAIC? I did not. I did not. Don't forget at the end of this, y'all, I'm, I'm posting a new YouTube video. Um, so don't don't leave when this is over. When the last round is over, I'll, I'll send you all in at once. And then you can all type first and we can see who is actually first it will be me i will be first ow that hurt this is the world regulation this is the format for worlds I don't like Dragonite very much. I find it difficult to use, um, personally. I've, I've really enjoyed watching Unite, actually, this season. Um, but I don't play. I, I have no issues with Pokemon Unite. I just don't, I just don't play anymore. I don't have time. Time is it? Five sixteen. Ow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching NAIC Unite. Last round. Can you use Celebi? No. I didn't build this team, okay? I can't answer specific questions about why things are the way they are. Favorite generation? Five, I think.
Would you like to have Tapu Koko in the format? No. I hate Tapu Koko. Is Shelter over Asuna and Gudra H mostly because of accessibility? It's cooler and has less PP. So in theory, if you ever get Encored, you'll run out of Shelters first, which is good. But yeah, it's mostly just personal preference. And I don't know if it's... Maybe Iron Defense is a level up move. I don't know, or Acid Armor, whatever it gets. The E in my name is silent, yes. My real name is Wolf. My screen name is Wolfie. So either one is okay. Are you making top cut? It depends on if I win this last one. Which should start somewhat soon, because there's only one match left, but who knows. Have you thought about playing competitive Temtem? No. They'd have they, honestly if they want me to play Temtem, they'd have to pay me quite a bit. I would I wouldn't do it for free. Steelers for, for more defense worth it. I've seen Terra Poison as well. Um, they're both pretty decent types. I'm starting day one of Worlds. No, not Wolfgang. My real name is Wolf. Wolf. live live yes i mean there's a 30 second delay other than that oh the match is still playing big pretzels yeah yeah i love pretzels ah pretzels all right i lied i, I do like pretzels but I, I like them best when they're covered in chocolate my favorite way to enjoy a pretzel oh i think marcus got some all covered pretzels i should go eat one One match per hour? Yeah, that's roughly the, the way it works. We have a video coming out on Bramble Gas. Ready? Please be done. No, oh, it's still going. And, uh, day one worlds will be between seven and nine rounds. Probably closer to eight or nine okay 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 here we go chat here we go if you were if you weren't paying attention here we go the last round will be starting soon because all of the matches have finished if i win this one i make it to the tomorrow to top cut if i lose i die in real life that's the stakes them's the stakes them's the breaks and is on sharks? Or, I don't know. I don't know. Sharks. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, oh. yeah. <laughs> Wait, to take. I, I just want. I just like want one or two. Wait, let me show this. One. I'll take. I'll take three. Marcus brought me pretzels. Oh man, long day. I go. Come on, show me Victor Road. All the matches are done. Start the round, please. This is the last match of today. If I win, I make it tomorrow. If I lose, I die in real life. And regardless, I'll post a video at the end of this. 
it's a new type of content okay brand new type of content type of new content i wish i was still sponsored by that glasses company but i'm not that was just a one-time thing that was not my brother that's my friend marcus he's from germany he's staying here with us we're grind we're, we are working for world we are we are gaming Marcus used to see Gudra in the tournament. When you do a bikini stream, you don't you don't want that. Trust me. Hello, there's no matches left. Victory Road, please start. Okay, here we go. Who am I playing against? Ikari. Oh no. Next to you, Sunny Day Tornadus. Sunny Day Rain Dance Tornadus. Sandsteer, Sandsteer Storm Landorus. What is this? Oh man. I don't know how to make heads and tails of this. Okay, Tornadus. Terra Ghost Tornadus, Terra Water. Ndidi with Rocky Helmet and Trick Room. Oh man, this is an unusual team. Man, this team is not so. Wait, does the what is what move is the Tornadus missing? Is it missing Taunt? Oh, huh, no Taunt. Okay. I see. Okay. Sand Seer Storm Sheer Force Landorus. Sand Seer Storm. Sand Seer Storm. And see your storm. Hello? There's somebody. One four seven eight nine six three two. Did enter. Huh? What the hell's going on?
Oh, this could be speed boosting Flutterman in theory, I think. Not impossible. What the heck is going on? Ah, there's something wrong. I don't know what to do. Okay, there we go. Okay, good luck, have fun. This is Sean. This indeed is zero attacking moves. It's uh, follow me, helping hand, trick room, and prison. <laughs> tricky there's a lot like this team has a lot going for it there's a lot going on at all times i don't want to see ndd horn chiyu okay interesting these of ruin moves first that's because no other abilities activate on switch in This is probably too risky of a play in hindsight. The thing is, I don't know the speed interactions between our Tornadus is. But I think this is probably the wrong play. Okay. She goes to fire. Oh, I guess they could just, um, I think I made the wrong play. But there's no way Torn dies to Heat Wave, right? Sunny day, okay. If I hit Bleak Wind Storm, I'm in amazing shape. Like, unbelievably good shape. It's faster? I hope that was Tornadus. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is Chiyu's max speed stat? Oh. Oh. Well, I could have just won this game insta, but now I'm actually in big danger. Actually, in huge danger now. I'm screwed. I made a very bad turn one. <laughs> Man, I could have just tailwinded and won the game. That sucked. Now what am I gonna do? Oh, it's hosed. It's doomered. Um, the sun is up, and I just lost my thing. Okay. Speed, okay, so speed. The 
This is probably a terrible play. The last mon is either Landorus. And what do I do? It's either Landorus, Urshifu. You know what? Be ball. This is a, not a good play either. I'm really kind of messing this up. I mean, that was a bad turn one in hindsight. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. If I get this play correct, it's not like they have an Intimidator. What are the... Oh, I'm going to lose. Oh, that was the worst case scenario. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I didn't realize they had a doobie. You know what? I could have just... Actually, that was that was just a great play from there end because pretty much no matter what happened, I was hosed with this uh, situation. Oh man, I didn't I didn't even consider DD as the last. I thought that if they were gonna use it, it'd be up front. Okay, great play by them. Really, really great play. Gleam, yep, that's my Pokemon. I think this game is actually just over. Like legitimately. Yeah, because they have booster speed, and I don't even have because I didn't get Tailwind up. Although honestly, well, with Tailwind things would have been a little different, right? Yeah, I think I'm actually in a lot of danger here. Um, I don't really see a way to win this. Ever. To be fair, it's not like saving my Terra for something else would have really helped me that much. And also, if I'd Ice Spinner there, oh man, great play. Just getting done on. Okay, Chad, here's how I can still win this. Get the Protect. Okay. And then they start missing Bleak Wind Storm. That's the win condition. Okay. <laughs> I get double Protect. They go for another Dazzling Gleam. And then they start missing Bleak Wind Storms. Okay, I should probably... This is looking really rough, honestly. Okay, I get the double. Actually, I don't need the double necessarily. If they miss enough Bleak Wind Storms, I could win because indeed he can't do any damage. Go for the double, and I get the Shadow Ball one shot. Trust. First, I get the double. I guess the double doesn't only really helps if they start missing a ton. Right? Otherwise, it's kind of worthless. Man, if I just had made a different turn one, if I thought about Chiyu being timid, I didn't even consider that it could be faster, in all honesty. I even got lucky with the Heat Wave miss there. I also crucially didn't learn which of our Tornadises were faster. It was like kind of a big deal. Because if I knew that they were faster, I could make a better at play. Give me the double, 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 give me the double. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the double. Oh, are they gonna protect? Dang. They crit. I don't know who they crit. I think Chen Pao. Okay, Shadow Ball gets the kill, and then they miss two Bleak Wind Storms. That's the win condition. Are y'all believers? Y'all believe? Okay. Do I think they're going to Helping Hand here? No. Well... Wow, wow. The thing is... Wait, I could win this, depending on Bleak Windstorm, Bolt, Bologna. Do I think Dazzling Gleam... Dazzling Gleam will three shot. Do I think Shadow Ball is Dazzling Gleam kills? I'll take the risk. Probably not a very good play, but I'll take the risk. Yeah. Because I need some luck anyway. Because, like, I think their best play is Bleak Wind Storm and Trick Room here. Okay. Drop. They missed! Wait, could I win this? Okay. Okay. 
Thanks for the sunlight. I should protect the stall trick room, right? Nah, what if they rain dance? Come on, Fluttermane. Come on, baby. Show me the money. Show me the money. Come on, come on, come on. Helping hand. Speed drop, speed drop, speed drop, speed drop. Please kill, please kill, please kill. I won. The NGG doesn't have any damaging moves. Oh my god. I won. <laughs> There's no damaging moves on a DD. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I clutched that. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's make this go a little better than the last time. Okay, I see the vision. Iron Hands isn't actually that useful here is the thing. And Dragonite is, but if they're bringing in DD, I don't really want to be in a position where it's like, oh, they brought in DD, Dragonite just like loses. So the question is the order, because I could do like Flutter plus Horn. They also made a slight mistake, I think, because I mean, I didn't know that they would drop to close combat. Maybe they needed, uh, they might've, it might not have been for defense actually, it might've been for offense. I think I'm sure they knew that she would die to Urshifu close combat. Oh, it's actually a roll. Oh, even if they're no bulk, which they probably are, it's a, it's a roll. It's a roll pretty heavily in my favor, though. Nah, maybe Chen Pao up front to Sacred Sword it. The Sacred Sword actually does more than clo close combat. Oh, wait, but that's only if they're super effective. Or if it's super effective, right? Otherwise, it doesn't. I could just gamble on Rain Dance turn one. Be like, ah, come on, you're not gonna. You're not gonna let me play, right? Yeah, I had like one third chance of winning, uh, like a 36% chance of winning the last one, I think. Assuming I got the Shadow Ball play correct, which I did. And I'm glad I didn't Dazzling Gleam because I, uh, I would have lost. I don't know what clutch. Okay. GU and... El Reche. Seeds of Ruin are out. Oh, it's Terra Grass. Oh, the Terra Fire. Wait, what? What's going on? The Indeedee's Terra Grass. Okay. I don't mind taking the hits here, honestly. I wanted to detect, but I was afraid of Trick Room. Okay, two waves, the rain. Didn't do that much damage. I mean, it's still gonna do probably more damage. No burns, no burns, no burns. No burns, no burns, no burns. Wolf, do not try to Aqua Jet. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not try to Aqua Jet. Okay. Urshu is going to take a ton of damage here. Oh. Oh, it might survive this. I, according to my calc, it didn't possibly survive. Uh, with max HP and max defense, it's a tiny chance to survive, but it can happen. Okay. The question is who comes in now? Um.
So what do I have in the back? Pen Pow and Flutter Mane, right? We don't know whose Tornadus is faster either. They have Terra. I can't believe Heat Wave and Rain did over 50%. Actually, I can believe that. Never mind. Corn, okay. We don't know who's faster. So, I think my best play here is actually Bleak Wind, Storm, and Offer Jet. I haven't Terra yet. Yeah. Because I don't really mind. Oh, if they're faster than me, they can Sunny Day, though. But Sunny Day here is so risky because... Oh, uh, I could just tail in close combat. But maybe they'll go for it. I mean, if they get it right, they'd probably win, right? Okay, I'm, I'm faster. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oblique Wind Storm damage is going to be pretty important, I think. They missed? Who did they miss? Either way, one of my Pokemon survives here. Okay, that's probably for the best, actually, for me. That's definitely for the best. What's the last Mon here? It's either Urshifu, Flutter, or... So I can go for Tailwind Dazzling Gleam with Terra Water, or return stuff still. What's the problem with Tailwind, Terra Water, Dazzling Gleam? I risk a Sunny Day, right? I risk Sunny. If I go for Tailwind, Terra Water, Dazzling Gleam, then in a worst case scenario, their turn is slower than my turn. I know that. Now. Um. In the worst case scenario, I have to take spec sun boosted heat wave and then Oh my god, that was such a good play for me. <laughs> Sorry. You're stuck in my weather now. I maybe should have Terra Watered here. It was probably better. Okay, that's alright. That's alright. It's okay. I should have Terra Watered. I might got my cost in the game. Honestly. Yeah, I think not tearing there may cost me the game in all honesty. Depends on what the last Pokemon is here. If it's Urshifu, I think I'm screwed actually now that I think about it. Please be Fluttermane. Okay. Alright. I should have Terra Water. That was a huge mistake. But I think I'm going to be... Okay. No, I might not be okay, actually. Wait, I'm still in trouble here. I need to Tailwind. Ugh, not tearing there might cost me the game. I think I should take the risk. I messed this up. I super messed this up. Not tearing last turn, I think, like, cost me. I need them to go for Dazzling Gleam this turn, but if they just Shadow Ball or Icy Wind, I am hosed. I, I messed this up really badly. I, I like, probably should have... And the, the burn is really what complicates this, because I think without the burn, I have a safe protect and then go into Chen Pao. I messed this up so badly. I need a miss, and even then, I think I lose. Yeah, it was the... Oh, I messed this up really badly. Oh, man, that's really bad. I was actually in pretty decent shape, and then 
Yeah. I needed to tear a water the turn before. It was really greedy not to. Even, like... Yeah. That's not good. How many turns are left? to hope that this kills I think my win condition oh adamant chen pao that's an ad wait I guess the loose burn no 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 miss 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 okay it doesn't matter can I lose burn oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't know how I clutch this I honestly don't right Oh, oh my god. I really thought we were going to lose both of those games. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that was so, so close. Oh man, I did not play super well. Oh yeah, but I found a way to win. That's the important thing. Oh. All right, that was, that was something. I'll tell you that much. Okay, Chad, that's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, but before you leave, I did promise you something, which is a new YouTube video. This is a, a new type of content. It's experimental. If it does well, then we'll do more of it. It's the best plays in Scarlet and Violet thus far. Um, and I'm really excited for it. So I'm gonna post it. Um, I'll post it by the time you're seeing this, the video will be posted. So go show it some love. Um, appreciate all the all the support, and yeah, I'll be back. I think I think at the same time tomorrow, most likely. Um, yeah, but yeah. Thanks for all the support. Video is going live now. By the time you see this, it will already be live. That was oh, let me post it in the chat for you. Alrighty, thanks for thanks for watching the stream, y'all. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching.